thing yet. What is happening in this place, people of God? Mark my words, you have seen nothing yet. The best is truly yet to come. If I'm speaking about the, our, our stay here, wow. Can you imagine you have a visitor coordinator looking after you 24 seven? You can pray at the altar. You can go at the altar where you can go and pray 24 seven, the altar that's open by Prophet T.B. Joshua and now being maintained and developed by Mummy Evelyn. What an amazing grace, a prayer walk of over a kilometer. All these years, every single picture I brought to that prayer mountain, the case file of the people has been touched, including my own. What an amazing place with accommodation, restaurant at the prayer mountain, prayer gardens, water. <laughs> well, God is truly there. There is the museum. Hmm. Daddy always encouraged us to read the books, the God's generals. But now you will not only read it in a book. You can go to the museum where you can see a God's general. How he started from birth and to where he's today. What he left behind. People of God, I want to encourage you. Come and visit. My fellow brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you. Remember, when you came here the first time, you met the parents here. You met the parents here. Who you are today is who you have become in this house. Remember the house. Remember your source. To people of God that are wondering, have an independent mind. Don't hear from others to what to do. We all sleep in dreams, says Prophet T.B. Joshua. Truly, you have slept and you have dreamt about this place. Follow your heart. Follow what God is putting in your heart. Your life will never remain the same. When mommy touched me too, I receive a touch. I go back. I'm prepared up and ready by the grace of God. Amen. To God be the glory. Long live the legacy of Prophet T.B. Joshua and God bless Pastor Mrs. Evelyn T.B. Joshua. In Jesus' name. Amen. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. Emmanuel TV, hoy nos unimos para celebrar tus 18 años. El canal cristiano más visto del mundo. Has bendecido nuestras vidas innumerables veces. Estamos muy contentos de ser parte de esto y por eso queremos decirte, Emmanuel TV, feliz cumpleaños. Un buen día de sabor, siempre y siempre, Emmanuel. Eu quero parabenizar a Emanuel TV pelos seus 18 anos, a Emanuel TV que tem levado bênção, tem levado gratidão de Deus a todos os povos, nações e línguas. Nós temos visto que por intermédio da Emanuel TV podemos contemplar as maravilhas que têm acontecido na sinagoga e igreja para todas as nações. Eu, pastor Sandro, aqui no Brasil, quero parabenizar mais uma vez pelos 18 anos da Emanuel TV. E a Igreja Aprendas em Deus quer também parabenizar os 18 anos. Emanuel, Deus conosco. cambiando naciones y cambiando el mundo. Desde Cuba celebramos este canal de bendición para el mundo. Te deseamos muchos años de vida para que sigas levantando y transformando el mundo. El país de Cuba te desea feliz aniversario, Emanuel TV. Lo bueno no es suficiente, lo mejor está... Trials are the soil in which faith flourishes. Your challenges force you to look deeper, explore possibilities, pray and dream of other ways that you might have ignored. As Christians, there is beauty in our challenges. It was in the midst of challenges that God gave the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, a dream. A dream of saving souls from hell to populate heaven. A dream born of faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. 
a dream of changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. The dream of Emmanuel TV. On the 8th of March, 2006, Emmanuel TV was born. A broadcast Christian channel dedicated to proclaim the good news and saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ to a troubled world. As Christians, we should always remember that our challenges are not meant to destroy us, but to improve us. The richest people in the world today, the owner of the company, BB Company, if you ask them what led them to establish and led them to have their own company, it was sad letter that was given to them. If they were not given the sack letter, they would have not discovered themselves. So I want to give you some story. When I was airing my program on some channel, I don't want to mention any channel, even one of the national channel. It's because of me, they banned miracle in Nigeria. Just because of me, not because of anybody. And they told me, miracle was banned. I would like to show my program. They say, just talk. Jesus is Lord. I removed all my program from the, all the station and I went to the mountain to pray. God said, Yes, I'm aware. I want you to discover yourself. I will give you a channel called humanity. The Bible says in Romans 8:28 that all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. Viewers, as we celebrate Emmanuel TV, know that God is not looking at where you stumbled yesterday. He is looking at your possibilities tomorrow. Stop looking at where you have been and start looking at where you are going. You can do everything through Christ who strengthens you. Your challenging situations are made to move you forward, not to deter you, to move you to another level, another glory. Understanding that here is not what? Heaven. Something must pinch and poke you to test your faith. But let your challenges produce a sense of dependence on God. That this is leading you to a higher goal. Viewers. Dreams continue to crash daily on the rocks of temptation, fear, and doubt. Because people are not ready to go through a little discomfort to reach a new level in life. Where are you now? What situation are you in? Are you in abject poverty? Remember, the man that is poor is not the man that has no money, but one without a dream. You must be ready to do what is right every day even though it is contrary to what you naturally want to do. Viewers, as we celebrate the dream of Emmanuel TV and continue to witness the move of God Almighty, we encourage you to focus on the Lord Jesus Christ and keep climbing towards your dream. In the words of Prophet TB Joshua, mountain climbing is a picture of the life of faith. Throughout our lives, we are to continue moving upward, for faith grows stronger as we climb higher. Pushing ahead in telling the world about Jesus Christ, look to the cross, keep your solid front, and remember that the best is always yet to come. Happy 18th birthday to Emmanuel TV. Emmanuel, God with us.
So just scream to receive, to receive a healing blessing from the Lord. So just scream to receive, to receive your healing blessing from the Lord. Change your life and all over the world. Need your mother's baby and the power of the Lord. Change your life and all over the world. Need your mother's baby and the power of the Lord. Change your life and all over the world. Need your mother's baby and the power of the Lord. Change your life and all over the world. Need your mother's baby and the power of the Lord. Celebrate you, oh yeah! Emmanuel TV, we celebrate you, oh. From Texas, USA, happy 18th anniversary to Emmanuel TV. My name is Astrid Radke from Texas, USA. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. <laughs> I would like to say happy, um, happy birthday to Emmanuel TV, and may this divine channel continue to change people's lives and changing nations and changing the world. Buenos días y vence hoy. Vence mañana y vence siempre. Emanuel. Dios con nosotros. Hoy queremos felicitar a Emanuel TV por su 18 aniversario. Esperamos que cumplan muchos años más compartiendo y ministrando la palabra de Dios por todo el mundo. De la misma manera, queremos saludar y felicitar a mamá Evelyn Joshua, que junto con SCOA, un equipo grandioso, ha continuado con el legado del profeta y padre del Señor Jesucristo, el profeta Tiri Joshua. Desde México, con amor y cariño, hasta Sinagoga Iglesia de todas las naciones de la Cruz Nigeria, les felicitamos y les bendecimos con todo género de bendiciones. Emanuel TV. Stay tuned for the Sunday service. Broadcasting live from the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Lagos, Nigeria. Restez connectés pour le service dominical. Diffusé en direct de la synagogue Église de toutes les nations à Lagos au Nigeria. Permanece conectado para el servicio dominical de la SCOAN, transmitido en vivo desde la sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones, en Lagos, Nigeria. Good morning, people of grace. Good morning and win today, win tomorrow, and win forever. I welcome you all partners, viewers, and children of the synagogue, Church of All Nations, all over the world. To this celebration of the 18th anniversary of Emmanuel TV, our mouthpiece. As you all remember, 
Emmanuel TV was founded on March 8, 2006 by our Father in the Lord and General Overseer, Prophet TV Joshua. Surely we cannot thank God enough for this vision through the Holy Spirit. We thank the God of Prophet TV Joshua for the inspiration, the wisdom, the courage, and mission to read the word with the gospel. Let me also appreciate you all for your attachment to Emmanuel TV. An attachment bred by innate conviction and spiritual motivation for the mighty things God is doing through this Christian channel. May the special grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ continue to dominate and direct your lives according to his purpose in Jesus' name. As our mouthpiece, our main voice, Emmanuel TV has served to connect with partners and members of the ministry all over the world, thus making us a family of shared belief, interest, focus, and motivation. It has continued to be forthright in beaming to the world our main activities, commitments, events, and developments with the sole aim of winning more soul for Christ while unifying us as a people on a mission. To the Manuel TV team, I say well done for your engagement in crusades, charitable works, as well as in community and educational development projects with impact both locally and internationally. This is achieved through the unity of purpose founded on the biblical principle that works of charity and righteousness by faith in Christ Jesus goes together. For sure, one is not complete without the other. Our team, made up of partners and children of God all over the world, have continued touching the lives of orphans, widows, widowers, the elderly, the less privileged, and the physically challenged. It has taken the maturity that comes from faith for us all to realize that our responsibility to Emmanuel TV, to God and his project, is a commitment and fellowship with him rather than sacrifice. It is this realization and conviction that has enabled us, you, the stakeholders in this mission, to continue forging ahead, seeing your contribution to the needy as an assignment from God and not to man. If I may take you back to our 10th anniversary, God's own project. Ten years ago, an inspiration was conceived to make a difference in the world, and you embraced it. This is the story of your baby. From a tiny embryo, During the pain of labor, your words were there to sedate that pain. When the waters broke and the tension arose, you were there to calm every fear. To when he was delivered in a pool of blood, you were there to wipe away every stain. When his life began with a doctor's slap on his backside and he voiced his first cry, your joy and comfort enveloped him. When he first sat up, your arms of care and love supported him. When he started crawling and exploring the world around him, a time when danger is at hand's reach, the baby is not for the mother and father alone. Anybody, both enemy and friend, can carry the baby through all this. In the face of danger, 
Injury, attack, life's threats, destruction. Your swift prayer and care sustained him. When he said his first words, Say Mama! Mama. Say Papa! Your support encouraged him to say more. We know the sky will be the limit for the child. This is Emmanuel TV, your child from an embryo. Emmanuel TV started from a tiny embryo as God's own baby. Today, at 18 years of age, look at what it has become to God's glory. The mission of Emmanuel TV remains the same, changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. On behalf of the Emmanuel TV family, I say a very big happy 18th anniversary to us. And in the word of our Father in the Lord, Prophet E.B. Joshua, better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. Emmanuel, God is with us. Happy 18th birthday to Emmanuel TV. To our partners and viewers, I am here by the authority given to me as a child of God to pray for you. I speak light into your darkness. I speak peace into your life. I command every rigid storm in your life to be still. Oh, merciful God, our compassionate Father, you are not a man that you should lie. You are not human that you should change your mind. Just as Balan received a command to bless your people, and no one could reverse it. I bless all who are under the influence of my voice with your blessing of love, your blessing of peace, goodness, healing, the blessing of protection, provision, victory, and joy. Father, may your name bring them delight the as they continue to trust in your love to lead and to do things the way you would have done them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being there. Emmanuel, remain blessed. God bless you all. Happy 18th birthday to Emmanuel TV. Emmanuel, God with us. aniversario para Emanuel TV cambiando la vida de miles de personas Emanuel TV cambiando vida, cambiando naciones y cambiando el mundo Emanuel Mira que con Dios todas las cosas son posibles vamos y dale toda la gloria mira que la fe actúa ahora la fe cree ahora y la fe recibe ahora la fe actúa ahora. Hey. La fe ve lo invisible, cree lo imposible, recibe lo increíble. La fe actúa en la palabra de Dios. The reality of faith can only be proved by practice. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. All things are possible. Have faith in God.
Emanuel TV, desde Palma de Mallorca, queremos felicitarte por tu 18 cumpleaños. Gracias por cambiar vida, cambiar naciones y cambiar al mundo. ¡Feliz! Felicitamos a Emanuel TV por sus 18 cumpleaños. ¡Felicidades! Con Dios todas las cosas son posibles. Vamos y dale toda la gloria. Mira que la fe actúa ahora, la fe crea ahora y la fe recibe ahora. Feliz 18 aniversario para Emanuel TV, cambiando la vida de miles de personas. Emanuel TV, cambiando vida, cambiando naciones y cambiando el mundo. Emanuel TV hoy, vence mañana y vence siempre. Desde Bolivia te deseamos un feliz aniversario porque ya van 18 años cambiando vidas en todas las naciones, pero recordad que lo mejor está por venir. Así que desde Bolivia, Emanuel, ¡Feliz El país de Cuba te desea feliz aniversario, Manuel TV. Lo bueno no es suficiente, lo mejor está... Manuel TV, hoy nos unimos para celebrar tus 18 años, el canal cristiano más visto del mundo. Has bendecido nuestras vidas innumerables veces. Estamos muy contentos de ser parte de esto y por eso queremos decirte, Emanuel TV, feliz cumpleaños. Emanuel TV, desde Palma de Mallorca, queremos felicitarte por tu 18 cumpleaños. Gracias por cambiar vida, cambiar naciones y cambiar al mundo. ¡Feliz! Felicitamos a Emanuel TV por sus 18 cumpleaños. ¡Felicidades!
morning. My name is Astrid Radke. I'm from Texas, USA. I arrived to Scone uh, on a weekday in a late evening and I was welcomed by wonderful people. As soon as I stepped foot on this premises, I felt calm. I felt calm and I, I know that this would be a transformation of my heart. I'm staying here for a total of eight days and every day is a blessing. I learn how to make the word the standard of my life through daily prayer and meditation. The messages that are shared here by Pastor Evelyn during the church service are very transformational. You learn a lot. And this, this environment is very conducive. Many visits to the prayer mountain prepared our hearts for the Sunday service. The Sunday service was one of the most amazing services that I ever attended. I was so attentive to everything that was going on and was so thankful how the Holy Spirit, how Jesus transformed people's hearts and set them free. And I know their lives are going to be changed forever. I just encourage everybody, if there are any hardships in your life, turn to God, turn to prayer, turn to the Word and make the Word your standard. You will shortly see that this is the answer of, uh, to everything. God bless you. My name is Astrid Radke from Texas, USA. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. <laughs> Stay tuned for the Sunday service. Broadcasting live from the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Lagos, Nigeria. Restez connectés pour le service dominical diffusé en direct de la synagogue Église de toutes les nations à Lagos au Nigeria. Permanece conectado para el servicio dominical de la SCOAN, transmitido en vivo desde la sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones, en Lagos, Nigeria. Vence mañana y vence siempre. Desde Bolivia te deseamos un feliz aniversario porque ya van 18 años cambiando vidas en todas las naciones. Pero recordad que lo mejor está por venir. Así que desde Bolivia, Emanuel, ¡feliz aniversario! Bonjour, ça y est vainqueur aujourd'hui, ça y est vainqueur demain et ça y est vainqueur pour toujours. Je m'appelle Megan de l'île Maurice. Je vous remercie, bon Dieu, pour Emmanuel TV qui transforme la vie. Je m'appelle Sarah Jane de l'île Maurice. Je vous remercie, Emmanuel TV qui me fait moi comme Jésus-Christ et qui me fait moi rapprochement plus encore avec lui. Joyeux anniversaire, Emmanuel TV. Et surtout, continue à Emmanuel TV.
Emmanuel TV sera 18 ans cette année. Un bon anniversaire, joyeux anniversaire à Emmanuel TV. Joyeux anniversaire à Emmanuel TV. Joyeux anniversaire. Emmanuel TV, joyous anniversaire TV. Joyeux anniversaire, joyeux anniversaire, Emmanuel TV. Joyeux anniversaire, joyeux anniversaire à la chaîne de télévision Emmanuel Télévision. Bien-aimés dans le Seigneur, nous nous émettons à partir de la République démocratique du Congo, partenaire d'Emmanuel Télévision depuis des années. Nous souhaitons joyeux anniversaire à notre chaîne de télévision. Emmanuel Télévision, la chaîne de la différence, la chaîne qui libère, la chaîne qui restaure, la chaîne qui guérit, la chaîne qui a impacté le monde. Ensemble, nous disons... Joyeux anniversaire, Emmanuel Télévision. Emmanuel, joyeux anniversaire, Emmanuel TV. Nous sommes contents, c'est une superbe saison. Nous vous remercions pour tout ce que vous êtes en train de faire, Maman Evelyne Joshua. Vous êtes une bénédiction pour nous. Depuis que nous sommes dans la famille d'Emmanuel TV, nous sommes bénis. Et nous vous remercions. Soyez bénis abondamment. Joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire. Emmanuel TV. Joyeux anniversaire. Nous souhaitons un joyeux anniversaire à Emmanuel TV et les partenaires. Emmanuel Stay tuned for the Sunday service. Broadcasting live from the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Lagos, Nigeria. Restez connectés pour le service dominical diffusé en direct de la synagogue Église de toutes les nations à Lagos au Nigeria. Permanece conectado para el servicio dominical de la SCOAN, transmitido en vivo desde la sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones, en Lagos, Nigeria. Live Sunday Service starts right now.
El servicio dominical en vivo de la SCON empieza ahora mismo. El servicio dominical en directo de la SCON comienza al instante. The Scorn Live Sunday Service starts right now. El servicio dominical en vivo de la Scorn. Lou el Eternel. With a beautiful smile on your face, greet your neighbor, say good morning and win today. Con una hermosa sonrisa en tu rostro, saluda a tu vecino y dile buenos días y vence hoy. Con una sonrisa en tu rostro, saluda a tu vecino y dile buenos días y vence hoy. Greet your other neighbor, say good morning and win tomorrow. Saluda a tu otro vecino y dile buenos días y vence mañana. Dile a tu otro vecino, buenos días y vence mañana. Right now, greet the viewers all about the world, say good morning and win forever in Jesus' name. Saluda a los espectadores de todo el mundo y diles buenos días y vence siempre. Te despertador, bonjour et soyez vainqueur pour toujours. Yes, people of God, partners of Imani TV, visitors from across the globe, we are delighted to have you join us in today's Sunday service, broadcasting live on Emmanuel TV, right here at the Arena of Liberty, the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Lagos, Nigeria. Espectadores de todo el mundo, socios de Emanuel TV y visitantes aquí presentes, les damos la bienvenida. Estamos encantados de que estén con nosotros en otro servicio dominical transmitido en vivo y en directo desde la Arena de la Libertad, la Sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones en Lagos, Nigeria. Telespectadores, partenarios de Emanuel TV, visitantes del mundo entero, nos sentimos ravis que vos joignez a vos por el dimanche, difusé en directo a Emanuel TV, desde aquí de la Sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones en Lagos, Nigeria. Sí, el profeta de Joshua dice... We must offer thanksgiving to God for everything he has done in our lives in prayers. El profeta Tibi Joshua decía que debemos ofrecer acción de gracias en oración a Dios por todo lo que él ha hecho en nuestras vidas. El profeta Tibi Joshua dijo, rende gracias a Dios por todo lo que él ha hecho por nosotros en la prière. Wherever you are in the auditorium, let us rise for prayers. Donde quiera que estés en el auditorio, pongámonos de pie. Que vous soyez dans l'auditorium, levez-vous pour la prière. The psalmist says, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. El salmista decía, bendice al Señor, O oh alma mía, y no olvides ninguno de sus beneficios. El salmista dice, bendice el Eternel, O oh mon âme, y no olvides aucun de sus bienfaits. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And with a grateful heart, let us give thanks to God for all the way long he has intervened in the affairs of our lives, the lives of the many TV partners and the viewers all over the world. Hoy es el día que el Señor ha hecho, así que con un corazón eh, lleno de agradecimiento démosle gracias a Dios por todo lo que ha intervenido en nuestras vidas, las vidas de los espectadores y de los socios de Emanuel TV. Aujourd'hui, le jour que le Ternel a fait, et avec un cœur reconnaissant, remercions-nous pour la façon qu'il est intervenu dans nos vies, dans la vie des partenaires de Emanuel TV et des téléspectateurs du monde entier. Let us thank God Almighty for his abundant love and mercy upon our mother in the Lord, the leader of the synagogue, Church of All Nations, Pastor Evelyn Joshua. The evangelist and the entire family of Prophet Tibi Joshua. Demos gracias a Dios por su amor abundante y su misericordia sobre la vida de nuestra madre en el Señor, la líder de las Cuban, la pastora Evelyn Joshua, los evangelistas y la familia del profeta Tibi Joshua. Remercio a Dios por la abundancia de su amor y su misericordia envers nuestra madre en el Señor, la pastora Evelyn Joshua, los evangelistas y toda la familia del profeta Tibi Joshua. Let us thank God Almighty for Emmanuel TV, the television station of the synagogue. Church of All Nations, for 18 years of dedication to changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. Demos gracias a Dios por Emanuel TV, la estación de televisión de la Sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones, por estos 18 años dedicados a cambiar vidas, cambiar naciones, y cambiar el mundo. Remercio a Dios por Emanuel TV, la chaîne de televisión de la Sinagoga Iglesia de todas las Naciones, por ser 18 años a changer las vidas, las naciones, y el mundo. Let us thank God Almighty for constantly supporting our position here at the Arena of Liberty, the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Demos gracias a Dios por continuamente apoyar nuestra posición aquí en la Arena de la Libertad, la Sinagoga Iglesia de todas las naciones. Remercio a Dios Todopoderoso por su apoyo constante a nuestra posición aquí en la Arena de la Libertad, la Sinagoga Iglesia de todas las naciones. 
And let us thank God Almighty for what He is able to do in today's service. Let us pray. También demos gracias a Dios por lo que Él es capaz de hacer en el servicio de hoy. Oremos. Remercions Dieu pour ce qu'il est capable de faire ici durant le service d'aujourd'hui au nom de puissant de Jésus-Christ. Thanks, thanks. We give you thanks for all you have done in our life. We are so blessed. Our souls has found rest, oh Lord, we give you thanks, oh Lord, we give you thanks. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. En el nombre de Jesús oramos. En el nombre de Jesús oramos. In Mark 11, verse 25, Jesus said, And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive, so that your heavenly Father may forgive your sins. En Marcos 11, 25, Jesús dijo, Y cuando oréis, perdonad, si tenéis algo contra alguno, para que vuestro Padre Celestial, que, esté, que está en los cielos, os perdone también a vosotros. Marc 11, verset 25, Jésus dit, Lorsque vous êtes debout, vous en votre prière, si vous avez quelque chose contre quelqu'un, pardonnez, afin que votre Père dans les cieux puisse également pardonner vos iniquités. Let us ask God in his mercy to forgive our sins and to remove any barrier between our hearts and the Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Pidamos a Dios que en su misericordia perdone nuestros pecados y que quite todo lo que nos está impidiendo entre nuestro corazón y el Espíritu de Dios en el nombre de Jesús. Demandons a Dios de su misericordia de nos perdonar nos pecados y de enlever toda barrera entre nosotros y Dios en el nombre puissant de Jésus-Christ. Savior, he my heart, oh Christ, while on earth is thou art cold, oh Lord, do not pass me by, singing Savior. Let's pass me by. Lord, we thank you for your mercy and forgiveness in Jesus' name. Señor, te agradecemos por tu misericordia y tu favor en el nombre de Jesús. Señor, nos te remercios por tu perdón y tu misericordia. Let us ask God to take control of every activity of today. Pidámosle a Dios que tome el control de todas las actividades de hoy. Demandons a Dios de prendre el control sobre todas las actividades de hoy. Let us remember our nation, Nigeria, and the rest of the world in prayers. For God's mercy and divine intervention. Recordemos nuestra nación Nigeria y el resto del mundo para el favor de Dios y la intervención divina. Apelonu de nuestra nación le Nigeria y el resto del mundo y demandé la misericordia de Dios de su intervención divina. Philippians 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Filipenses 4 13 dice, todo lo puedo en Cristo que me fortalece. Philippians 4, 13 dit, je puis tout par le Christ qui me fortifie. Let us ask God to continue to strengthen our mother and the Lord and the evangelist mightily to pull down every stronghold of darkness in the life of his people 
and set them free in the name of Jesus Christ. Pidamos a Dios que fortalezca a nuestra madre en el Señor y a los evangelistas poderosamente para derrumbar todos el poder de las tinieblas en la vida de su pueblo y hacerlos libres. Demandons a Dios de continuar a enfoncer nuestra madre en el Señor, la pastora Evelyn Joshua y los evangelistas, a fin de renverser toda fortaleza de tinieblas y de liberar su pueblo. Let us also ask God to command every spirit of fear, intolerance, and unfaithfulness to lose their grip over our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer. También pidamos a Dios para que ordene que todo espíritu de temor, infidelidad e intolerancia suelte su garra de nuestras vidas en el nombre de Jesucristo. Demandez a Dios de donar a todo espíritu de intolerancia, de crainte y de infidelidad de lâcher prise sur votre vida en el nombre de Jesucristo. Blessed be the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised And adore. So we lift our holy hands in one accord, singing, "Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name." Father, we thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Padre, te agradecemos por responder nuestras oraciones en el nombre de Jesús. Oramos. Père, nous te remercions d'avoir exaucé nos prières au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Nous avons prié. If you are happy to be in the presence of God this morning, put your hands together louder for Jesus. Si estás feliz de estar en la presencia de Dios, aplaude a Jesús Cristo. Aplaudez por Jésus Christ. Es contento de estar en su presencia. Put your hands together louder for Jesus. Pon aplaude a Jesús Cristo más fuerte. Aplaudez encore plus fort por Jésus Christ. Yes, the Squad Ministry wants to use this opportunity to thank the Emanuel TV partners, lovers of Emanuel TV worldwide, for all that they did in celebrating the 18th birthday of our darling TV station, Emanuel TV. El Ministerio de las Coan quiere aprovechar esta oportunidad para agradecer a los socios de Manuel TV y a los amantes de Manuel TV por todo lo que han hecho para celebrar el 18 cumpleaños. Le, le ministère de la Synagogue de toutes les nations veut utiliser cette opportunité pour remercier les téléspectateurs, le partenaire d'Emmanuel TV, pour tout ce qu'ils ont fait pour célébrer les 18 ans d'Emmanuel TV, 18 ans de changer les vies, les nations et le monde. The medium God Almighty uses to propagate the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for 18 years of changing lives, changing nations and changing the world. El canal usado para propagar el Evangelio de Jesucristo por esos 18 años cambiando vidas, cambiando naciones y cambiando el mundo. Le média que Dieu a utilisé pour propager l'Evangile de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ pour ses distances, changer les vies, changer le monde. Right now, greet your neighbor, say happy birthday, Emmanuel TV. Ahora mismo saluda a tu vecino y dile feliz cumpleaños, Emmanuel TV. Joyeux anniversaire, Emmanuel TV. Greet your neighbor once more, say happy birthday, Emmanuel TV. Saluda a tu vecino una vez más y dile feliz cumpleaños, Emmanuel TV. Notre voisin, joyeux anniversaire, Emmanuel TV. Tell your neighbor, say keep watching, Emmanuel TV. Dile a tu vecino, sigue viendo, Emmanuel TV. Et continuez à regarder Emmanuel TV. And pray along with Prophet T.B. Joshua. Et ora juntamente con el profeta T.B. Joshua. Et prie avec le prophète T.B. Joshua. Touch your screen. Toca tu pantalla. Touchez votre écran. Touch your screen. Toca tu pantalla. Touchez votre écran. Rejoice. Regocijate. Réjouissez-vous. Yes, glory be to God. It is time to join the Squam Choir as we rejoice.
Emmanuel TV mobile app. Find your favorite sermon. Watch Emmanuel TV live. Stay in tune with God's word. All on the Emmanuel TV mobile app. Available now on the Apple App Store, Samsung Galaxy Store, and Amazon App Store for Android. Alternatively, watch live on Emmanuel.tv and also on Apple TV, Roku TV, Fire TV Stick, and Android TV. Download the Emmanuel TV mobile app. Find your favorite sermon. Watch Emmanuel TV live. Stay in tune with God's Word. All on the Emmanuel TV mobile app. Available now on the Apple App Store, Samsung Galaxy Store, and Amazon App Store for Android. Alternatively, watch live on Emmanuel.tv and also on Apple TV, Roku TV, Fire TV Stick, and Android TV. Download the Emmanuel TV mobile app. Find your favorite sermon. Watch Emmanuel TV live. Stay in tune with God's Word. All on the Emmanuel TV mobile app. Available now on the Apple App Store, Samsung Galaxy Store, and Amazon App Store for Android. Alternatively, watch live on Emmanuel.tv and also on Apple TV, Roku TV, Fire TV Stick, and Android TV. again. Come and dwell in this place. Make my heart your own. Come and dwell in this place. Fill my heart with love. Come and dwell in this place. Set my And dwell, and dwell 
It belongs to you, Jesus. This life, the 
you're looking for a vessel, I say yes, amen, I say yes, if I ever needed you, I need you now, come on. You are all that matter. 
Give me your priceless gift, the Holy Ghost. Through Him, God is revealed. I am saved eternally in Christ. Sweet, I'm the Give me your price. Give me your price.
Indeed, this kind God, this kind God, this kind God, this kind God, if you believe that, put your hands together for the great and mighty God. Yes, we may have our seats in the presence of God. There is a song composed by Prophet T.B. Joshua that says, Acknowledge God for what he has done. Acknowledge God for the role he's been playing. And he will do it again and again and again and again. If you believe God Almighty will do it for you today, put your hands together for Jesus. Yes, today we have people who have experienced the transformative power of God. And they are here today to acknowledge God for what he has done for them. For his healing touch, for liberation from evil spirits, and deliverance from the clutches of the evil spirit. So before the next test, before the first test fire comes forward, let's watch and see how the miracle took place. Les spectateurs, c'est maintenant le temps de témoignage. Regardez vos écrans, téléspectateurs. Spectateurs, tiempo de testimonio ha comenzado. Mantente conectado, observa tu pantalla. Mighty the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Your legs. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body in the name of Jesus. Your head. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Who are you in the name of Jesus? My husband. So what have you done to her? She's not going to get married. She belongs to me. Marie so what have you done in her life? Her career? Stagnation. Promise and feel disappointment. Okay. Unhappiness, sadness. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, all over your body. The cancel. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Deception. In the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body, in the name of Jesus. Your crown. In the name of Jesus. Your rings, in the name of Jesus. Your chain, in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. All your contacts, in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove them in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Your chains in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body, your rings. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. All over your body, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Your crown. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, because of the deception. Thank you, Lord. All your contacts, remove them in the name of Jesus Christ. Your afflictions. Observe the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The manifestation of the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Observe the manifestation of the Spirit in the world. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Esposo Spiritual. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body in the name of Jesus. Now move out in the name of Jesus Christ. Move out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of 
mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be free in Jesus' mighty name. Stand up, you are free. Gracias, Jesús. Esta mujer ha sido declarada. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. Thank you, Jesus. And that was how she received that deliverance. Can we give Jesus a clap offering? Some of them, you're very welcome in Jesus' name. Can you tell us your name and share with us your wonderful testimony? My name is Kense. I'm from Lagos. Um, I was delivered the last week of family, idol, and spiritual husband. Spiritual husband. So, um, you know, in my family, we have this tendency. If females don't settle down, they find it difficult settling down with a man. Then the ones that finally settle down, they have, you know, issues. It doesn't always work out. Then the men, they settle down. They don't have issues financially. They settle down, but they have marital issues. So the woman is not settling down, or then the men settling down and not finding it easy in their marriage. Uh, along the line, as I grew older, when I was much younger, I didn't really understand the effects of the spiritual husband. But as I grew older, after my tertiary education, um, I began to notice certain things, things that people would do in a short space of time. I would take a longer time to achieve mine. I will have to, you know, work out at it, pray, do extra. It was always very difficult. Things were stagnant, didn't move at the right pace. And I noticed that when I dream, I kind of, a strange man has intercourse with me in the dream. I don't really get to see a face, but it happens often. And afterwards, that has made me um, stagnant in some things in life, in my workplace. I don't get promotion. Then I feel very, very weak, like drained a lot of the times. And sometimes I pass out, like an incident, I passed out on the road. I wasn't sick. Nothing happened. Just like I just felt dizzy and just passed out on the road. It happened like two, three times. I went to the hospital and the doctor said, you're not anemic, there's nothing wrong with you health-wise. Just treated for, just said malaria, but that was not, I, I just realized something else was the cause. And along the line, all these things were happening. I was always very weak. I wasn't sick, but I just felt sad. Always had this heaviness inside of me, always. Even when everybody was excited, I always kept to myself, always so sad. So my mom advised that I come and I needed to pray deliverance. So I came here. Then when the man of God, sorry, the, the evangelist was coming towards where I was, I opened my eyes. Then I heard this sound. I was saying, make sure you don't fall, make sure you don't fall. So when he was coming close, I closed my eyes. Like something just forced my eyes closed. So I closed my eyes and I felt this vibration from, the, from my feet all the way up. I was just shaking and I screamed and, and just, that was the last I remembered. And after everything, I, I, the issue that the same thing that played out when the spirit spoke was the same thing over the years. I've been told in several places I've gone to for solutions. They will ask you to bring money. They want to take away the spiritual husband. They want to carry it to the river. But I ended up not going because I felt like if I'm going to be delivered, I don't have to pay. I don't have to go to any river and stuff. So when I came to church and it happened and I was grateful to God that I was delivered. Also, along the line, I also, at some point, I felt kind of depressed. I had suicidal thoughts. Like, I was just tired. I resigned from my job. A lot of things were happening. I felt like there was no reason to live anymore, you know. So after the prayers last week, I, f I felt this relief. I can't really place. I felt a relief. Like, there was this burden that just lifted. I felt so light, energetic. When I got back from church, I was cooking, I was doing other things. Like, I wasn't tired, despite the fact that you know, I was here all through. Normally, I would feel very weak when I got back. But I was very energetic. I was excited inside. I couldn't explain it. And I've not had any of those dreams. But along the, during the week, I had a dream. Now, this supposed strange man came and was about to come to me again. Then I just realized that, no, this can happen again. I just said to myself, no. I won't allow, I don't want. So I woke up and I was like, oh, thank God. Ever since then, I've not had such dreams. I've had this peace. And I've had happiness in my heart. And I thank God. Let's put our hands louder for the miracle walk in God. 
So, madam, with what God Almighty has done for you, what word of advice do you have for viewers all over the world watching you right now? Okay, my advice for viewers all over the world is to hold on to God. When God does something for you, it's to draw you closer to him, to have a relationship with him. Don't be distant. When you have an issue or a problem, come to God with it and he's surely going to deliver you in Jesus' name. Amen. Nous venons d'entendre le témoignage de Madame Kensé du Nigeria. Elle dit qu'elle a reçu sa délivrance de leader de famille et le mari spirituel. Elle dit que ses esprits impurs ont affecté sa vie, ses études et même sa carrière. Elle avait des difficultés à avoir de relations stables avec les hommes. Elle dit qu'elle était toujours malade, mais les docteurs n'ont pas trouvé d'anomalie dans son corps. Elle dit que voilà, elle était toujours triste. Elle est partie dans plusieurs endroits à la recherche de solutions. Elle a même dépensé beaucoup d'argent et payé des personnes afin d'expulser le mari spirituel, mais en vain. Elle dit qu'elle voulait même y mettre fin. C'est là qu'on l'a encouragée à venir ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Elle a reçu la prière au nom de Jésus-Christ. Elle dit qu'après avoir reçu sa prière, elle a vu un changement immédiat. Elle dit qu'elle ne fait plus de cauchemars. Maintenant, elle a la paix intérieure, plus de régression. Elle est toute contente d'être déclarée libre au nom de Jésus-Christ. Elle vous encourage tous les spectateurs en disant « Tenez ferme à Dieu. Yeah. Escuchamos el testimonio de Kense. Ella nos comenta que recibió su liberación de un esposo espiritual e ídolo en la familia. Nos comenta que ella tenía diferentes ataques espirituales en los sueños que afectaban su vida diaria. Ella llegó a tener pensamientos suicidas hasta que llegó aquí a la arena de la libertad, donde el evangelista oró por ella y recibió su liberación, así como vemos en pantalla, de este ídolo en la familia, de este esposo espiritual. Damos toda la gloria a Jesucristo por este maravilloso milagro. People of God, praise the Lord. Praise the mighty Jesus. Wow, the testimony we just hear is beautiful. So let's put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. So the testimony we are listening to is the show that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. But before going forward with the next testimony, please let's watch our screen to see how the healing of God took place. Regardez vos écrans pour le prochain témoignage. Spectateur, observe ta pantalla pour voir comment le prochain testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. My family is Concepción Andem Yema. Yo viene de Guinea Equatorial. My name is Concepción Andem Yema. I'm from Equatorial Guinea. Tengo difícil de caminar. Tengo artritis en la cadera. En la para rodar la espalda. Me duele mucho. Diabetes y tensión. I'm here because I have difficulty in walking due to osteoarthritis in the hip. Also, I'm having pains in my back, hypertension, and also diabetes. Cuatro años. For four years now. Yo me he ido en el hospital a los doctores. No me, por el medicamento, no me, no me, no me curó. Por eso... I've gone to the doctor, I've been to hospitals, and also I've been taking many medications, but nothing works. Ese problema me ha hecho difícil de caminar, y no puede trabajar, no puede hacerme nada. This problem has brought me difficulty in walking, and because of that I cannot do anything and I cannot work. Es por eso he venido aquí en la Iglesia de Dios, de Emmanuel, para que me puede salvar. El... Dios me puede salvar, es lo que creo, sí, es, es lo que creo buenamente que me puede salvar. So I came here to the Sinai Church of All Nations because I believe that God can heal me and save me. Madam, we believe with you that God Almighty will heal you in Jesus' name. Creemos también que Dios puede sanarte en el nombre de Jesús. Amén.
people of God, can you put your hands together for Jesus Christ? Indeed, Jesus is alive. Indeed, only Jesus can do it. Let's put your hands together once again for the miracle working God. Hallelujah. So right now, people of God, we want to listen to this woman who received God's healing, and she wants to share her testimony in one of the foreign languages. So, Madam, you are welcome to the Synagogue Church of Four Nations. But please tell us your name. Where do you come from? And share with us your wonderful testimony. Señora, sea bienvenida a la Sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones. Por favor, díganos su nombre, de dónde es, y comparta con nosotros su maravilloso testimonio. Yo me llamo Concepción Andeminyama. Yo viene de Guinea Ecuatorial. My name is Concepción Andeminyama. I am, I am coming from Equatorial Guinea. Yo he venido porque yo estuve demasiado enferma en, en diabetes, tensión y diabetes. I came here because I was very sick. I had a problem of diabetes, hypertension, and also arthritis in my hip. Yo primeramente fue en el hospital. Y los doctores me dicen que esto no puede curarme porque me cansó, me, me, me estaba haciendo en silla de ruedas, eh, me cayó y la niña me estaba ayudando uh, en, en la cama. Yo no puedo levantar. Sí. Y yo fui en el hospital, me vuelvo. So first of all, I went to the doctors and the doctors said that there was no healing for the, for this sickness I had. Uh, and it started because I fall down. When I fall down, I couldn't move. So my daughter had to assist me in my daily activities. So, madam, can you please tell us how this problem affects your life? Puede por favor decirnos cómo este problema afectó su vida? Yo me afectó que me cayó y así me empieza a doler en todas las partes. No podía ni levantar, ni comer, ni hacerme nada, ni trabajar. Yo estaba para punto para morirme. Yo no tenía que hacer. Yo, yo sé que no sé qué puedo decir más. This problem affected me very bad. I was not able to walk. I was not able to move. I didn't want to do my daily uh, things. The pain I had was too much, and I didn't know what to do. I thought I was about to die. Yeah, allí me pensó que un solo sitio que yo puede sanarme es eh, venirme a, aquí en Sinagog, la iglesia de todas las naciones, es pues lo que me puede salvar. Si Dios puede ayudarme, um, uh, si hay función de mi oraciones y todas las cosas que pueda hacer, So that's when I decided that my only solution was coming to the synagogue church of all nations. I was praying to the Lord and I knew that I was going to be healed here in this place. So, madam, can you please tell us what did you experience with, when you received prayer? Puede por favor decirnos qué experimentó cuando recibió oración? Cuando yo recibí la oración, todos los momentos y así me venía a la iglesia. Em, empezó a temblar cuando me tocó la cabeza y los pies me estaba temblando. Así me dice, levanta. Me levantó por el nombre de Jesús y el Manuel. Me levantó. Glory to God. She's saying that when she received prayer, her body started shaking. And in that moment, he said, rise up. So she rose up in the name of Jesus, and she was completely healed. In that moment, people of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ, because only he can do it. So, madam, can you please tell us what changes have you noticed after the prayer? Puede, por favor, decirnos qué cambios ha visto en su vida después de la oración? Después de la oración, después de la oración, me empieza ahora a moverme, estarme, andarme, a, 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 a saltarme. Hace todo lo que yo me quiero. Yo hace todo lo que veo. Yo, yo hace 
caminar así, así, así caminando. Yo está presumiendo con la gracia de Dios. Yo estoy saltando, yo estoy saltando con la gracia de Dios. Y el Manuel. Glory to God. So she's saying that after the prayer, now she's able to walk, she's able to move, she's able to jump and to do everything that you just saw. People of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Because indeed, he's alive. So, madam, we thank God for what he has done in your life. So, what's your word of advice for viewers all around the world? Le damos gracias a Dios por lo que él ha hecho en tu vida. ¿Cuáles tus palabras, cuáles son tus consejos para los espectadores de todo el mundo? Yo digo a la gente, no hay otra cosa en el mundo, solo Dios. Solo Dios. Y hay que dar gracias a la gran cosa que Emanuel ha hecho este pueblo para que todas las personas de todo el mundo vienen a sanarse aquí. Uh, my advice for people is to believe in God, to love him and to come to this church because here you will find your healing. In this, go to a living church for your healing too. We thank God. Muchas gracias y oramos para que su Bendición sea permanente en el nombre de Jesús. Vous venez d'écouter le merveilleux témoignage de Madame Concepcion Andeme. Elle dit qu'elle souffrait de l'arthrite euh, du côté gauche de sa hanche, qu'elle avait des problèmes pour se déplacer et que lorsqu'elle est partie chez le médecin, il lui a donné, euh, euh, il lui a, il n'y a pas eu de solution finale. Il a donné des médicaments, mais elle ne pouvait toujours pas se déplacer, se mouvoir librement. Elle dit que sa fille était la seule personne qui l'aidait euh, à se faire les tâches ménagères à la maison et à s'occuper d'elle. Elle dit que donc la seule solution pour elle était de venir à la synagogue, église de toutes les nations, ce qu'elle a fait. Et comme vous pouvez le voir sur vos écrans, un des évangélistes a prié pour elle et immédiatement, elle a eu sa guérison, sa délivrance, sa restauration complète. Et comme vous le voir, elle a commencé à courir, à marcher, à célébrer le nom de Jésus-Christ, car en effet, elle est guérie. Elle donne comme conseil de croire en Dieu. Téléspectateurs du monde entier, continuez de regarder vos écrans. Praise the Lord. Children of God, praise the Lord. Children of God, praise the Lord. If you know you're next in line for your testimony, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Yes, we're still listening to wonderful testimonies of God's goodness in the lives of the people. And indeed, God can continue to express himself through any medium to bring healing, deliverance, freedom, and restoration to our lives in Jesus' name. So before the next testifier comes forward, let us watch how the miracle took place. Regardez vos écrans pour le prochain témoignage. Osserva tu pantalla para ver el próximo testimonio. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. That clap is not enough. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Yes, and the man is here in our midst to share with us his wonderful testimony. So you're welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Please tell us your name, the people standing next to you, and share with us your wonderful testimony. Good morning, church. My name is Ayode Jibilo. I'm from Oyo State, but I stay here in Lagos. The person standing beside me, she's my wife, and this is my mom. The, my testimony goes like this. I was addicted to taking alcohol. I cannot do it in a day. I should not take alcohol. I take from morning, afternoon, night. So they affected, they affected me in many ways. They affected my health. I won't be able to eat. When I go for contract, when I get there, they will smell alcohol in my mouth. They will not give it to me. They will just post me to come back. That They will call me. They will not give it to me. I tried to stop it. I couldn't. Anytime I took out, I would get angry. If my wife just talked to me, I would get angry with my mom, my dad. Anybody cannot talk to me at that moment at all. It affected my health. I won't be able to eat. My job, my finances, I will gather money. To eat for something good, I will be seen. Before I know, I will lavish the money on alcohol. I will gather all my friends, I will buy alcohol for them, lavish the money. When I now need the money, I will check my bank account. I'm like, how did I spend this money? I now realize. That will not stop me, 
The next day, I will still continue. So it was on Sunday when my mom called me that I should come to Sinago. When I now got there, I was having the opportunity to put out the prayer line. So when the evangelist touched me, I felt something that um, my eyes, my eyes swell up. My eyes want to piece into two or something. So in like five minutes, and I feel something different, like the poor could water on my body. So when I now get home that night, I was like, ah. so I won't drink today. Unlike before, after church, I will, I'm going, I'll go and drink tonight. Like today night is Sunday. The drink I will drink tomorrow, I will buy it down today. I'm talking about this hard alcohol. I'm not talking about this small, small, like 50% upward. So when I now, when the, the prophet, the inventor touched me, I felt different since then. I, I can't feel anything. There's no much. I keep asking myself, ah, is it me? Okay. Let us rise once again for Jesus Christ. So tell us once again for the benef benefit of our listeners, what are the other changes that you've noticed in your life since your deliverance? Praise the Lord. Since that Sunday, I didn't even have any urge anymore. If my friend called me, I discharged him, please, I'm not around, please. Yeah. <laughs> but on the norm, we drink for money tonight. But no more anger now. I can come from my, from my mom say, I'm not talking like that anymore. I thank God for my life. So we thank God Almighty for what he has done in your life. And we know that your healing and your deliverance will be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. So for the benefit of our listeners, what is your word of advice to people listening to you out there? Please, people out there, please, um, know the kind of friend you are company with. Please, eh? Because it's friend that lead know something like this. So any, any time you have a problem, just run to God. I be with God, all things are possible. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Indeed, with God, all things are possible. So let us listen to your wife. Ma, you're welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Please tell us your name, the people standing next to you, and share with us what you can say concerning the life of your husband. Good morning, church. Good morning. My name is Shadia Belu. The woman that stands with me is my mother-in-law and my husband. My testimony is, uh, since three years ago, I've been finding my husband in... in Spirit of, uh, spirit of, uh, uh, alcohol and anger. But anytime he drink, he'll be angry that if I ask him anything like this, he'll be shouting on me. But my uh, daughter, we said, if I want to call her dad, we now say, uh, my mommy don't call my dad though. My dad will be angry for you. I will say, hey, oh God, God is you that can do everything for me. I will not call my, my mother-in-law. That's, um, uh, grandma, and uh, that is doing like this, is doing like this. We say, uh, deliverance is answer. Deliverance is answer. But since on, uh, on Sunday, I see my husband is changed. Everything is changed. That clap is not enough for the miracle walking God. Let's put it once again for Jesus Christ. So what other changes have you noticed in his life since after, um, since his deliverance? Since on Sunday like this, my husband is like baby to me now. <laughs> what about your relationship with your husband? My relationship is, is fine, is good than before. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Let us pray once again for Jesus Christ. We thank God for the restoration he has brought to your life and also the life of your family. So please, for the benefit of those listening to you, what is your word of encouragement to people out there? My word of advice is for women that anything, anything that is happening in our marriage, pray to God. God will do it. His God can do everything. With God, everything is possible. That's my life like this. 
Everything I've changed. I see everything that changed to good to my family. Amen. So let us listen to your mom. You're welcome in Jesus' name, ma. Briefly, can you tell us your name and share with us what you can say concerning the wonderful miracle that your son has received? Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning today. When today, when tomorrow, and when forever. You can see me, I'm happy. Hey, before, I always cry. If mommy, I see my mommy, son. we know that you're excited and you're full of joy. But for the benefit of our listeners, just please tell us your name. My name is Mrs. Bintu Bello. I come from Oyabet. I'm living in this Lagos for many years. <laughs> okay. People be telling me, this is my daughter's in law, but I take it is like my daughter. And she too take me like her mother. This is my son. <laughs> this is my son. Before, if I say, why are you behaving like this? Mommy, you are start again. You are start again. Don't let me look at I say, where? What happened? I begin to cry. Sometimes, my wife goes, say, Mommy, this thing is too much. I say, deliverance is the answer. We don't want to follow him. I say, he will follow. I say, God of TB Joshua, your, your, your work has started. You will finish it. This boy will follow me. Then I go meet and say, oh, yeah, oh, my, my son. So on Sunday, we go. He said, you not tell me before. I say, please. Say, I don't tell you now. Eh, follow me. He said, Mommy, okay, don't worry. Hello, money. We wake up. Ah, but you don't tell me. I said, Oh, I tell you. I tell you now. Oh, yeah, don't be annoyed. I begin to play with her. Play with him. He go dress. You never wear your sweater. I wear, Mommy. I say, Hey. You wear, I say, You yeah, enter, Mommy, to enter. Thank God. God of you, video. So I will say, We enter together. You come to church. They call a ranger. A, a prayer line. Immediately they pray with it. I begin to look at this lady. Hey, I say, I say, God of Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See that day, thank you, Jesus. See that day, my, my son never take any alcoholic. Do you think, come about, about for me, he say, on, uh, on Friday, I sit down in the kitchen. I put something on fire. He say, Grandma, what happened? I say, am I the one you are talking to? He say, yes, you know. I say, ah, what happened, mommy? Why are you use that? I say, I put something for a uh, fridge. The thing never cold. That's why I sit down. I wa- he said, hey, okay, let me do it myself. I say, you? Ha! I said, God, I don't know. God, I'll keep Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We thank God Almighty for this amazing transformation that God has brought to the life of your family. And we pray that the mercy of God will not depart from this household in Jesus' name. Amen. Mommy, for the benefit of those listening to you, what is your word of encouragement to mothers out there? My people in the Lord, if you are going through this, what I go through, please don't fall up. for God is a God is alive. As he do by own, we do all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Escuchamos el increíble testimonio de la familia Belo. Aquí está el hombre que nos comenta de que él estaba sufriendo de un problema de drogadicción y también él tomaba alcohol. Esto le afectaba en su vida diaria, en sus finanzas, y también en su familia debido a su carácter. Pero al venir aquí a la Sinaoga Iglesia de todas las naciones, él recibió su liberación en el poderoso nombre de Jesús y está aquí testificando con su familia que él ha sido completamente libre, él y su familia, de este problema de drogadicción y de alcohol en el nombre de Jesús. Venid escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de la familia Belo. Et vous voulez voir, M. Ayodeji Bello a reçu sa délivrance la semaine dernière. Il est venu à la synagogue Église de toutes les nations du un problème d'alcoolisme. En effet, il pouvait boire euh, des litres d'alcool et il euh, avait un mauvais comportement à la suite de cela. Il, euh, cela affectait ses finances aussi et sa famille, son mariage et sa mère se plaignaient de son comportement. Il dit qu'il ne pouvait pas accumuler euh, de, de, de l'argent dû à cela et que son travail aussi, il avait des problèmes au niveau de son emploi, son, son lieu de travail. Euh, il dit qu'il est venu à la synagogue de toutes les nations, euh, convaincu par sa mère, et comme vous pouvez le voir, il était délivré par l'un des évangélistes. Il dit que depuis ce jour, il n'a plus du tout de, dé- de désir et d'addiction pour l'alcool. Il est complètement libre, il est sobre. Il rend gloire à Dieu pour sa délivrance. Sa mère témoigne, et son épouse aussi à ses côtés, témoigne de sa totale délivrance, témoigne de sa sobriété. Téléspectateurs du monde entier, il donne comme conseil d'accourir à Dieu et que Dieu a la solution à tous vos problèmes. Continuez de regarder vos écrans. Et on put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus. 
Yes, this testimony you've just been listening to is a proof that the age of miracle has not passed. And the miracle worker is still alive. His name is Jesus. Never a sickness he cannot heal. Never a disease he cannot cure. Never a problem he cannot bear. And never a friend like Jesus. Let us put our hands once again beautifully, beautifully for a miracle working God. Yes, we have another testifier in our midst who has come to testify to the glory of God. Let's listen to him. So you're welcome. Can you please introduce yourself, the person standing next to you, and tell us your beautiful testimony. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Setim Aloy. The person standing beside me is my wife. Her name is Judith Setim. I come here with the problem of hepatitis B. I'm here to thank God for the goodness for what he has done for me and my family. I was having these challenges of hepatitis B for over 17 years. And you know how that sickness used to disturb. I come to testify for all God has done for my life. This problem affected my life. It gave me a lot of, of sorrow. I'm a professional chef. So anywhere I go for a job, they will have to test me before I start the job. Sometimes they will leave me, I will start before they will now discover the problem of hepatitis B and they will sack me. So I've been moving from one job to another. I, anytime I move to a bigger organization like Five Star Hotel, they will have to test and they will ask me to go home. Some people, they will say, go and treat yourself. So I will go, I will treat this sickness, it will not finish. I've been taking drugs, uh, Ogmasin, it's very costly, Livoli. All these drugs, if I get more money, I will, I, will, I will use it to buy. So we are suffering until one day I decided to come to Snago Church of One Nation. I opportune to arrange on a prayer line and the woman of God pray for me, and I received my healing that day. People of God, that clap is not enough for a miracle working God. Put your hands together for Jesus. So, sir, tell us, how has this problem affected your life? Uh, this problem affected my life to the extent that I could not use hot water uh, uh, cold water to bath. I I always have this cold sensation in my in my body system. I can see warm roaming around my chest and my back. I was weak. Even sometimes to go to work is a problem, and I work without standing. So I was very very weak, and and that sorrow in me. Sometimes it makes me to be uh, angry with my wife or and my children. So, and even I isolate myself from coming closer to my wife. Uh, I, it's, it was very bad for me. Mm. And after the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, prayed for you, how do you feel? I feel so calm. Uh, the day she touched me, Last year, 24th of uh, uh, December, 2023. Since that time, all those uh, uh, symptoms go away and I'm not free. Let's put our hands together once again for Jesus Christ. So, sir, we can see a picture on the board next to you. Can you please explain? And this is the first uh, medical report that uh, tested positive. 
and they asked me to go. This one is the second one. He also tested positive. They asked me to go. This after the deliverance. This one tested negative. People of God, that clap is not enough for my miracle working God. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So, so with this beautiful thing that God Almighty has done in your life, what word of advice do you have for listeners? My word, my word of advice is that just keep praying and any challenges you are having, just come to God. God will hear you and you will be free. So let's listen to your wife. Ma, you're welcome. Can you please introduce yourself? The person standing next to you and tell us, how do you feel now that your husband is healed? Emmanuel. My name is Mrs. Judith Setin. The man standing beside me is my husband. We are here to testify the goodness of the Lord in our family. My husband has said it all. So I just want to thank God for his love upon us. And I want to, I'm so happy and relieved now that he has been delivered. I know that everything will be well in the name of Jesus. Amen. People of God, put your hands together for Jesus. So with this beautiful thing that God Almighty has done in the life of your family, what word of advice do you have for listeners? The word of advice I have is that always keep on looking up to God. He is the only solution in our problem. Amen. Espectadores de todo el mundo, acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio del Señor Alay desde aquí de Nigeria y él vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones con un problema de hepatitis. Nos comenta que durante 17 años estuvo sufriendo por causa, por causa de este problema, le afectó su vida, le trajo dolor y por causa de esto él siempre lo echaban de sus trabajos, él no podía ducharse con agua eh, caliente, no podía cuidar de su familia y siempre estaba enfadado y aislado. Sin embargo, cuando la mujer de Dios, la pastora on the screen of the television is when the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, was praying for him and immediately he received a search. Here we can see the evidence that he has been free and he has come back for his testimony to the glory of God. People of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Cuando la mujer de Dios, la pastora Beren Joshua oró por él, él recibió su sanidad y hoy aquí está para testificar juntamente con su esposa de la bondad de Dios, aconsejan mirar a Dios en todo momento. Espectador, permanece conectado. Le sortant du monde entier, Monsieur Alloy remercie Dieu pour la guérison qu'il a reçue. Il souffrait d'hépatite B pendant 17 ans. Il dit que ce problème l'a vraiment affecté. Il était chef et à chaque fois qu'il trouvait d'emploi, après quelques mois de travail, il perdait son emploi car l'établissement faisait des examens de santé et il trouvait qu'il souffrait d'hépatite B. Il, il dit qu'il ressentait toujours une sensation de froid et devait toujours se laver avec de l'eau chaude. À cause de son problème, il était toujours mécontent et déprimé. Venu ici à la Squana, il a reçu la prière de la servante de Dieu, la pasteur et puis Joshua et il a été guéri. Il ne ressent plus les symptômes qu'il ressentait et il, il a de nouveau un emploi. De retour à l'hôpital où l'analyse a été faite, les médecins ont découvert qu'il ne souffrait, il ne souffre plus d'hépatite B. Il est complètement guéri pour la gloire de Dieu. Il conseille à tout le monde de chercher la face de Dieu. Ça que le monde entier restait toujours connecté. Sur l'écran est là où la servante de Dieu, la pasteur Yves Joshua, a prié pour lui. Maintenant, il est complètement libre après l'examen de, des médecins où il a été déclaré, déclaré négatif à l'hépatite B. Maintenant, il n'a plus besoin de se laver avec de l'eau chaude ou bien il ne ressent plus des sensations de froid qu'il avait l'habitude de ressentir à l'époque. Sa maman témoigne de la guérison de son fils et elle dit que maintenant, son fils a un emploi et elle remercie Dieu pour cela. Espectadores, como vimos en pantalla, la mujer de Dios oró por él. Inmediatamente después, él volvió a hacerse ese examen médico y dio negativo para la gloria de Dios. Él está aquí testificando con los documentos la prueba de que Jesucristo es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre. Espectador, permanece conectado y recibe por fe también tu propia bendición en el nombre de Jesucristo.
morning and win today, people of God. We have just listened to life-changing testimonies from people who were opportune to be at the arena of liberty, the synagogue church of all nations. And also we have those who put their faith in Christ Jesus before using the faith tools from the ministry of Prophet C.B. Joshua. And as we know, God can use any medium to meet us at the point of our needs. Also, we have those who believe that distance can never be a barrier to the move of God. And they have written to share their encounter with God Almighty. After calling Squirm Prayer Line for prayers, watching Emmanuel TV, and praying along with Prophet T.B. Joshua, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, and the Evangelist. And they received their healing, deliverance, and breakthrough according to the will of God. These people have written to share their wonderful experience through the church's official email. And may God bless us all as we listen in Jesus' name. Emmanuel, buenos días y vence hoy, vence mañana y vence siempre, pueblo de Dios. Hemos escuchado testimonios de personas que han venido aquí a la Sinaoga Iglesia de todas las naciones, a la Arena de la Libertad, y han recibido su milagro de salvación, de liberación y de bendición en el nombre de Jesús. Pero también tenemos personas, aquellos que han creído que la distancia no es una barrera y han orado junto a Profeta TV Joshua o la Pastora Evelyn Joshua por Emanuel TV o han contactado las líneas de oración de Emanuel TV y también han recibido su milagro de sanidad, de liberación y de salvación. Espectador, mientras observas y escuchas estos testimonios, permanece en fe y bendecido en el nombre de Jesús. Emmanuel, bonjour y soyez vainqueur, aujourd'hui, demain y por toujours, peuple de Dieu. Nous voulons d'entendre d'extraordinaires témoignages de personnes qui sont venues physiquement ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations ou ceux qui ont prié avec les outils de foi du ministère du prophète Tibi Joshua et ils ont reçu leur miracle de Dieu. Nous avons également ceux qui croient que la distance n'est jamais une barrière au mouvement du Saint-Esprit. Ils ont appelé la ligne de prière de la synagogue église de toutes les nations où ils ont prié ensemble avec le prophète Tibi Joshua, la pasteur Rémi Joshua et les évangélistes. Et ils ont reçu leur délivrance, leur guérison et toutes leurs bénédictions. Ils ont partagé leurs témoignages à travers l'email officiel de la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Nous allons bientôt les lire pour vous. Soyez bénis en écoutant. The first email with me is from Ireland and is read us. My name is Anne. I'm 44 years old from Ireland. People of God, I want to share my wonderful testimonies of the glory of God, of God of Prophet T.B. Joshua and Pastor Evelyn Joshua. I was bedwetting from my childhood. Growing up, it's reduced. And after I got married, I found myself bedwetting. This was happening like twice a year. I could not understand why it was happening and I would urinate in the dream, and when I wake up, I'll find the bed wet. I came across Emmanuel TV in 2005. I was really keen to Emmanuel TV every day, praying with Prophet T.B. Joshua, listening to his teachings during the mass prayer. Prophet T.B. Joshua called out a woman who was bedwetting from the congregation, and he said that it is a curse. The woman should come out for deliverance. This struck my heart. This struck my heart. And I claimed my deliverance. I said, Lord, as this woman is getting her deliverance, deliver me as well. From there, I knew it was a curse. This was in 2015. In my sleep, I had a dream where I went to the toilet to ease myself. And all the toilet doors were occupied. I could not go in and suddenly I saw an image coming to me. I started rebuking it in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. And it fell down and I woke up from that sleep and I went to the toilet to ease myself. Since that time in 2015, when I was 36 years old and now I am 44 years old in 2024, I never experienced bedwetting again. Thank you, Jesus. I am free forever. Glory to Jesus. In 2020, God blessed me with a brand new Jeep, which I never believed in my life that I would have. In 2022, I called the Emmanuel TV prayer line to pray for me about a job interview I was going to attend. The evangelist prayed for me and said, it is done. I went and passed the interview, which I did, I believed I did not do well in it to my knowledge. I thank God of Prophet C.B. Joshua for manifesting his strength in my weakness. 
I was now waiting for a contract for a year. During this time, I kept on calling Emmanuel TV prayer line. They prayed for me and my husband for breakthrough. Before we knew it, my husband was called by a new company to sign a contract with them. It happened in November of 2023. As my husband was signing a new contract, my contract also came in. It happened that my husband and myself started our new job in December 2023. My husband's contract My husband's contract brought a new car to the glory of God and to the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua and Pastor Evelyn Joshua. Indeed, this is the year of our laughter. As we are entering into this new year, a new name that we are very happy and we want to thank Jesus for his kindness towards our lives. Thank you, God of Prophet T.B. Joshua and Pastor Evelyn Joshua. And attached to this email is the brand new car of the husband and also the wife. Ahora vamos a escuchar el testimonio de Han de Irlanda. Ella sufría de neuresis desde la niñez. Ella se casó y seguía con ese problema. Orinaba en sus sueños y al momento de despertarse se encontraba con la cama mojada. Mientras miraba a Emanuel TV, llorando junto al profeta TV Joshua, ella reclamó su liberación. Y al ver a otra mujer recibiendo la suya del mismo problema, ella en ese momento recibió su liberación y ya no orina más en su cama. Y así como vemos en pantalla, su testimonio continúa, ya que ella y su marido recibieron un nuevo trabajo y un auto nuevo para la gloria de Dios. Voici le premier email. Anna Danga, âgée de 44 ans, a envoyé son témoignage depuis l'Irlande. Elle raconte que voilà, elle faisait pipi au lit depuis son enfance, mais après son mariage, elle a commencé à refaire pipi au lit. Elle dit que à chaque fois qu'elle se réveillait, elle voyait que le lit était trempé. En 2005, elle a découvert Emmanuel TV et a continué à prier avec le prophète Tibi Joshua. Pendant la prière de masse, le prophète Tibi Joshua a appelé une femme qui faisait pipi au lit et dit que c'était une malédiction et qu'elle devait venir pour la délivrance. Elle dit que ceci a touché son cœur et elle a réclamer sa délivrance au nom de Jésus-Christ. En 2015, elle a fait un rêve victorieux où elle ne faisait plus pipi au lit et dans ses rêves, elle dit que voilà, elle a chassé cet esprit par la foi au nom de Jésus-Christ en priant avec le prophète Tibi Joshua. Elle dit voilà, en 2020, Dieu l'a béni avec une toute nouvelle voiture, un Jeep tout neuf. Elle dit que voilà, si elle a appelé la ligne de prière de la synagogue église de toutes les nations afin qu'elle reçoive un nouveau contrat de travail. Elle dit que elle a continué à appeler la ligne de prière et à la gloire de Dieu, elle et son mari, ils ont reçu un nouveau travail et ils furent tous bénis avec une nouvelle voiture, une de 2023 et une de 2024. Et vous avez vu, il y a une photo attachée avec. Ils rendent toute la gloire à Dieu du prophète Tibi Joshua, au Dieu du pasteur Evelyn Joshua. Indeed, our God is too faithful to fail. The next email is from Florence, and it reads, My name is Florence. I am a Ghanaian living in South Africa. I was pregnant, and the doctor told me I am at high risk because of my age. When it was time for delivery, I called the Emmanuel TV prayer line. They prayed for me, and the evil spirit manifested as the spirit husband. When I got to the hospital... I was in pains. The nurse came to check on me and they said it was labor that they would check me from 12 a.m. to 11 p.m. They told me I am five centimeters dilated. I was in severe pains. I cried so much. So when the doctors left, I remembered I had a video of Prophet T.B. Joshua on my phone when he prayed and said, let there be light. The moment I prayed along with him, within five minutes, I delivered my baby, a bouncing baby boy myself, because no one was there at the time of delivery. The nurses and doctor were so happy for me because they thought I would die. I give thanks to God of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Help me shout, Emmanuel! We named the baby Joseph. And attached with the email is the picture of the baby and the mother. 
El próximo testimonio es de Florence. Ella es de Ghana, pero vive en Sudáfrica. Ella tenía un embarazo riesgoso y llamó a la línea de oración. Y el espíritu causante de la aflicción se manifestó. Ella recibió su liberación en ese momento. Al momento de conversar el trabajo de parto, vi un video del profeta T.B. Joshua, una oración del profeta T.B. Joshua, y a los cinco minutos ella dio a luz de manera segura a su bebé. Los doctores y enfermeros estaban alegres, ya que ella tenía riesgo de que pudiera morir. Damos gloria a Jesucristo por este maravilloso milagro. Florence Cass partage son témoignage de l'Afrique du Sud. Elle dit que qu'elle est une Ghanéenne vivant en Afrique du Sud. Elle était enceinte et le médecin lui avait dit que c'était un risque élevé à cause de son âge avancé. Elle dit que au moment de l'accouchement, elle a appelé la ligne de prière d'Emmanuel TV. Ils ont prié pour elle au nom de Jésus-Christ et un mauvais esprit s'est manifesté sous la forme du mari spirituel. Elle avait des contractions à l'hôpital. L'infirmière dit qu'elle était en train euh, d'accoucher, qu'elle était dilatée de 5 cm et elle avait des fortes douleurs. Lorsque le médecin est parti, elle dit qu'elle s'est souvenue, voilà, qu'elle avait une vidéo du prophète Tibi Joshua sur son téléphone. Elle a commencé à prier et le prophète Tibi Joshua a dit que la lumière soit. Elle dit que le moment qu'elle a commencé à prier avec le prophète Tibi Joshua, en l'espace de cinq minutes, elle a couché toute seule d'un petit garçon rebondissant. Elle dit qu'il n'y avait personne avec elle. Les infirmières et les médecins disent que voilà, elles étaient si heureux car ils pensaient qu'elle allait mourir durant l'accouchement. Mais à la gloire de Dieu, elle et son bébé et tous deux en vie. Et voilà, elle rend toute gloire à Dieu, toute la grâce à Dieu. Pour le prophète du prophète Tibi Joshua, elle appelait le bébé Joseph. Elle a couché le 17 septembre 2023 et elle a envoyé une photo du bébé. Praise the Lord. Yes, we're still listening to wonderful testimonies. The next email reading we me is from, is from Jennifer, and it's read us. My name is Jennifer from Botswana. I would like to give a testimony of healing through praying with the man of God, his anointed servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua. One day in the afternoon, I was sitting, preparing myself to have my bath. That night, all of a sudden, I had this excruciating pain that I couldn't ignore in my chest. And I started sweating profusely and unable to stop this pain or this excruciating pain that I was feeling in my chest. This pain was so severe and I couldn't hold back my tears that I was sobbing in the pain, not knowing what to do next. I had no medication with me at that point to relieve the pain. I thought while in that pain, what to do? And I remember the man of God's prayer. Immediately, I turned to my phone and searched for one of the prayers, and I started praying with the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. People of God, the burning sensation that was so severe that I was having after praying with the man of God came to an end instantly. Lo and behold, I was shaking and sweating at that time due to the pain. Then all of a sudden, instantly, I felt an unexplainable cold entering my chest. And that was the end of that excruciating and piercing pain. I also have an history of stomach ulcer. And that very day, I couldn't believe what was happening. I was healed instantly, all to the glory of God. Due to lack of faith and fear, I left the market to get medication for that particular sickness that I was having. It was at the shop that assurance hits me that indeed I was healed. I decided to test, I decided to test myself. So I bought fried and spicy hot chicken and chips. As, as we all know that you cannot eat spicy and hot food when you're having ulcer. But to my greatest amazement, I finished the meal without complaining of any pain. The reality hits me hard that truly this is the hand of God that touched me on that particular day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, the Holy Spirit. I will forever be grateful for these anointed servants, my mentor and the father of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Pastor Prophet T.B. Joshua. I believe that God has done this in my life We'll continue to do many more testimonies in the lives of people in Jesus' mighty name. El próximo testimonio es de Jennifer de Botswana. Un día ella comenzó a sentir un fuerte dolor en su pecho y antes ella padecía de úlcera estomacal. Recordó las oraciones del profeta T.B. Joshua y comenzó a orar por Emmanuel TV. Desde entonces el ella llamó al teléfono 
Y al orar recibió su sanidad de este fuerte dolor que tenía. Ahora ella está completamente sana y da toda la gloria a Jesucristo por este maravilloso milagro. Jennifer de Botswana partage son témoignage de guérison qu'elle a reçu à travers la prière du prophète Tibi Joshua au nom de Jésus-Christ. Elle dit que voilà, un après-midi, elle a ressenti des douleurs atroces au niveau de la poitrine et elle transpirait abondamment, ne sachant que faire puisqu'elle n'avait pas de médicaments. Elle a commencé à prier avec l'homme de Dieu, le prophète Tibi Joshua, sur son téléphone. Elle dit que la sensation de brûleur qui était si intense a cessé instantanément à la gloire de Dieu pendant qu'elle priait. Elle dit qu'à un moment, elle a senti un froid inexplicable pénétrer dans sa poitrine et c'est ainsi que cette douleur atroce et perçante a arrêté. Elle dit qu'elle elle a été également guérie de l'ulcère à l'estomac. Elle a décidé de tester sa guérison et donc elle a acheté des nourritures à épicer, elle a mangé à la gloire de Dieu. Ceci ne l'a point affectée. Elle dit que voilà, elle remercie Jésus-Christ et le Saint-Esprit. Elle serait jamais reconnaissante à Dieu. Elle rend toute la gloire à Jésus-Christ. Indeed, the hand of the Lord is not too short to reach us at the point of our need. Neither is his ear too dull to hear us. The next testimony is from Happy and it reads, Good morning and win today. Win tomorrow and win forever in Jesus' name. My name is Happy from Zimbabwe. My wife was diagnosed with thyroid cancer and operated in South Africa between the 5th and 9th of December 2022. She was miraculously discharged from the hospital on the 9th of December with breathing aid. The situation was not good, but I quickly ran to God of senior prophet T.B. Joshua and on the 10th, of December 2022. I sent a prayer request via email. Again, I made a phone call from South Africa and the prayer warriors asked if my wife was close to me so they could pray for her. I put the phone on her ears and she was prayed for. People of God, when she came home and she was not speaking audibly, you could see her mouth moving but no voice was coming out as she was operated on the truth. The doctors had told her that her voice would recover after a month. It was a terrible situation. When she wanted to speak, I would take a pen and paper so that she could write down whatever she wanted to say. Imagine how difficult the situation was. We couldn't leave her alone in the room because if she wanted someone, she would beat the walls that would make some noise for her to be heard. People of God, a few minutes after she was prayed for, she started speaking audibly. And the following morning, we walked to town without any difficulties. I thank God of Prophet T.B. Joshua. My wife is completely healed in Jesus' name. By just a prayer from the prayer line teams, thousands of kilometers away, indeed, Distance is not a barrier. I hereby attach the photos of her in the hospital unconscious after the operation and when she was discharged from the hospital and she's totally healed. El próximo testimonio es de Happy de Zimbabue. Su espos la esposa de Happy salió de una operación por cáncer de tiroides con una máquina de respirar. Él envió una petición de oración por correo electrónico y llamó a los guerreros de oración. Oraron por ella y luego de la oración comenzó a recuperarse drásticamente, ya que podía hablar y a la mañana siguiente ya caminaba. Su esposa fue completamente libre de toda aflicción y adjunto está la foto de ella. Damos toda la gloria a Jesucristo por este maravilloso milagro en la vida de la familia del señor Happy. Happy du Zimbabwe raconte que sa femme a été diagnostiquée avec un cancer de la thyroïde et a été opérée. Elle dit que voilà, la situation n'était pas bonne, que voilà, ils ont décidé de se tourner vers le dieu du prophète Tibi Joshua. Il dit qu'il avait même envoyé une requête de prière par email et il a même appelé la ligne de prière. Ils ont reçu la prière au nom de Jésus-Christ. Peuple de Dieu, il raconte que quand sa femme est rentrée à la maison, euh, n'arrivait pas à parler de manière auditive, euh, elle dit qu'elle n'était pas audible, elle faisait que des sons, des bruits pour pouvoir communiquer, elle utilisait même des papiers pour pouvoir communiquer. Les médecins avaient dit que voilà, sa voix allait prendre beaucoup de temps, plus que de mois, pour être rétablie. Elle dit que mais après la prière, immédiatement, sa femme a commencé à parler à haute voix, elle était remplie de force, ils sont même partis euh, au marché et rend toute la gloire à Dieu. Ils disent que même à des kilomètres, la distance n'est pas une barrière à notre esprit saint. People of God, 
These testimonies that we're listening to is a proof that believing in God's word, you can receive your healing, your deliverance, your salvation, your breakthrough, and all of God's blessings. Pueblo de Dios, estos testimonios son prueba de que al creer en la palabra de Dios, tú también puedes recibir todas las bendiciones, la sanidad y los milagros de Dios Todopoderoso. Peuple de Dieu, ces témoignages prouvent que si vous croyez en la parole de Dieu, vous pouvez recevoir votre bénédiction, votre délivrance et toutes les bénédictions de Dieu. The next email with me is from Emmanuel. Good morning and win today. My name is Emmanuel. I'm a Cameroonian living in Germany. I have a testimony to share. I'm a professional footballer who has been struggling with his career for a long time. Each time I got to a team, at the end, to sign a contract, it will end up in disappointment. And I have this nightmare that I always see myself in the village in Cameroon, where I was born. And in my dream, I will be fighting that has caused me to have anger. This has been happening for a long time. I've been having setback, disappointments, and failure here and there. Being a child of God and also a follower of Emmanuel TV, on Monday, February 5th, I called the Emmanuel TV prayer line and they prayed for me. When we were engaged in the prayer, I knew what was happening. And I'm sorry, I never knew what was happening. I just saw myself vomiting bloody substance that you can see in the picture attached to this email. I saw myself vomiting poisonous substance and I believe that after this prayer, I am free from this career failure that I've been having. The God of Senior Prophet C.B. Joshua, my mentor, has done for me, and I will be coming with my breakthrough testimony. My advice for anyone who is listening is they should put their trust and their faith in the Lord, not on earthly things. Here are the photos of Mr. Boateng and his teammates. Emmanuel, God is with us. Escuchamos el testimonio de Jongo, él es de Camerún, pero vive en Alemania. Es un jugador profesional de fútbol que tuvo muchos desafíos con su carrera. Por mucho tiempo, él decidió llamar a la línea de oración de Emmanuel TV y al llamar oró junto con los guerreros de oración y él vomitó la sustancia tóxica que causaba la limitación en su carrera. Él da la gloria a Jesucristo por esta liberación que ha recibido y él sabe que va a volver con un testimonio mayor de progreso en el nombre de Jesús. Vemos ahí la imagen adjunta del señor Yongo al recibir su milagro en el nombre de Jesús. Yongo Paul a ses mains, camerounais en Allemagne, il dit que voilà, il est un footballeur professionnel, mais il avait des difficultés à avoir la percée dans sa carrière, il dit qu'il était même très colérique. C'est là qu'il a décidé d'appeler la ligne de prière des Manuel TV. Il dit qu'il voilà, il a commencé à vomir des substances sanguinolentes, comme vous voyez sur la photo. Il dit qu'après la prière, il est libre et il se sent plus léger. Il avait même des difficultés à respirer auparavant, mais après la prière, il respire librement. Il dit qu'il croit que le Dieu du prophète TV Joshua l'a fait pour lui et qu'il va revenir ici pour partager son témoignage de percée. Il Conseille à tous, voilà, de faire confiance à Dieu. Et voici des photos de lui, comme vous voyez, avec Prince Boateng et de ses coéquipiers. Emmanuel, Dieu est avec nous. Praise the Lord. People of God, just because we are Christians, Christians does not mean we won't face difficulties or challenges. But God has promised to see us through. And these testimonies we are listening to are confirmation of his promises. We have another email. Let's listen. It says... Good morning and win today. My name is Charlotte Kluvi, originally from Togo, residing in the U.S. I want to testify to the goodness of God in my life. Early this year, I found out that I was pregnant and was due to have a baby in October. For up to 32 weeks, everything was going well until I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes and I had to make some diet changes to manage it. Due to this diagnosis, I was considered to have a high-risk pregnancy, so I was referred to a specialist called maternal fertile medicine. I could not get an appointment until I was 35 weeks along in the pregnancy. This appointment was for the doctor to check my baby and make sure it wasn't too big due to this diabetes. At the appointment, they did an ultrasound, they did an ultrasound, which showed the baby's weight was normal, but they found cysts on both of my ovaries. The doctor did not know what these were, 
So his recommendation was to induce me at 38 weeks to have the baby early so they can do an MRI to check the cyst. At one point, he even mentioned a C-section delivery because they were afraid the cyst might rupture or twist during my delivery. With this new recommendation, I called the Squan Prayer Lines for prayers. I had about two weeks for the planned induction, but even though I looked for a second opinion at another hospital, I was too far along to get another appointment. I called the prayer line and was prayed for that God will have mercy on me and that his will be done in the situation. Afterwards, my husband and I went to have lunch with my in-laws. At around 3 p.m., while we were eating, I felt something like a ball dropped from my stomach down to my woman part, accompanied with strong pain, so I rushed to the bathroom. As I got to the bathroom, I saw gush of greenish water coming out of me little by little, accompanied with contraction. I didn't know what was happening, but my mother-in-law said it was my water that broke and we should head to the hospital. From there, everything escalated very quickly. My contractions were about three to four minutes apart with the water still coming out. By 3.30 p.m., we made it to the hospital and I was rushed into labor and delivery department. The nurses checked me and said I was five centimeter dilated. I could not believe it because I had so much about first time mothers having long labor. But in my case, everything was moving so fast. About an hour later, I was eight centimeter dilated. A couple of hours later, after a few cervical checks, it was time to start pushing. I pushed for less than one hour and the baby was delivered with no complication or interventions. The hospital staffs were surprised about my delivery, so they called it a spontaneous delivery. To God be the glory, I delivered my son, Isaiah Solomon Millwood, at 8.11 p.m. at 38 weeks and one day. As I am writing this testimony, Today was the day the doctor planned my induction, and I'm grateful to say that I am home, recovering with my baby that I delivered naturally with God's grace, mercy, and strength. Truly, our God has the final say in all our situation. I thank God for this miraculous event in my life. He is still the same yesterday, today, and forever in Jesus' name. Emmanuel, God is with us. And attached with the email is a picture. El próximo testimonio es de Charlotte de Togo. Ella vive en Estados Unidos y fue diagnosticada con diabetes gestacional. Debido a esto, ella tenía un embarazo riesgoso. Al ver un especialista, ella descubrió que tenía quistes ováricos. Envió sus peticiones de oración por correo electrónico y llamó a la línea de oración de Emanuel TV. En el momento del trabajo de parto, milagrosamente fue rápido y exitoso y dio a luz a un bebé sin ninguna complicación. Ella da toda la gloria a Jesucristo por este maravilloso milagro. Charlotte, originaire du Togo, raconte que voilà, elle était enceinte, mais a été diagnostiquée d'un diabète gestationnel et aussi euh, des quistes sur les deux ovaires. Les médecins ont dit qu'elle pouvait pas accoucher naturellement, qu'elle devait faire une césarienne. C'est là qu'elle a appelé la ligne de prière des Manuel TV. Elle dit que voilà, la gloire de Dieu, le travail a commencé. Elle a pu accoucher par voie naturelle. Elle dit que voilà, elle a donné naissance à son fils à Isaac. Elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu, elle qui devait faire une intervention. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, elle a pu accoucher naturellement. Emmanuel, Dieu est avec nous. Indeed, testimonies are articles of faith and is a proof that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The next testimony with me is from Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God, good morning and win today. Win tomorrow and win forever. My name is Mary and my brother's name is Jacob, Emmanuel from Kenya. I am a Kenyan living in the U.S., On the 31st of December, I desperately called the Synagogue Church of All Nations prayer line number because of my brother's condition. 
he was in the doctor's office in Kenya at that moment. My brother had been diagnosed over two years before now with an aggressive prostate cancer stage four, which, has, which was seen to have spread to the spinal cord. He was also found with the end stage of kidney disease and needed immediate dialysis to stabilize him. At the time I was calling, the dialysis was failing because of too much bleeding and pain in the stomach region. Immediately after the evangelist prayed for me and asked me to tell my brother with me to call the prayer line, the pain ceased from the stomach. Uh, from that moment, the pain ceased at his stomach. All this uncomfortable feeling stopped to the end. From then on, he has not stopped or given any bad report about him having any body pain or him vomiting. Every time he eats like this, he used to stop. But after the prayer, he started becoming stronger and he has been working distance. The doctor said that the kidneys are showing a big transformation. I have attached his picture to show a great improvement. He has no pain at all. No one expected him today to even be able to cook his own meal like he's doing today. Emmanuel, we give God the glory and honor. Hallelujah. El próximo testimonio es de Mary y su hermano Jacob. Ellos son de Kenia, pero viven en Estados Unidos. Jacob había sido diagnosticado con cáncer de próstata en estado 4 que había afectado la médula espinal. También tenía un problema en los riñones y tuvo que ser tratado con diálisis para estabilizarlo. Mary decidió llamar a la línea de oración y los guerreros de oración oraron por Jacob y en ese momento el dolor que estaba padeciendo desapareció completamente. Los doctores comentaban que hay un gran avance en ellos, en él, y no esperaban este avance debido a la condición en la que él estaba, pero ahora él puede hacer todas las cosas que no podía hacer antes, debido a los dolores que tenía. Ellos dan toda la gloria a Jesucristo, ya que Dios ha hecho el milagro en la vida de Jacob. Marie et Jacob partagent leur témoignage du Kenya et disent que voilà, Jacob avait un cancer agressif de la prostate, il avait même une maladie rénale, il devait faire la dialyse. C'est là que Marie et Jacob ont appelé la ligne de prière au nom de Jésus-Christ. Elle dit que tous deux ont reçu leur délivrance et son frère a montré de grands changements. Les médecins ont même dit que ses reins ont une grande transformation. Aujourd'hui, il va bien, il ne vomit plus, il est en bonne santé, rempli d'énergie. Après avoir reçu la prière des gars de prière au nom de Jésus-Christ, il donne toute la gloire à Dieu au nom de Jésus-Christ. Indeed, in every situation, God has something to say. We still have more testimonies, and the next one reads, People of God, Emmanuel, my name is Ogunshala Olatunji. I live in Lagos, Nigeria. I am writing to give a testimony about how God of Prophet T.B. Joshua came through for my sister. It all started like this. A year ago, my sister wanted to give birth but it was not an easy one, and the baby eventually died in her womb. So through the medium of the new anointing water from the squan, she was able to deliver the dead baby by herself without being operated. It was a sad one, but we had to keep faith alive. And few months later, she was pregnant again. And when it was time for delivery, it was detected that the umbilical cord has tightened up the baby's neck, which was very dangerous. They tried all they could, but to no avail. So I thought of calling the prayer line to join me in faith to pray for my sister, but the network was bad. So I couldn't reach the prayer line. Then I switched to my harp to seek, to search for any prayer along with prophet C.B. Joshua. I prayed it on my phone and started praying with it. And I told my sister to believe and pray along too. Brethren, in less than two minutes, my sister started manifesting in the labor room bed. She was shouting seriously. Then few minutes later, her labor progressed and the nurse came along and took her to the delivery room. She delivered safely after some minutes. She's fine and the baby is fine too. Hallelujah. Emmanuel. Attached with the email is the picture of the baby boy. 
El próximo testimonio es de Gunshola de Nigeria. Su hermana sufrió de la muerte de su bebé en su vientre, pero con el nuevo guadunció no hizo falta que pasara por operación, ya que lo expulsó de manera natural. A los meses su hermana quedó nuevamente embarazada y tuvo un embarazo riesgoso y al momento de dar a luz, Ogunshola puso un vídeo de Manuel TV, del profeta TV Joshua de YouTube. En menos de dos minutos su hermana dio a luz a este maravilloso bebé que vimos en pantalla. Su bebé está sano y ella está sana para la gloria de Dios. Voici euh, l'email de Gunshela au Nigeria. Il raconte le témoignage de sa sœur et dit que voilà, sa sœur était enceinte, a fait une fausse couche, elle est retombée enceinte et le jour de l'accouchement, le docteur a dit que le cordon ombilical était resserré autour du cou du bébé. C'est là qu'ils euh, ont décidé de prier avec le prophète Tibi Joshua sur YouTube. Elle dit que deux minutes après, sa sœur s'est mise à manifester et après sa délivrance, elle, le travail a commencé, elle a couché en toute sécurité, pas besoin d'intervention chirurgicale. À la gloire de Dieu, elle a couché et le bébé va tout bien. Il dit, allez, Alléluia, Emmanuel. La photo du petit garçon est attachée. Gloire à Dieu. People of God, these are the few testimonies that time will permit us to take today because of other activities ahead of us. You, you too can be a partaker of God's blessings by believing and confessing all he has done for you as we overcome by the blood of the lamp and the words of our testimony. Remember, someone is out there waiting for your testimony to uplift their faith in Christ Jesus. Viewers all over the world, thank you very much for sending in your testimony. I will rejoice with you regarding what God is doing in your life. You can reach us through our various email address at info at and our various social media platforms regarding your testimony. You can now watch Emmanuel TV on our HD free to air decoder and on our Emmanuel TV mobile app. Stay in faith, stay blessed, and always remember, better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. Espectadores, hasta aquí podemos llegar debido a otras actividades del servicio de hoy. Gracias por escuchar nuestros testimonios. Y recuerda que tú también puedes ser parte de estas bendiciones al querer por la sangre del Cordero y también por la confesión de tu testimonio. Otras personas quieren escuchar tu testimonio, así que también puedes enviar tu testimonio a través de nuestro correo electrónico oficial y también puedes mirar a través de nuestras plataformas digitales. Recuerda que bueno no es suficiente, lo mejor está por venir en el nombre de Jesús. Le de Dieu, nous rendons toute la gloire à Dieu. C'est la fin des lectures des emails de ce dimanche. Téléspectateurs, vous aussi, vous pouvez également partager vos témoignages à la gloire de Dieu. Vous pouvez nous contacter sur l'adresse officielle email info.cohan.org. Téléspectateurs, merci beaucoup d'être resté connectés. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Liberty, the synagogue church of all nations, where healing manifested himself through that name, Jesus. So we have a family to listen to, but before we listen to that family, let us first watch our television to see how that mighty miracle took place. Ça demande entier, les témoignages, quand les témoignages continuent, regardez votre écran pour voir comment le miracle s'est produit. Spectateurs, les témoignages continuent à observer comment le prochain testimonio. expression depict the torment of the excruciating pain he feels. With 
utmost care, his family places him on his seat. Sadness is his state of being as he sits with great discomfort. Yeah, my name is Ngozi Steve Kano. The people beside me here, one is my husband. See my husband here? The other children are my twins. My twins. This morning, the boy became sick. I don't know how the thing happened. All of a sudden, he cannot walk again. He cannot uh, raise his two hands. He cannot go to the toilet. I will carry him to go to the toilet. He cannot walk by himself. He was crying all through. Mommy, 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 help me, help me. I thought it was a joke. I said, uh -uh, what is this? I tried to let him walk. He cannot. I tried to raise his two hands. He cannot walk. This is why I brought him here. I say, since I know that this place is the arena of liberty, and as we have come here, I believe that God Almighty will use our able mommy, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, to hear him. I will also pray with you that God will set your son free today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. As As the boy came here with the problem of inability to walk due to paralysis, and we can see him take his step. Jesus. Thank you, 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 J
I give her a, a pet name. I call her Treasure. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah, we are smiling because when we came last Sunday, we were moody because uh, what happened was surprising to all of us. And uh, my son couldn't walk. He couldn't move his hands. He became stiff. I, we didn't know what happened. I was, too many thoughts came into my mind within a split second. Was it paralysis? Or what was it? You know, I was just thinking so many things. I say, is it polio? And this was a healthy child. And I didn't know. But while all these thoughts were going through my mind, I said, let's go to Synagogue Church of All Nations. And uh, But tell us, when he was having this problem, how do you feel as a father, seeing your son that he could not do all these things on his own? It was God that saved me as I didn't even have a stroke. Because as I was seeing him, I was shivering, I was shaking. And uh, by the grace of God, I have faith in Synagogue Church of All Nations and have faith in God Almighty. And then that's why we came. And uh, by God's grace, you can see him. He can walk, he can run, he can fo play football because he likes to play football. And uh, he's healthy. To God be the glory. Let's put our hands together for our Lord and Savior Jesus. So let's listen to your wife. Just a word of you from her. You're welcome, ma. Introduce yourself, the people beside you, and tell us what you want to say. My name is uh, Tina Steve Kano. The man by my side is my amiable husband. The children here are my twins. Their names are Divine Steve Kano, Destiny Steve Kano. I thank God for what God has done in our family. Honestly, I, I don't know how to thank God. When this problem came up, I was devastated. I didn't know what to do. Early hour of um, one morning like that, he started crying, mommy, mommy, mommy. I cannot raise my two hands. I cannot raise my two legs. In fact, I thought it was a joke. I tried to carry him. I couldn't. I said, ah, ah. And I don't know. My husband is the type where you tell him something, all of a sudden he can, you know, uh, he can, something can happen. So I tried to encourage myself. Started calling God of TB Joshua. God of TB Joshua, help me. So, said, but, but tell us. When your son was having this problem, how do you feel as a mother seeing your son going through this at his early stage? Honestly speaking, because I don't know what it was, I felt so bad. I felt, I don't know what to do. I started crying, calling my husband. That, that's my husband now came up. I said, what is it? And I told my husband, I said, God, what is this? I don't know what it is. So both of us were just praying in the house. All of a sudden, we now decided to... So tell us, when he was having this problem, what are those things that your son could not do? He cannot raise his two hands up. He cannot walk. In fact, the hands were like this. He cannot raise it. I tried to carry him up. He will shout. I tried to put his legs on the ground. He could not. With crucial pain like that, you know, it was too much. So tell us what happened when he came to the Church of Four Nations last Sunday and when he was prayed for. And you can see when I came, I was backing him because he cannot put the two legs on the ground. So when I came, I was opportune to be arranged at a prayer line. So mommy now came, mommy, Pastor Evelyn, TB Joshua. Those came, prayed for him. Immediately, he stood up from there. He started walking. In fact, we are very grateful. Not only that, when, because he cannot eat anything. And he came. He looked, he was looking at mommy. Mommy now, now went and brought one delicious food. Delicious food. I gave him. In fact, the food, if you see that food, oh, everybody will be salivating. <laughs> so along the line, he was able to eat the food. And that is how the miracle started. Up to today, there is no other problem. He can walk, he can jump. He's here to testify that. Please. Let's put our hands together for another Savior Jesus. 
So tell us, how old is he? How, how? I'm six years old. Divine, how are you? Fine. What's your name? My name is Divine Sivkano. So tell us, what happened when woman of God touched you? I can stand and walk now. So can you walk for us? Can we put our hands together for the Savior Jesus? So, Ma, tell us, how do you feel now that your son can walk? I feel so happy. You can see me, the happiness is written all over me. In fact, I thank God for everything. I thank God He has done a miraculous work in our life, in my family generally. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, God. May your anointing continue to increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's put this hands wonderfully for Lord and Savior Jesus. So what's your advice to people who are listening to you? My advice to people all over the world, please, if you have this kind of problem, always put your mind in God. There is no other solution except God Almighty. Have faith in God and all will be well with you. There is no problem God cannot solve. If God can solve mine, your own is done already. In Jesus name. Amen. Y acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de la familia Steve. Ellos vienen de Nigeria, vienen a testificar de la bondad de Dios en sus vidas. Nos comentan que el pequeño, en de los dos gemelos, se levantó el sábado de pronto, incapaz de caminar por razones desconocidas, no podía moverse, estaba en dolor. No podía caminar, no podía hacer nada. Los papás se preocuparon mucho, pero decidieron correr y buscar el rostro de Dios en las coan. Ellos llegaron el domingo, donde, como hemos visto en pantalla, el pequeño fue ubicado en la línea de oración. La pastora Belín Yosua administró oración en el poder del Espíritu Santo y en el nombre de Jesús en la vida de este pequeño, quien comenzó a caminar libre hasta el día de hoy. Le hemos visto ejercitarse, saltar, brincar, libre para la gloria de Dios. Y nos aconsejan que cualquiera que sea el problema, busca el rostro de Dios, corre hacia Dios, porque Él es la respuesta a todos los asuntos fundamentales de la vida. Damos toda la gloria a Dios. Ce docteur du monde entier nous l'entend le magnifique témoignage de guérison de la famille de Monsieur Steve Cannon. Il dit que un beau matin, son fils a perdu la capacité de marcher et de bouger son corps dû à la paralysie. Monsieur Cannon a dit que le problème a vraiment effrayé, mais il se souvient de la puissance de Dieu ici à la Squana. Madame Cano a porté son fils au dos et elle l'a mené ici à la Squano où il a été arrangé sur la ligne de prière. La pasteur Evelyn Joshua a prié pour lui et l'a reçu sa guérison instantanément. Maintenant, Monsieur Divine Steve peut marcher et bouger librement pour la gloire de Dieu. Madame Steve conseille à tout le monde d'avoir foi en Dieu qu'avec Dieu tout est possible. Put your hands together once again for a miracle walking God. Yes, we give glory to God Almighty for this faith-building testimony we've just listened to. And we thank God Almighty for this wonderful privilege to be here in His presence, to see that Jesus Christ is a master, healer, deliverer, and with Him, all things are possible. But this is how far we can go in regards to these testimonies, as we have all that...
tiefer, tiefer, tiefer. Wir gehen weiter, 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 weiter. Lebe ein Leben im Geist. Wir gehen höher, höher, höher. Wir gehen tiefer, 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 tiefer. Wir gehen weiter. I'm 
Hallelujah. 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 Greet your neighbor. Good morning and win today. Win tomorrow. And win forever. Greet the viewers all over the world. Good morning and win today. Win tomorrow. And win forever. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, if God be for you, who can be against you? If God be for you, who can be against you? Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, before we go into today's message, let us use this moment to wish Emmanuel TV a happy birthday. Emmanuel TV is 18. So, one, two, three, go. Happy birthday, Emmanuel TV. Which your neighbor, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Say to your neighbor, Emmanuel TV is 18. Emmanuel TV. Is 18 years more stronger. Emmanuel TV is 18 years more wiser. Emmanuel TV is 18 years more smarter. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, viewers all over the world, partners and lovers of Emmanuel TV. We want to use this opportunity to say thank you so much for your prayers and support. Indeed, God Almighty has been faithful. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated in God's presence. Hallelujah. Yes, it is time for God's word. And as we all know, God does nothing without his word. Yes. Our Father in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua says, No state of being is as rewarding as living in tune with God. We don't know God by our feelings. We know him by his word. The word represents his nature. The word is God himself speaking to us. God and his word are one. The word builds faith in the heart of the believer. Are you a believer? Are you a believer? Do you have faith in God's word? Yes, if you say you have faith in God's word, you mean you have confidence in him. You believe in him. You know him and you are committed to him. But mind you, there will always be a test of faith to determine your belief in God. So therefore, as believers, no matter the test or trial or circumstance that surrounds you, your obedience to God's command and instruction is required. God Almighty is more interested in and also appreciates your obedience to his word. Because your obedience proves your faith in him. So your obedience to God's word proves your faith in him. Yes, and this will bring us to today's message titled, your obedience proves your faith. Tell your neighbor, your obedience proves your faith. Yes, and our proof text shall be taken from the book of Luke. Turn your Bible with me to the book of Luke. 
chapter 17. And I'll start my reading from verse 11 to 14. Verse 11. Now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Verse 12. Then as he entered a certain village, there met him ten men who were leopards, who stood afar off, and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go, show yourself to the priests. And so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, from what we just read now, our Lord and Savior Jesus instructed the ten men with leprosy to go and show themselves to the priests. What an instruction. That was an instruction in righteousness, an instruction in power, an instruction in boldness, an instruction in certainty. Take note, the Bible did not say they were already cleansed before Jesus asked them to go and show themselves to the priests. It was remarkable that Jesus asked them to go to the priests while they were still leopards. If you have faith in someone, then you must prove it by your obedience. From verse 13 of that book of Luke chapter 17 that we read, the ten men cried and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. If he was master, as they had cried, he was. If he was master, as they had cried, he was. Then it was necessary for them to prove their faith in him by obeying his instruction. And what did they do? They responded by stepping out in faith. As in putting on the new man while the Steve looked and felt like the old man. The Bible says, as they went, they were cleansed. This shows that the way of obedience was the way to their healing. The way of obedience was the way to their healing. The way of obedience is the way of blessing. The way of obedience is the way of success. The way of obedience is the way of victory. Looking at the case of the men with leprosy, permit me to ask you, is your trust in God strong enough to act on what he says? even before you see evidence that it will work? Is your trust in God strong enough to act on what he says, even before you see the evidence that it will work? You can say you have faith, but without your obedience, that is faith in action, there is no proof. Your obedience to God's word is the only proof of your faith in him. When we say obedience, what do we mean? Obedience simply means doing what the word says and not what you come up with in your own mind. Doing what the word says. And remember, Jesus Christ is the word by whom God speaks to us. The word takes the place of the unseen Christ. 
Life's biggest decision is what you do with Jesus' instruction. What are you doing with Jesus' instruction? Are you obeying them or rebelling? Prophet T.B. Joshua says, Obeying God at first seems hard until we come to see that all he asks is for our good and makes life full and free. The Bible says, God Almighty possesses something that can eliminate sorrow and hardship from the life of people. If you follow his instructions and command, sorrow and hardship will be eliminated from your life. Tell your neighbor, when God gives you an instruction, when God gives you an instruction, carry it out. When God gives you an instruction, carry it out. Yes, in that book of 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1 to 15, we learn from Naaman that healing, salvation, and all of God's blessings are in God's instruction. The man that believes them is the man that receives them. The problem of believing is made simple when we know that it is acting on what God has said. He who will not believe until he receives what he calls a reason for it is never likely to receive. The highest and sovereign reason that can be given for believing is that God Almighty has commanded it. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in that book of Matthew chapter 21, verse 2 to 3, instructed two of his disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there and a caught by her. Lose them and bring them. If anyone says anything, tell them that the Lord needs them. The Bible says these two disciples obeyed their master and carried out Jesus' instruction to the letter without even thinking of the risks involved in going to get the donkey. This shows that they have faith in their master, Jesus Christ. Here we can see that there is virtue in being obedient to our master. Little did the two disciples realize that they were undergoing a test of faith. Our Lord Jesus Christ often gives us assignments or things that we have not done before in order to test our faith in him. This is because your obedience to his word is the only proof of your faith in him. People of God, our obedience is established by our belief which is expressed in practical terms by carrying out God's instruction. It is your duty to obey God's commandment, and it is God's duty to keep his promise. Tell your neighbor, it is your duty to obey God's commandment, and it is God's duty to keep his promises. If you fail to do your part, do not expect God to do it for you. If you fail to do your part, do not expect God to do it for you. If you fail in your part, 
Do not expect God to fulfill his promises. Brethren, there is virtue in obeying God's word. Tell anybody, there is virtue in obeying God's word. There is virtue in obeying God's word. So what you need right now to make a structural difference in your life is to obey God's command and instruction. What you need right now to make a structural difference in your life is to obey God's command and instruction. People of God, we encourage you to make obedience to God's word the foundation of your Christian life. And may the Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless his word in the midst of your heart in Jesus' name. Remember, God loves you. Remain blessed. Trust and obey For there's no other way To be happy in Jesus But trust and obey Trust and obey for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust Him. Come and help me sing, sing. Trust Him, oh, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. God of trust, oh, trust and obey. Oh, 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 can somebody put his hands, her hands for Jesus? Come on, celebrate Jesus! Celebrate Jesus! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen! Put your hands together, come on! Oh, yeah! Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. days of Elijah, declaring the word of the Lord. These are the days of his servant Moses, righteousness being restored. And these are the days of great trial, of me and darkness saints Lord. The voice in the desert crying, preparing the way of the Lord. Say, We Days of Ezekiel, all the dry bone becoming as flesh. These are the days.
days of his servant Moses revealed in the temple of praise. Oh, and these are the days of great heaven. He filled her wine in the world. He had deliverance in your valley. He carried the way of the Lord. Say,
Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Good morning, people of God. Win today. Win tomorrow. And win forever. I want to thank God Almighty for the grace to be in his presence today. Let us give Jesus Christ a beautiful round of applause. No clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. The word of God in the book of Psalm 1 to 1, verse 1 to 3 says, I lift up my eye to the mountain. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He said, he will not let your feet to sleep. He will not let your foot move. He who watches over you will not slumber. Heavenly Father, gracious God, we thank you. Father, we praise your holy name. We bring you all the thanks, all the praises. We thank you for life and all the good things that life brings. Father, we thank you for those moments of peace, moments of joy, moments of hope that flows our heart. Father, we thank you for Jesus Christ. Thank you for all he said and did, pointing us to your love. Father, we thank you for his divine healing over our lives, healing in our body, in our soul and spirit. Father, we thank you for the victory over all that brings us pain. Almighty God, we thank you for the freedom that he gave. Freedom from sin and its penalties. Father, we commit ourselves into your hand today. Almighty God, we commit our lives into your hands today. We pray you lead as we follow in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, touch your children for healing. Touch them for blessings. Touch them for deliverance. Touch them for the salvations of their soul. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let us put our hands together and clap for the Lord again. Amen. Amen. Please do have your seats. I want to thank you all for celebrating with us. Thank you for celebrating Emmanuel TV. Emmanuel TV was born as a baby. She sat down, crawled, and is standing today. By the grace of God, he will take a step, walk, and eventually run. Go to places. All to the glory of God. Yes. But above all, Emmanuel TV started talking as a baby. Meaning, he's a divine child. Child of destiny. And so we all must keep this fire burning. We must protect this child. I want to use this opportunity to thank all our partners, friends of the ministry, for your support, your love. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. The celebration never depart from your life. The celebration never depart from your home. May we continue to celebrate in our nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. So I want to thank our visitors who entertained us so much this morning. You can see that is God at work. 
Our sun has gone what? Globally. What is that sun again? Can we sing it together? It's broken since far over. It's broken when Jesus I went when he went we went since far over us is broken. May sin's power over your life be broken. Amen. May sin power over your family be broken. Amen. May sin power over your career be broken. Amen. May sin power over your businesses be broken. Amen. May sin power over your marriage be broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes, here we are again. Here we are, children of God. You are not here by accident. The word of God said, come, and you came. And because you are here, you'll be delivered. Amen. Because you came, you will be healed. Amen. And because you came, you will be blessed. Amen. You come back with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Espectadores de todo el mundo, comenzamos esta línea de oración. What brought me to synagogue is the problem of... My name is Mr. Aderemi Adeneji. What brought me to synagogue is the problem of new cap. My knee has been uh, ruptured, so I couldn't be able to walk. So after, after I took it to several places... And it was to no avail. So I decided to bring it to the Synagogue Church of Amish. Estamos comenzando esta línea de oración. La pastora Abrin Joshua ministra sanidad en el poder del Espíritu Santo y en el nombre de Jesucristo. Es tiempo de oración aquí, en vivo y en directo desde la Escoan. Este hombre tiene una fractura del fémur. Eh, en su pierna derecha estamos viendo como la pastora Belén Joshua ministra sanidad en el nombre de Jesús. Prepara tu corazón. Este hombre dice que le ha tirado de su y le ha tenido una fractura a nivel del femur y utiliza una bequilla para se desplazar. Recuerda la sermón de Dios, prie por el nombre de Jesucristo. Estamos en el mundo del mundo. Si estás solo escuchando, estamos en la sección de Scorn Prayer Line. Las personas que han venido con diversas sicknesses y diseases han venido a recibir un touch del cielo que va a cambiar la causa y la historia de sus vidas. Can see that man Declarado libre para la gloria de Dios. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Declaré libre en nombre de Jesucristo. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. That is the man that came with the problem of inability to walk with, due to fracture of the femur. Received prayer. Now is demonstrating his newfound freedom in Christ Jesus. Y vemos como la pastora Belén Joshua continúa ministrando sanidad en el poder del único y gran sanador, nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Esta mujer tiene dificultad para caminar debido a la artritis y Dios está tocando su caso ahora. Se permite la dificultad de marchar debido a una artritis severa a nivel del genou. Regarde si una influencia del Saint-Esprit recibe su deliverance. As women are going divine healing in the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God is at work healing all that needs to be healed in our body. We also love the world wherever you are, where life and direct at the arena of liberty, the synagogue church of all nations, where people have come with different sicknesses and diseases, they are laying them down at the feet of Jesus for him to heal them and meet them at the point of their need. Hemos visto esta mujer caer bajo la unción, la reacción al caer bajo el Espíritu Santo, cuando la pastora Belén Yoso ha ministrado esta oración y el poder sanador de Jesucristo está en este lugar. Gracias a esta mujer que tiene dificultad a marchar, ella sufre de artritis severa, ella viene del estado de dos, y se hace cuatro años que ella sufre de esta maladie. Vios, you're witnessing the resurrection power of God at work, strengthening all that needs to be strengthened in the body of that woman. 
as she undergoes divine healing in the name of Jesus. That's the woman taking steps of faith. Y vemos cómo esta mujer da sus pasos, sana para Thank la gloria de Dios. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, I can walk. Thank you, Jesus. Elle est déclarée libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Oui, cette autre femme qui a des difficultés à marcher, due à de l'arthrite, elle a des problèmes aussi au niveau de sa, sa hanche et de ses genoux. Elle nous vient de l'état d'un en bras. No hay enfermedad que Jesucristo no pueda sanar. La pastora Benin Joshua ministra oración en la vida de esta mujer con dificultad para caminar debido a la osteoartritis y este problema está llegando a su fin porque Jesucristo está en escena. That's the woman who was coming with the problem of difficulty in walking due to osteoarthritis. Just as the Bible says, come unto me all ye who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. The woman is here at the arena of liberty, laying her body and her sickness upon the Lord, for God Almighty Lord. to give her rest My in her life. My name is Tari Yakubu. I came from Abuja. The problem that brought me to Synagogue Church of All Nations is due to the fracture of the right femur. I want to thank God for the healing. Today I'm free. Yeah, it yeah, affects me in many ways. I cannot go to work for many years. Yeah, for the pains on the knee, for the knee, for the pains on the right femur. But today, when the woman of God pray for me, I feel free. And today, pain has gone. Yeah. But thank God for the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I don't need the crutches anymore. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Y vemos caminar libre a este hombre para la gloria de Dios. Dios está en escena sanando en este lugar. The healing power of Jesus Christ has been made manifest as people have come here to receive healing in the name of Jesus. All power in heaven and on earth has been invested in that name, Jesus Christ. De voir comment le pasteur Yvelyn Joshua prie pour les personnes, les femmes qui sont venues à la recherche de prière pour avoir une, un accouchement en toute sécurité. Regardez la comment la puissance du Saint-Esprit continue de s'étendre au nom de Jésus. Vemos comment la pasteur Yvelyn Joshua impone manos ungidas en la vida de estas mujeres qui ont venu en busca de ce parto seguro. Jésus-Christ est tocando su caso ahora. Hay poder en el nombre de Jésus. There was labor, a sickness Jesus Christ cannot heal. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. coming back to life as a woman of God is used as an instrument to bring restoration, healing in the lives of the people in the name of Jesus. Y la pastora Benin Joshua ministra sanidad en la vida de este joven con un problema de dislocación en su hombro. Dios está restaurando ahora. Thank you for delivering my wife. Continuez a regarder vos écrans. Voyez comment le pastor Benin Joshua impose les mains à ce jeune homme qui a une dislocation, dislocation, pardon. Il vient de l'état de Benoué et Regardez comment le Saint-Esprit agit en lui. Dislocation de l'épaule. We're still listening to instant testimonies. My name is Mrs. Uche Ilechuku. I came from Anambra State. I'll be 57 years this month. The problem that brought me here is a, is a difficulty in walking due to osteoarthritis. Difficulty in my, in my nails and on my waist. I cannot walk properly. And I'm also hypertensive. 
due to this problem. It, it, it has affected me so much that I cannot run my business effectively. Even my family, I cannot run my family well. Even as shorts, I cannot do it. I, I, I felt so much pain around my waist and nails. This thing has lasted for up to 10 years. But today, I can feel so much relief. Thank you, Lord. I'm healed in Jesus' mighty name. When the woman of God, Mrs. Pastor, Mrs. Evelyn T.B. Joshua prayed for me, I felt so much relief inside of me. And now I can walk. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I'll walk to the glory of God. I can walk Thank to the glory Jesus. of God. Thank you, Jesus. I believe Thank I'll you, do Jesus. something that I've never done before. I believe I can do it. I can, oh my God. I can walk freely. I can fling my nails. Something has been very difficult for me to do this. I can fling it. The pens are gone. They are, they are not more. I thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I don't need them. This knee brace and bandage. I don't think I need them again. I'll just throw it here. I don't need them. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Y una una, las personas están siendo sanadas por el único y gran sanador Jesucristo. Vemos a este hombre caminar. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk now. Because this is happening live and direct at the Arena of Liberty. Your witnessing people receive their divine healing in the name of Jesus. Healing after healing taking place and testimony after testimony. Thank you. Because wherever you are, these and many more can be yours. All you need to do is open the doors of your heart and receive by faith in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Vemos como la pastora Belenyoso administra sanidad en la vida de este hombre con ese problema eh, en su rodilla. Lo vemos que está usando una rodillera y Dios está trayendo sanidad. Se levanta ahora y recibe la administración del agua de unción. Good morning, church. My name is Adereme Adeneji. I come from my state. So um, I have a new problem. I couldn't be able to walk. I couldn't be able to do my normal daily activities. So I've gone to several places for healing. So I decided to come to the synagogue church of all nations. And hence, I was arranged at the prayer line. Now that the woman of God touches me, I feel very relieved. I feel very light. I feel very okay to the glory of God. So I can equally exercise myself now. What I could not be able to do before, I couldn't be able to, of course. Yeah, I was having pain, severe pain, but now I can walk properly. I can walk properly. I can walk properly. No more pain. Yeah, no more pain. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Y vemos los testimonios uno a uno, personas siendo sanadas instantáneamente. La pastora Belén Joshua impone manos ungidas en la vida de esta mujer con un problema de hernia que está anotada para una operación y Jesucristo está restaurando su salud. Ella ha sido declarada libre.
healing. We are witnessing right here at the Arena of Liberty. Right now, I want to listen to a man who received his healing after a touch. So, sir, you're very welcome. Can you share with us your wonderful testimony? My name is Mr. Uchenna Oheri. The problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nation is a, as a result of a challenge I have in my spine, which was caused by the accident I had so many years ago. So about five, four years ago, the thing reoccurred and started worrying me, which have taken me to so many hospitals. A lot of scan, a lot of money has been spent, even the have our medicine Thank you, Jesus. to no avail. But as the woman of God prayed for me this afternoon, I felt much relief. It seems something left me. I'm testifying to the glory of God that I am free. Glory to God. So can you now demonstrate to us that newly found freedom? I am free. I can walk freely. I can walk freely without the pain. I can walk freely. I can walk freely. Emmanuel. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we put our hands together for the miracle walking God? I want to kill her. I, mean, I want to kill her. I want to separate her from her marriage. I don't want to have to marry. This girl is very stubborn. Very stubborn. She's disturbing me. She's very stubborn. She's disturbing me all through the night. Is she the only one? Is she the only one in that family? They want to use her to deliver her family, deliver her husband, the husband that I've tied from her head to his head to toe. You want to look at how small she is. You want to use, they want to use her to separate that man. Why? Why? I want to take her life. I want to take her life. I'm a strong man. I'm a strong man in this body. I'm a giant man. I want to take her life. I want to take her life. She's great. She's great. Y esta mujer ha sido libre para la gloria de Dios. Estaré libre por la gloria de Dios. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you. I'm delivered. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. And deliverance instant testimony continues. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm Mr. Anthony Eje. I'm Mr. Anthony Eje from Benue State. I'm, I, I'm Mr. Anthony Eje from Benue State. I was going work uh, 2020. I was, I was going to work. I fell down. When I fell down, so I could not unable to get up. And I'm going around, all around, go hospital to hospital, take me to where here and here. It's only my wife is taking care of me. Nobody to help me. Nobody to assist me. No solution. No, no healing. Um, as I'm, as I'm coming here now today, for surprising, I was very happy. In fact, when my man of God touched me, I feel cold in my body. I found out all the pains, I'm be feeling pains before. All the pains has finished, has vanished. I don't, no pains again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Y una una de las personas están recibiendo su sanidad. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can, I can do exercise, whatever. I can do whatever I do now. I can move and I can walk. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jesus. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Les spectateurs, regardez votre écran. La pasteur Rémi Joshua prie pour ceux qui souffrent du cerf à la jambe. Regardez l'état. Vous allez voir son témoignage sera établi au nom de Jésus-Christ. Y estamos viendo cómo la pastora Leñosa se ha dirigido hacia la parte exterior, a esta línea de oración. Personas con diferentes problemas han venido en busca de ese toque sanador de Jesucristo. Vemos a esta mujer con esa úlcera en la pierna recibir ahora su sanidad en el nombre de Jesús. The book of Psalms says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence will my help come from. My help comes from the Lord. We are all over the world. You are here at the prayer line session with people that have come with steadfast look to Jesus Christ for him to heal them and meet them at the point of their need. Because wherever you are, you too can be healed, you too can be delivered, you too can be blessed, you too can be saved. Thank All you need to do is open the doors of your heart Thank and you, receive Jesus. your healing Thank by you. faith. In Jesus name. Y estamos viendo a personas con diferentes problemas que han venido a beber de las aguas de nuestro Señor Jesucristo en busca de su sanidad, su bendición, su liberación. Vemos a los evangelistas como comienzan ahora a ministrar en el poder del Espíritu Santo y en el nombre de Jesús en esta línea de oración en la arena de la libertad en la Escoan Lagos, Nigeria. Viewers, remember that the power of God can never be limited by space, time, or circumstance. Jesus, thank you, The power Jesus. of God is living thank and you, active. I'm free. Viewers, wherever you are, remember that there's anointing here. The anointing is present to heal, to save, to deliver, to bless, and rescue you. All you need to do is open the doors of your heart and receive all that God Almighty has promised you in his word in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just remember that this is the arena of liberty and the people are being liberated from their problems. Jesus Christ is setting them free and restoring them back to, into his wonderful light in Christ Jesus. Jésus Christ est celui qui guérit, tout comme dans le livre de Luc 17, comme le dit l'épreux, téléspectateurs, alors que vous êtes connectés, dites dans votre cœur, fils de David, aie pitié de moi, maître Jésus, aie pitié de moi. Y vemos cómo los evangelistas ministran en esta sección exterior de la línea de oración, personas que han venido con diferentes problemas a recibir ese toque sanador de Jesucristo. Viewers all over the world, if you're just joining us, we're live and direct at the Synagogue Church of All Nations prayer line section where the evangelist is in the midst of the people praying for them, whatever their problem is, whatever the problem they must have brought here, God is using them as an instrument to bring an end to that problem in their lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Viewers, remember that your problem does not embarrass Jesus. Open the doors of your heart and Thank receive you, all that he has promised you in Thank his word you, Jesus. in Jesus' name. Recuerda, espectadores de todo el mundo, que tan solo la fe le agrada a Dios. Thank you, Así God. que toca tu pantalla y recibe por fe tu propio milagro. Hoy. Thank you, God. Thank you. Jésus qui a prêt, payez le prix de votre guérison sur la croix du calvaire. Les spectateurs, ce que vous avez à faire, c'est de réclamer cette guérison par la foi. Faites une requête d'onction et recevez au nom de Jésus-Christ. There was one proof then and there is one proof now. Miracles are embedded in that name, Jesus Christ. And in his name, the miracle, healing and restoration is being brought to pass in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I'm the divine. Vemos como el evangelista ministra oración en esta mujer que ha venido con ese problema de úlcera en su pierna y Dios está alcanzando y sanando su caso en el nombre de Jesús. Enfermedad y ni dolencia que Jesús no pueda sanar. El evangelista impone sus manos ungidas en fe y Jesucristo está a la obra. Hay sanidad en el nombre de Jesús.
ask the Holy Spirit to take more of you and give you more of him. Ministration of prayer, healing, and deliverance has commenced at the arena of liberty. You're witnessing God Almighty use the faculties of the man of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, to minister divine healing and deliverance to the people. Viewers, wherever you are, you too can be a partaker of God's blessings, God's healing taking place live and direct at the arena of liberty. All you need to do is open the doors of your heart and receive by faith in Jesus' name. Espectadores de todo el mundo, iniciamos este tiempo de ministración. Podemos ver a la mujer de Dios, la pastora Evelyn Joshua, ministrar bajo la unción del Espíritu Santo de Dios. Recuerda que la distancia no es una barrera. Conéctate en fe y recibe en el nombre de Jesús. Viewers, continue to meditate on God's word. Continue to meditate on his promises over your life. Continue to ask Jesus to locate you in his mercy and favor. Viewers, continue to ask Jesus to position you where you would attract his mercy and favor. Continue to engage your earth and stay connected by faith in Jesus' name. Toute autorité, toute puissance dans les cieux, sur la terre et sur la terre a été investie en le nom de Jésus-Christ. En effet, au nom de Jésus-Christ, tout jeu nous fléchira. Les démons savent qu'ils doivent se soumettre à l'autorité supérieure dans le nom de Jésus. Alors, bien-aimés, où que vous soyez, commencez à méditer dans votre cœur. Demandez au fils de David de vous localiser dans sa miséricorde, de vous localiser dans sa faveur. Et aujourd'hui, votre cas n'échappera pas à l'onction du Dieu. Healing and deliverance is taking place right here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, the arena of liberty. The human of God and the evangelist are now in the midst of the people offering prayers of faith in the name of Jesus. Viewers, you are not left out of all that is happening right here. With a believing heart, know that Jesus Christ is on his way to your head. Know that God Almighty is already working out the answer in your life today in Jesus' name. Espectador, podemos ver a personas de todo el mundo venir aquí a la arena de la libertad. Recuerda que no hay problema que impida a Jesucristo. Él es el mismo ayer, el mismo hoy y el mismo siempre. En el nombre de Jesús, conéctate en fe y se partícipe de la misma libertad que el Espíritu Santo de Dios nos está dando aquí en la arena de la libertad. Viewers all over the world, the time is now, the moment is now. All you need to do is open the doors of your heart and claim all that God Almighty has promised you in his word, in Jesus' name. Rappelez-vous que Jésus-Christ est au courant de votre problème et ne vous laissera pas son solution. Il est au courant de votre maladie et ne vous laissera pas son guérison. Il est au courant de votre affliction et ne vous laissera pas son délivrance. Viewers, that healing can also be yours. That deliverance you're witnessing can also be yours. That new life in Christ Jesus can also be yours. You also can be a partaker of all that is happening right here. As you are watching, you also can tap into this atmosphere of healing, atmosphere of deliverance, atmosphere of restoration, and all of God's blessings and receive in Jesus' name. Le prophète Tibi Joshua nous a enseigné que il y a de la puissance dans notre bouche. La croyance dans notre cœur est libérée par la foi de notre bouche. Alors, peuple de Dieu, de cet du monde entier, enfant de Dieu, où que vous soyez, commencez dès maintenant à confesser de votre bouche ce que vous croyez dans votre cœur. Je suis guéri. Jésus-Christ est mon guérisseur. Je suis délivré. Jésus-Christ est mon libérateur. In the arena of liberty, there's anointing to heal. There's anointing to bless, there's anointing to restore, there's anointing to deliver. Viewers, the anointing is in the house for you to receive today. Use your faith to place a demand on the anointing available and receive in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your healing, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. I'm Thank free. you, Jesus. The atmosphere is charged. The Holy Spirit is present in our midst. 
Open the doors of your heart to receive his mercy. Open the doors of your heart to receive his favor. Open the doors of your heart to receive blessings and breakthrough that is ready to bring down on you in Jesus' name. Viewers, remember all Thank that you Jesus. desire from God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Viewers, remember all that you desire from God has been made available in his word. In his word lies the healing you need. In his word lies the deliverance you need. In his word lies the blessing you need. In his word lies the breakthrough you need. In his word lies the salvation you need. All you need to do is open the doors of your Jesus. heart and Thank receive you. by faith Thank in you. Jesus' name. Thank you. Very bad. Une seule rencontre avec Jésus-Christ, voilà tout ce dont vous avez besoin. Une seule rencontre avec Jésus-Christ renverse toutes les situations. Lorsque Jésus-Christ entre dans notre vie, il met fin à notre passé et il donne naissance à notre avenir. Lorsque Jésus-Christ entre dans notre vie, il met fin à notre passé de maladie, d'affliction et il donne naissance à notre avenir de guérison et de délivrance. L'atmosphère est saturée par la présence de Dieu. L'Esprit de Dieu est dans la maison et là où l'Esprit de Dieu est, il y a la liberté. Ask God to reign his power of healing. Ask God to reign his power of blessing. Ask God to reign his power of deliverance over every affairs of your life. Get ready to attract the mercy of God. Get ready to attract the blessings and the deliverance of God over your lives in Jesus' name. Remember that the mention of the name Jesus, every name was bowed. Thank you, Jesus. And every tongue Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Open. Remember that the mention of the name Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ Thank you, is the Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. It is that same power in the name Jesus that you're witnessing at work, healing the people and setting them free from their different sicknesses, diseases and infirmities. Those all over the world, wherever you are, you too can be a partaker of God's divine healing, deliverance, blessings, breakthrough, and salvation taking place here live and direct at the Arena of Liberty, the Synagogue Church of All Nations. All you need to do is reach out by faith, reach out by faith, and claim all that God Almighty has promised you in His Word in Jesus' name. You can see what is happening as the woman of God prays for the people. Whatever Satan uses to hold them bound in bondage has been broken. And they are set free to the glory of God. Watch how that woman vomits every poisonous substance that she has from, from the table of the enemy. God Almighty is uprooting all that needs to be uprooted from her body as she's being set free to the glory of God. Sur l'écran était là une femme venue avec ses problèmes et l'Esprit de Dieu l'a localisé. L'Esprit de Dieu continue de déraciner tout ce qu'elle a pu manger sur la table de l'ennemi. Elle est en train de vomir des substances toxiques. L'Esprit de Dieu continue de briser toute chaîne que l'ennemi a pu utiliser pour connecter cette femme à lui. Les acteurs du monde entier, l'atmosphère est saturée. Rappelez-vous que la distance n'est pas une barrière. Jésus-Christ est plus puissant lorsque vous êtes à distance. Il vous suffit de vous connecter à nous par la foi. Touchez vos écrans et recevez au nom de Jésus. Spectadores de todo el mundo, la atmósfera está llena del poder del Espíritu Santo de Dios. Observa tu pantalla y ve cómo personas de todas las naciones han venido aquí a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones en busca de su libertad y la están recibiendo por el poder resurrector de Jesucristo, por el poder de Jesús que trasciende toda barrera. Así que espectador, permanece en fe en el nombre de Jesús. In anticipation to what God is about to bring to us today. Keep meditating. Ask God to take more of you and give him more of him. Open your heart. Open your mind to receive the mercy of God. Open your heart to receive the favor of God and the grace of God in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, has guéri and he guérit toujours toutes sortes de maladies. Il n'y a jamais une maladie que Jesus Christ ne puisse guérir. Il est le même hier, aujourd'hui, éternellement. As it was, so it is. You're witnessing Jesus Christ on the scene, healing all that are sick, delivering all the oppressed of the devil, and setting the captives free. We all over the world, wherever you are, you too can be healed, you too can be delivered, you too can be blessed, you too can be saved. All you need to do is open the doors of your heart and believe. 
Remember, believing in Christ Jesus is our connection. Rappelez-vous que c'est la parole de Dieu confessée de sa bouche qui a produit en David un esprit de victoire. Alors, où que vous soyez, commencez à confesser de votre bouche ce que vous croyez dans votre cœur. Confessez de votre bouche les promesses de Dieu pour votre vie. God's healing power, God's restoration power is at work in the lives of the people, shaking the foundations of sicknesses, diseases and affliction in the lives of the people. Viewers, as you watch God's power in action, continue to tap into this atmosphere of healing, continue to tap into this atmosphere of deliverance. Espectador, observa tu pantalla y ve la manifestación del poder del Espíritu Santo de Dios. Jesucristo nunca dijo a Dios, Él está presente, Él está sanando, está liberando. La casa de Dios está llena de su presencia, de ese poder para sanar, salvar y restaurar en el nombre de Jesucristo. Remember that what you receive from Jesus will come as a result of you actively reaching out and claiming all of God's blessings. The woman of God and the evangelist are now in the midst of the people, ministering prayers of faith in Jesus' name. Wherever you're watching us from, the anointing is available for you to receive. You just need to use your faith to place a demand on the anointing and receive in Jesus' name. We just remember that the anointing is present here. Anointing to heal, anointing to deliver, anointing to bless, anointing to save. All you need to do is actively reach out and claim all that God Almighty has promised you in his word in Jesus' name. God Almighty moves powerfully in the midst of the people, even in the midst of the visitors who have come from across the world to share what God Almighty has done for them. But Madam, you're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Please tell us your name on the problem that brought you here today to the synagogue to the foundation. My name is... Uh, so, du, du möchtest bitte deinen Namen sagen, wo du herkommst, ähm, was die Probleme waren und ähm, was passiert ist, als Evelyn Joshua, Pastor Evelyn Joshua für dich gebetet hat. Mein Name ist Ellen Herbeck. Ich komme aus äh, Deutschland. Ähm, ich hatte Probleme mit meinem linken Ohr, ähm, also leichte Schmerzen und äh, das Hörvermögen war nicht, äh, nicht 100 Prozent. So her name is Ellen Herwig from Germany. She had uh, ear problems and could not hear properly and had also um, headaches and the ear problems were she couldn't hear a hundred percent. And now, I, uh, und jetzt uh, fühle ich Freiheit im Ohr. Mein Kopf ist frei. Ich fühle mich sehr gut und ich preise Jesus. Danke, Jesus. So, and now she has no headaches, she feels free, she says she has freedom, she's been delivered, and she could hear better, and the headaches are gone completely. Once again, let us put our... Praise Jesus and... Let us put our hands together for Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Emmanuel, praise Jesus. You mean it when the woman of God prayed for her? You when the woman of God prayed for her, now she can hear very well, she's not having any pain in the ear. Also die Frage ist noch mal, ob du nachdem Evelyn für dich äh, die Frage ist noch mal, ob du nachdem Evelyn für dich gebetet hat, sozusagen jetzt besser hören kannst und auch keine Kopfschmerzen mehr hast. 
Ich kann besser hören und ich habe keine Kopfschmerzen. So she said again, she has no headaches any further and she could hear better. She can now hear better after the prayer from Evelyn. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Halleluja, Emmanuel. Thank you, Jesus. J'entends le magnifique témoignage de la femme venue de l'Allemagne. Elle dit qu'elle avait des problèmes d'audition et elle avait des, des maux de tête. Elle dit qu'elle ne pouvait pas entendre à 100%, mais venue ici à la rue de la liberté et suite à la prière de la servante de la pasteur Evelyn Joshua, elle est complètement Thank guérie you. pour la gloire de Dieu. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Yeah, at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, the Arena of Liberty, lives are being changed. I destroyed him. I destroyed him. His career. I gave him setback. What else? Disappointment. So who are you? L'Esprit de Dieu continue d'exposer les mauvais esprits, cause profonde des problèmes dans la vie de ses enfants, pour les expulser et pour la liberté de ses enfants. Regardez votre écran. La puissance de Dieu. Thank you, Jesus, for my deliverance. I'm free. I'm free, I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Merci Jésus, il est déclaré libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Il est venu avec des problèmes de tout et d'attaques maléfiques. I, I, I felt a power coming above my chest and pulling all down. Whew. I'm free, free. I'm free. The pain is gone. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Il dit qu'il est complètement libre. Il dit qu'il est complètement libre. Que son trajet de respiration est libre. I've destroyed him. So how many doctors are in this body? What is? Who is the number one? Who is the number one? Who is the number one? I am. The what? I am. I am. Speak out in the name of Jesus. Who is the number one? I. Okay. Who is the number one? Okay, just leave me. I will let go. I will let go of him. How do you operate in this body? How do you operate in this body? I gave him sickness. Heart problem. What else? Waist pain. Uh -huh. What else? What else? What else? Just that. My name is Victor Nicolaus. I came from Germany to the Synagogue Church of Nations. And I came with a problem of coughing. I was coughing. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove it. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire! 
Fire them out, Jesus. Remove it. Fire them out, Jesus. Fire them out, Jesus. Remove it. You know what? Go ahead. I'm going out. Rise in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. My name is Victor Nicolas. I came from Germany with a problem of coughing. Thank you. And when Thank you. the pastor Evelyn Joshua touched me on my chest, I felt a power was pulling down all, all the pain out of my chest. And now, thank you, Jesus, I'm free. I'm delivered. I'm free. No more pain. I'm completely delivered. I can feel, my, I'm totally free in my chest. I can breathe deeply. I could not do this before. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. That is a testimony from the man who came all the way from Germany with a problem of cough, and we can see him thanking God for what he has done in our lives. We can hear the magnificent testimony of the man from Germany with a problem of too severe, and then after the session. Why are you doing this? He is a man of God. Who are you? Have you done doing? I am an idol. Have you destroyed in his life? Have you destroyed? I have destroyed everything. Listen to the family. Everything in the family is done. How about his ministry? His ministry is totally done. Listen to his career. Everything concerning his career, I have perished all. How do you enter? All his money, everything, all his treasure is done. How do you enter? And I will kill him. I We definitely kill him. How do you enter this body? I enter this body through the. <laughs> Speak in the name of Jesus. How do you enter this body? Through the water. Thank you, Lord. Now go in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus. Fire. Thank you, Lord. Out. Belongs to Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. You are delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Rise up, you are free in Jesus' name. Declarado libre para la gloria de Dios. Espectador, continue. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I'm healed. I'm healed. <sighs> Merci Jésus. L'on veut de Zimbabwe avec le problème d'asthme. I feel good. Thank you Jesus. I'm Michael Siwale. I'm from Zambia. I uh, oh. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. I've been uh, having asthma since childhood. Now I'm free. I'm healed. I'm healed. I felt, I felt just like something came out of my body. No, I'm feeling better now, much better than I was. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Merci, Jésus. L'homme venu de la Zambie avec le problème d'anse, d'asthme, qui souffrait de cela depuis sa naissance, témoin de sa guérison complète suite à la prière de la servante de la pasteur Rivine Joshua. Le sauteur du monde entier, en effet, la puissance de Dieu est dans la maison. Alors, où que vous soyez, continuez à utiliser votre foi pour placer une demande sur l'ancien et recevez au nom de Jésus. Spectateurs, acabamos de ver el maravilloso testimonio de un hombre que fue sanado de asma después de muchos años sufriendo con esta enfermedad. Continuamos en este tiempo de ministración aquí en la sinagoga e iglesia de todas las naciones. Recuerda que el Espíritu Santo de Dios está esperando por ti, así que conéctate en fe, abre tu corazón y recibe en el nombre de Jesús. You heard it from the man who was faithful and the woman of God who suffered the problem of asthma for many years. And after a touch from the woman of God, which, of course, is a touch from heaven, 
And that is why we are here, viewers all over the world. Begin to use your faith to put a demand on the anointing. Remember, never a sickness Jesus Christ cannot heal. Never a disease he cannot cure. And never a problem he cannot solve. The Bible says, in his mercy, we are included. The man demonstrating his newfound freedom in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. As you are watching God's power in action, begin to ask God Almighty to position you where you will attract his mercy and favor for your lives. God Almighty is still doing mighty things in the midst of his people, just as the woman of God and the evangelists move in their midst, testimonies are restored, chains are broken, healing, deliverance, salvation is yours. Only use your faith to put a demand of the anointing and receive in Jesus' name. If your spirits continue to bow at the mention of the name Jesus and at the mention of the name Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow. We just remember that as you watch this God's power in action, trust him for your healing, trust him for your deliverance, trust him for your breakthrough. As you continue to watch, ask God Almighty to give you the grace to stay far from sins and close to him. Far from grudges, far from sins, far from iniquities, in order to open your heart to receive from Jesus. We just continue to watch our chains of sicknesses, Chains of diseases, chains of darkness have been broken in the lives of the people. Watch how the evil spirit tormenting the lives of the people are being exposed and sent out in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers, as you continue to watch, believe in God's ability and watch his power at work in your life in Jesus' name. Espectador, mientras continúas observando tu pantalla, recuerda mantenerte en una actitud de oración y de meditación. Recuerda que si las personas han de creer en Jesucristo, deben ver la evidencia de que Él continúa vivo, de que Él continúa obrando milagros. Y eso es lo que estamos viendo. Well, en el nombre de Jesús. Baby, no te va. Si yo soy un husband, quiero bajar la pierna. ¿Qué? Quiero bajar la pierna. Quiero bajar la pierna. ¿Cuál? This one? Yes. What, what have you done to the leg? <laughs> have you done to the leg? Oh. Have you caused that in the name of Jesus? Pain of the leg. The pain of the pain, pain. Yes, I want to finish her because she's stubborn. Who is done to her family? Ah. Done to the family? Ah. Ah. Have you destroyed in her family? Mm -hmm. What? Poverty. What's poverty? Yes. How do you enter this body? Ah, to drift. Thank you, Lord. Now go with your pain in Jesus' name. Find any more Jesus. That leg. Find any more Jesus. Anywhere you are. Find any more Jesus. Find that leg in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Out in the name of Jesus, you contrary spirit. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Move everything you have put there in the name of Jesus. Move everything you have put there. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Rise up. You are free. Merci, Jésus. Il est déclaré libre la gloire de Dieu. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. That was deliverance in the name of Jesus. To God be the glory. The woman has been set free. I want to go. Who are you? I want to. Who are you? He is. What have you done to me? I'm feeling hot. I'm huh? feeling hot. Say what? Who is hot? I want to go. This is hot. Mm. Who are you in the name of Jesus? Open the door. Let me go, please. Open the door. How do you enter this body? This place is the hot now. What have you destroyed in his life? He's my boy. Your boy? I want to go. Why is it? the hot. What have you destroyed in his life? Speak in the name of Jesus. I want to go, please. Let me go. How do you enter this body? It's your boy. But what do you use him to do? I control him up and down. No. Do what? I control him up and down. You control him up and down. Who are you that caused all this? I was sent to him more. You were sent to him? 
Now go in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, find the name of Jesus. Fire. Thank you, Lord. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever name you call yourself. Find the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Find the name of Jesus. He consumed. Find the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. Out the name of Jesus. Out. Thank you, Lord. Out the name of Jesus Christ. Out your head. Find the name of Jesus. All over your body. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Out. In Jesus' name. You are free. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Declarado libre para la gloria de Dios. Merci, Jésus. Le déclaré libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Peuple de Dieu, téléspectateurs du monde entier, vous pouvez témoigner de la puissance, de la puissance brute de Dieu à l'œuvre ici à la Reine de la Liberté. Le prophète Tim Joshua a dit que si des millions d'individus de cette génération doivent avoir foi en Jésus-Christ, ils doivent voir la preuve visible que Jésus-Christ est le même hier, aujourd'hui, éternellement. Want to destroy him is a destiny. We can't allow the destiny to rise. I'll be destroyed. I'll be destroyed. I'll be done to his health. Give him chest pain. Give him chest pain. Him breathing. We caught him breathing. What of what? That man. Which man? I should have finished him on Friday. On Friday. What happened on Friday? Prepare to take him. But if not that man, if not that man. Thank you, Lord. You heard us come in Jesus' name. Is it the anointing water? It was that water that saved him on Friday. Okay, you plan to kill him on Friday. We wanted to kill him on Friday. So you could not. Because of what? And he has been saying he wants to come here, but we don't want. Because of the anointing water, he could not kill him on Friday. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, find the name of Jesus with your sickness. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Now go out. Out the name of Jesus. You're free. In Jesus' name. Out. Out the name of Jesus. All over your body. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Move everything. Move it in the name of Jesus. Everything you are putting in his body. Move everything. Find the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are free in Jesus' name. Rise up, you are free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm free. Merci Jésus, il est libéré de l'emprise d'un mauvais esprit qui le tourmentait. Merci Jésus, il a été déclaré libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Spectateurs, permanezcan connectés. Nous voyons le pouvoir de l'Esprit Saint de Dieu expulsar toute la cause raíz de los problemas de las vidas de estas personas qui ont venu en busca de su sanité, de su libération et de su transformation. Spectateur, permanece connecté. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You can see what is happening just as the woman of God and the evangelist move in the midst of the people. Where the lightning power of God is, darkness has no hiding place. Whatever Satan would have used to hold them in bondage has been broken. The root cause of their problem has been exposed right there at the arena of liberty. As the Bible says, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom.
Dictador, recuerda que donde está el Espíritu de Dios, allí hay libertad. Hay libertad aquí en la casa de Dios. Watch as the woman of God and the evangelists are being used as a vessel of honor to break down whatever chain, whatever Satan must have used to connect him to himself. You are around the world. Remember, distance is never a barrier for you to receive your own divine blessings, your divine deliverance, your divine breakthrough. All you need to do is to step out in faith and receive all what is made available for you in Jesus' name. Téléspectateurs, aujourd'hui c'est le jour que l'Éternel a fait pour vous, alors pour la foi réclamer votre bénédiction, votre délivrance et toutes les bénédictions que Dieu en réserve pour vous aujourd'hui. Il suffit juste de croire, téléspectateurs, croire c'est notre connexion au Christ Jésus. Jesus Christ remains the healer, the deliverer and redeemer. He never said goodbye to healing, he never said goodbye to deliverance, he never said goodbye to restoration. His promises remain accessible to those who believe in him. So viewers, continue to fill your hearts with words of faith. Continue to fill your hearts with these promises of Jesus as you watch God's power in action. Trust him. All power in heaven and on earth has been invested in Jesus. In the name of Jesus, blessings. In that name, Jesus is your deliverance. My leg has Espectador, observa el poder de Dios expulsar los demonios y los espíritus inmundos de la vida de las personas que han venido aquí a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones. Recuerda que el poder de Dios puede hacer lo posible, que nada es imposible para Él. You as all about the world, continue to open the doors of your heart to receive from God's throne of grace. You too can be a partaker of what is happening right here in the arena of liberty. Oui, la parole de Dieu en action ici dans la reine de la liberté, en direct de la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Comme la parole de Dieu dit, tout genou fléchira et toute langue confessera que Jésus. Tu veux faire quoi Tu veux faire quoi Tu veux faire quoi Tu veux faire quoi Oh, you don't want to kill her. Jesus' name. I go. As the name of Jesus, spirit of death. As the name of Jesus, your head. Find the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Fire. Find the name of Jesus. I go. Out. As the name of Jesus. Out. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To the glory of God, the woman has been declared free. Chains have been broken. Darkness has been dispelled. And light is taking its place in the life of the people. Viewers all over the world, begin to hold on to your confession of faith. Begin to ask son of David to take more of you and give you more of him. The blessings of the Father is made available to everyone who believes. The moment you believe, you receive. Just as the woman with the issue of blood pressed in to touch Jesus, we are all about the world as you watch God's power in action begin to press in to touch Jesus. Jesus Christ is as close to you as he was to blind bad meals. He is as close to you as he was to the man at the beautiful gate. All you need to do is to use your faith to put a demand on the anointing. Believe Jesus for your healing. Believe Jesus for your deliverance. Believe Jesus for your blessings in Jesus' name. 
Cree en Jesucristo para tu liberación, cree en Jesucristo para tu sanidad y para tu restauración. Pon una demanda en la unción y recibe en el nombre de Jesús lo que Él ya tiene preparado para ti. Espectador, permanece conectado. As you watch God's power in action, continue to ask Jesus to bring strength into your weakness. Continue to ask him to bring peace into your worries and healing into your wounds. Viewers, let all your worries be on God Almighty because he cares for you and he will never leave you without healing you and delivering you. By faith, continue to touch your screen and receive in Jesus' name. Remember that the age of miracle has not yet passed. The miracle worker is still alive. His name is Jesus Christ. Never a sickness he cannot heal. Never a disease he cannot cure. Never a burden he cannot bear. Never a friend like Jesus. Say what? He will never. He will never do what? He will never prosper. He will never prosper. No. Why do I don't want him to prosper? I've been in their family for years. In the family, I'll be destroyed in the family. No one have fries. Body wise, in the family, challenge me. See what? This little boy, I'll be only one to challenge me. This boy is challenging. Yes. We know them to rise in the family. No one have ever rise. The Lord Jesus has come spirit of sets back. Find the name of Jesus. Your heart. Find the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Out the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Out. Thank you, Lord. Family is free in Jesus' name. Amen. Eyes up, you are free. Clarado libre para la gloria de Dios. Espectador, continuamos en este tiempo. I am free. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. Thank you, Jesus. La pastor Indio Chapri puso ce couple qui cherche les fruits des entrailles. On voit le Saint-Esprit à l'œuvre. Par la foi, elles reviendront pas targer leur témoignage. Remember that prayer is not right when it does not spring from faith. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Jesus, I'm free. We are free. We are free. We are free. When God Almighty steps into our case, you bless, save, and deliver us. So if you are around the world, do not do not relent in your meditation. Continue to ask the Holy Spirit to take more of you and give you more of you. When God Almighty steps into our case, he brings a permanent solution to it. Viewers watch and see how the people are receiving a permanent solution to their situations. The sick are receiving health to their bodies. The oppressed are receiving freedom. And the brokenhearted are being made whole well in Christ Jesus. Pastor René, j'ai appris pour cet homme qui souffre de spondylose lombaire et d'hépatite B. Regardez les spectateurs qui reçoivent sa délivrance. So as you watch God's power in action, know that Jesus Christ is near and is ready to heal, to bless, to save, and to deliver. Remember that God's will for us is to be physically healed and spiritually saved. Open up your heart to him and receive all of his blessings in Jesus' name. It was all about the world. Continue to express the necessary faith in Christ Jesus. Remember that faith is a necessary condition to true spiritual healing. Wherever you are, the blessings of the Father is made available for you. All you just need to do is to step in to receive from God's throne of grace. Have you done to me? hardship. You again? Have you done to his business? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm free. Have you done to his business? Have you done to the business in the name of Jesus, the spirit of worship? In Jesus' name. Ask the name of Jesus. The name you call yourself. Find the name of Jesus. Your heart. Find the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. You are free in Jesus' name.
Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Seguimos observando a la mujer de Dios, a la pastora Belín Joshua y a los evangelistas ministrar en el poderoso nombre de Jesucristo, espectador, mientras observas aquí en la a business, I destroy it. I put fabric, they take it out and put another one. So who are you? 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 I, I see some messes for 14 months. I want to kill her. She's nothing. She walk, but nothing to show her. Espectador, observa tu pantalla y ve cómo el poder de Dios está haciendo libres a todas las personas que vinieron cautivas de las ataduras que el enemigo ha puesto sobre sus vidas. Después de años de sufrimiento podemos ver a personas recibiendo su sanidad, recibiendo su liberación para la gloria de Dios. Como decía el profeta Tibi Joshua, bueno, no es suficiente, lo mejor está por venir. We are witnessing the real and authentic power in the name of Jesus. That is a name above every other name. Therefore, viewers all over the world, with faith in your heart, begin to call on that name Jesus to the scene of your health. Begin to call on that name Jesus to the scene of your finances. Begin to call on that name Jesus to the scene of your breakthrough. Begin to call on that name Jesus to the scene of your life. Les spectateurs ou que vous soyez dans le monde, connectez-vous par la foi. N'oubliez pas que la distance n'est pas une barrière à l'onction de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Voyez la preuve de l'onction et du feu du Saint-Esprit ici dans la Reine de la Liberté. God's power is at work, changing impossibilities into possibilities, bringing light into oui, every... Thank you, Jesus. I'm free, finally. Thank you, Jesus. Seguimos God. observando aquí como Jesucristo es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre y sigue obrando maravillas aquí en la arena de la libertad, la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones en Lagos, Nigeria. Espectador, mientras observas a la pastora Belin Joshua y a los evangelistas ministrar en el poderoso nombre de Jesús, cree que la distancia no es una barrera. Toca tu pantalla y recibe en el poderoso nombre de Jesús. Yes, people of God, we are told to ask for healing, deliverance, salvation and all of God's blessings. But let us ask in faith without wavering. Faith is our movement towards God. Right now, reach out by faith and claim all of God's blessings for your life in Jesus' name. The fact that Jesus Christ died for you makes it unnecessary for you to suffer whatever you're suffering right now. Remember that he died on the cross of Calvary when he said it is finished on the cross, begin to connect by faith, begin to open the doors of your heart. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, eternally, and continues to heal, to deliver, to the glory of God. The spectators, wherever you are, connect with the faith and continue to meditate in your heart. The Holy Spirit takes more of me, gives me more of you. Faith is a license to access all of God's blessings. Faith is believing God, even when it is beyond the power of reason to believe. 
Faith is a living and sure confidence in God's promises. Faith in God Almighty is to be sure and certain that he is working out the answer. So viewers all over the world, continue to use your faith to place a demand on the anointing available right here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations and receive in Jesus' name. Viewers, as you watch God's power in action, continue to put your hope in God Almighty, who richly provides us with everything we desire. Believe that God Almighty will do the impossible in your life today. Continue to exercise the necessary faith in God. observa cómo el poder de Dios está operando, está operando a estas personas que vienen con diferentes enfermedades, como esta mujer que vino con un problema de dolor en su espalda, viendo esa sanidad de parte del Espíritu Santo de Dios a través de su sierva, la pastora Evelyn Joshua. The book of John 20 verse 29 says that blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. You must be rest assured that whatever it is that you are going through, God is able. He is able to turn your trials into testimonies. He is able to turn your burdens into blessings. So continue to connect by faith and watch his power at work in your life in Jesus' name. There is a name above every other name. That name is Jesus. And at the mention of that name, Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Viewers, when we fail to realize that there are powers that cause men to be bowed down in bondage, we are fighting the wrong battle. And our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and forces of darkness. Continue to watch out demons, evil spirits, the cause of pain, the cause of darkness, the cause of affliction in the lives of the people is being exposed and cast out by the mighty power of God. And as you continue to watch, continue to engage your hearts, continue to open up your hearts and get ready for a touch from heaven. Estamos observando en vivo y en directo la Administración de Sanidad y Liberación. Aquí en la Sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones, en Lagos, Nigeria, la pastora Evelyn Joya y los evangelistas están ministrando en el poderoso nombre de Jesús. Espectador, mientras observas. Recuerda mantenerte conectado, recuerda las palabras del profeta Tibi y Joshua que decían que nuestro corazón es el cuarto de oración. Recuerda estar en una actitud de oración pidiendo al Espíritu Santo que tome más de ti y que te dé más de él. In the name of Jesus Christ is the power to heal, power to save, power to bless, power to deliver and that power is being made manifest right here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Yeah, at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, the sick are being healed. The demon possessed are being delivered. Viewers, you too can receive all that you are witnessing right now. By faith, touch your screen and receive in Jesus' name. <laughs> Viewers all over the world, if you're just joining us, we yell live and direct at the Snuggard Church of our nations, Lagos, Nigeria. God is using the faculties of the woman of God and the evangelists, using them as instruments of honor to set the captives free, to bring healing and deliverance to the lives of the people. 
Continue to open the doors of your heart. Continue to ask the Holy Spirit to take his proper place in your life. Viewers, that healing can also be yours. That deliverance can also be yours. That restoration can also be yours. That new life in Christ Jesus that you are witnessing can also be yours. You also can be a partaker of all that is happening right here. As you are watching, tap into this atmosphere of healing. Tap into this atmosphere of deliverance. Viewers, tap into this atmosphere of all of God's blessings and receive in Jesus' name. Le nom de Jésus-Christ est puissance, le nom de Jésus-Christ est guérison, le nom de Jésus-Christ est délivrance. Alors que la pasteur Emily Joshua les évangélistes imposent les mains au nom de Jésus-Christ, les captifs sont libérés. Viewers, as you continue to offer your prayers of faith, remember to let go of offense, let go of grudges, let go of unforgiveness. Free your heart to contact God, free your heart to communicate with God Almighty. We will celebrate the world and see what God's power in action. Remember, and God's will for you and I is to be physically healed and spiritually saved. God Almighty is transforming the lives of his people, restoring all that needs to be restored in their lives, and setting them completely free from what, every bondage to the glory of God. We will celebrate the world. You too can be a partaker of these wonderful blessings right here at the Arena of Liberty. Step out in faith, because faith is our route towards God. Use your faith to place a demand on the anointing and receive your miracle in Jesus' name. The woman of God and the evangelist. <laughs> She has been experiencing uh, miscarriage like uh, three times now or four times. The, the bar is the miscarriage. I thought is what has causing it. Honestly, can you, that is your worry. I can you testify of that? And, uh, Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Be free. 
en Jesus mighty name. Stand up, ma'am. Gracias, Jesucristo. Esta mujer ha sido declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Espectador, continuamos en este tiempo de liberación y de sanidad. Observa tu pantalla y toca tu pantalla. Recibe por fe lo mismo que todos estamos recibiendo aquí en la arena de la The woman of God and the evangelist continues to be empowered by the Holy Spirit to minister prayers of healing, prayers of deliverance, prayers of restoration into the lives of the people. The people are receiving good morning to their health, good morning to their career, good morning to their destiny. Viewers, wherever you're watching us from, begin to claim your own portion of blessings and receive in Jesus' name. Espectador, desde donde quiera que nos estés viendo, empieza a declarar y a decir buenos días, Espíritu Santo. Buenos días a mis finanzas, buenos días a mi carrera, buenos días a mi salud. En el nombre de Jesucristo. Dios of the world, remember, Jesus Christ is committed to your healing, is committed to your deliverance, is committed to your blessings. So to claim these blessings, you must step out in faith, because faith is our route towards God. Wherever you are in the auditorium, begin to press in to touch Jesus, because Jesus Christ is very close to you. Only use your faith to put a demand on the anointing and receive in Jesus' name. Rappelez-vous que la foi et la confiance inébranlable que Jésus-Christ accomplira tout ce qu'il nous a promis dans sa parole. There was the healing and deliverance that you are witnessing right now is a proof that all power in heaven and on earth has been invested in that name Jesus. In that name Jesus, you too can receive. In that name Jesus, you too can be a partaker from all that is happening right here. Continue to connect by faith and receive in Jesus' name. When the anointing of God is present, healing, deliverance, salvation, and all of God's blessings are just like breathing. Begin to put your faith to work and receive your blessings in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm set free. Merci, Jésus. Le déclaré libre au nom de Jésus. La puissance de Dieu continue d'utiliser les facultés de la servante de Dieu, la pasteur Ibn Joshua, et celui des évangélistes pour déraciner tout ce que l'ennemi a planté dans la vie de ses enfants, pour briser toute chaîne que l'ennemi a pu utiliser pour connecter les enfants de Dieu à lui. De cet argument entier, rappelez-vous que la distance n'est pas une barrière. Il vous suffit de vous connecter à nous par la foi, Et vous allez recevoir au nom de Jésus. Ministration of prayer and deliverance is still going on right here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, the arena of liberty. Viewers, wherever you're watching us from, begin to put your faith and trust to work. Remember that when we cast our burdens upon the Lord, He will give us rest. Viewers, that healing, that deliverance, that breakthrough, that blessing that you seek is being made available right here. All you need is to believe 
All you need to do is to exercise the necessary trust in Christ Jesus and believe that it will meet you at the point of your need today in Jesus' name. Many ways. I've been her life, her family. Let me go. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ, your crown. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ, your crown. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ, your rings. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ, your chain, your waist, in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ, all your contact. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I right, move them. Move your contact. Your crown, in the name of Jesus. Move them. Your crown, in the name of Jesus Christ. All your contact, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're back. You're back. You're back. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're powerless. You're powerless. You're powerless. In the name of Jesus Christ. Regardez votre écran. Observez la délivrance au nom de Jésus qui prend place à l'instant. La puissance de Dieu a exposé l'esprit, le mauvais esprit, les causes profondes des problèmes de la femme. to what the Merci Jésus, elle est libérée de l'influence du mauvais esprit. Viewers, the divine healing that you seek has been paid for on the cross of Calvary. The price has already been paid for. All you need to do is to believe and receive all what God Almighty has made available today in Jesus' name. Believe that he is on his way with your perfect healing, your perfect deliverance, your perfect restoration in Jesus' name. Espectador, recuerda que todo lo que necesitas ya ha sido pagado por Jesucristo. Él ya pagó tu sanidad, ya pagó tu liberación, ya pagó todo lo que necesitas para estar libre. Así que, espectador, permanece en fe, pide al Espíritu Santo que limpie tu corazón de cualquier enojo, de cualquier rencor, de cualquier falta de perdón, para que tu corazón pueda ser morada del Espíritu Santo de Dios. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. Viewers, we have been commanded to ask. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Viewers, we have been commanded to ask 
believing that we shall receive all that we seek in Christ Jesus. Remember that it is God's will for you to be physically healed and spiritually saved. The power of God is at work in the lives of the people. The atmosphere is charged with the mighty power of God. Viewers continue to press in by faith to receive from Jesus. As you watch God's power in action, trust him to receive in Jesus' name. Rappelez-vous que c'est la volonté de Dieu que vous soyez physiquement guéri et spirituellement sauvé. Jésus-Christ, le Fils de Dieu, est engagé à votre guérison, à votre délivrance et à votre liberté. Viewers, as you watch God's power in action, continue to put your faith to work. Remember, Prophet C.B. Joshua says that an effective believer does not only know his faith, but also shows his faith. Hallelujah. God Almighty never stops giving us evidence to believe in him. We witness the power of God in the life of this woman, and she's about to testify to the goodness of God. Praise the Lord! My name is Miss Ruth. I want to thank God for what God has done in my life. I just woke up and I, I, I feel this severe pain in my leg. I could not walk very well. I was limping to walk. But I want to thank God for what he has done in my life. After the prayer of the evangelist, when he laid his hand upon me, I feel this coldness within me. And all the pain was gone. I could walk very well. There's no pain anymore. No pain. I can jump. I can walk. I was leaping to walk before, but now I can walk very well. This is how I came to church. I was leaping. Even I was telling my mom that I was feeling pain in my leg. But now I can walk very well. After the, after the prayer of the evangelist, I can walk to the glory of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Someone is touching the people right now as the evangelist and the woman of God ministers prayers of healing and deliverance to the people. A new name and a new life in Christ Jesus is being provided as a touch which has been affected by the Holy Spirit is bringing about the required result. Viewers all over the world continue to watch in faith to catch the fire of the Holy Ghost, fire that dispels every shade of darkness, Fire that crumbles Thank you, every walls. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Quelques instants de cela, nous avons entendu le témoignage de la femme qui est venue avec des problèmes, des difficultés à marcher. Elle dit qu'après la prière de l'évangéliste, toute la douleur qu'elle ressentait sur ses pieds ont disparu pour la gloire de Dieu. Oh, shit. Fine. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, the Siano. From where? Siano. From the outside world. Oh. Who? Siano Michael. From the outer world. What have you done to this man? He is our praise, our shelter. What? We kill people, we destroy to survive. We have to survive. How do you operate in this man's life? Ah, we got him long time ago. And we survived. That was my. I'm the coordinator. I'm the coordinator. And it is to push him to do? Ah. Just roam about. Thank you, Jesus. No I'm destiny, free. no future. No nothing. Ah, we got so many of them. So many of them. What are you doing to them? 
they roam about. They have no future. They have no destiny again. What's your mission in their life? What? Nothing. They're just for us to lead well and survive. That was... That was... I don't know. I was given to me. It was given to me. A long time. Over 25, 30 years ago. Who gave it to you? My boss. Boss. Yeah. Who is your boss? He's dead. So what is this for? The power, power for what? to overcome any evil. Oh, let me go, please. What do you use it to do? Oh, it's a mistake I came here today. Say what? It's a mistake. I came here today. I don't know. The mistake. Go on here. I know the power has been planted. Please. To be here today. You don't want him to come here? I have come to destroy a lot here. Been here. So what happened to you? Oh, I don't know. I just don't know how I got into this. I don't know how I got into this. How did you enter him? Uh, we were friends. We were brothers. But we saw his future. The future was very bright, and I was told to use him. I was told to bring him up, to bring him out and bring him down. Because I too, I was looking for a way out. Who told you to bring him up and bring him down? My uncle, my initiator. Oh, please let me go, let me go, you've taken no, I'm finished. Say what? Ah, I don't know what brought me here. What did you say? Ah, I shouldn't have been here today. I shouldn't have been here. Today is this day of deliverance. Now go out in the name of Jesus. Out. 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 Put him on his knee. Out in the name of Jesus. On his knee. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm free over 10 years now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Out. Out. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Rise up. You are free. Declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Thank you. 
Todor observa tu pantalla y ve como todas estas personas. Praise the Lord. We're still listening to instant testimonies. Uh, you're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Please tell us your name, the problem that brought you here. My name is Ikimiko Emmanuel Osa. The problem that brought me to the synagogue church of all nations was difficult in working due to degenerative disease of my spinal cord. I've been experiencing this for over one year now. And when I came into the church today, it has made me not to move and has also limited my activities in my workplace. And also, I'm also having difficulty in sitting down and also in carrying heavy things. So tell us what happened when the woman of God prayed for you. When the woman of God, Mrs. Evelyn Joshua, prayed for me, I felt a kind of force, electric shock in my body and also in my spinal cord. And now I can walk. Now my body is free. Thank you, Jesus. I cannot move my leg freely. My spine is no longer paining me any longer. Thank you, Jesus. Now I can bend. I can move. Now, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Lord. How are you, sir? How are you, sir? Is that on a life and direct? A moment ago, a man was delivered in the name of Jesus Christ, and in the course of deliverance, he vomited this strange substance on the floor. And we want to hear from him now, what is the substance all about? This strange object that he vomited in the course of deliverance. Open your, open your eyes. Open your eyes. What is this on the floor? I wouldn't know. It was given to me. It was given to me. By who? By an uncle. What is it for? The power. Power to do what? Power to overcome. To destroy. And to live well. How was it given to you? I had a problem when I was young. I told my uncle called me. He said to retrieve what I wanted from an aunt. I remember it was a long time. It's quite about 28 years ago now. He said before I'll be able to retrieve all these properties I'm trying to retrieve, my father's date property. He said I have to be strong. He has somewhere to take me to. I believed on him because I was still a bit younger then. I just finished my higher education in Kaduna then. I came home, I believed him. It wasn't big as this, it was tiny. I didn't even know it was, I didn't even see anything he gave to me. He just told me I have used the power and that very soon I'm going to recover all what I wanted. That was all. Of course, sir. So we want to hear more from you. Tell us, you mean this strange object we are seeing right now was very small when it was given to you? It was very, very small, sir. Was very small. What do you do with it that time, that thing that was given to you then? I use it to make, to destroy people. I hit them when I hit them. That was all. And I wanted to fight. He told me to, to use it and go to the aunt. But the aunt is late now. I killed her. Okay, so they give you this tiny thing and you swallowed it and this came out of you. Tell us how come this came out of you? What happened to you? I don't know. I wouldn't just, I don't know how to explain. It was just now I started to feel my rumblings in my stomach. I thought I could just come here to see things for myself, catch some people, destroy them and go back. So now that the Spirit of God exposed you and this strange object, this evil power you have been using to destroy the people came out of you. Tell us how you, what do you have to say about that? Ah, I don't know. For the past one month now, I've been feeling uneasy. I've been feeling uneasy for the past one month. I don't know whom to explain to. I went to, uncle, to the uncle back, but he's very old now, very aged. There was nobody 
to take care of it for me. So tell us then, how do you normally feel because of this power in your body? I'm always very vibrant. I'm very agile. I'm always very bold. I'm always very bold to do anything. To I do want. anything evil. Anything evil. Mm. So now the evangelist prayed for you and this came out of you. Tell us how you are feeling now. Because we can see you are sitting. Are you so tired? Are you so weak? Tell us what are you feeling like? I am empty already. Yeah. You are I, what? I feel empty. I don't You know. feel empty. I feel empty. There used to be something at the back of my neck. It's no longer there. You used to feel something at the back of your head. Not I used to feel. There's you, something at the back of There's my something head. at the back of your head. It's no longer there. After the deliverance. Oh, shall we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ? That is the mighty power of God that exposed these evil powers in the life of this man when the evangelist touched him. In the course of deliverance, he vomited this and now he said he's free. Uh, definitely, we are going to hear more from him later. But we thank God Almighty for this wonderful, wonderful deliverance that the Lord has wrought in his life. This is to prove to us that all powers in heaven and on earth has been invested in the name of Jesus Christ. And when that, power, when that name is expressed in the power of the Holy Spirit, Satan has to listen, is defeated, and people are being set free. Shall we put our hands together for the wonderful Lord Jesus, who is all-powerful, almighty. Mr. Henry Mondantier, there is a moment here, a man came to the freedom of the liberty. L'Esprit de Dieu l'a localisé et a déraciné tout ce que l'ennemi a planté dans sa vie. Acabamos de escuchar ese maravilloso testimonio de un hombre que expulsó un objeto de su cuerpo y vino y el espíritu inmundo confesó que estaba queriendo buscar hacer daño a las personas aquí presentes, pero el poder del Espíritu Santo de Dios lo ha hecho libre y ha expuesto esa obra del maligno en su vida. Espectador permanece conectado. We've just witnessed a tremendous testimony of a man who came to the synagogue church of all nations and the spirit of God located him and uprooted what the enemy planted inside his life. Viewers, that healing can also be yours. That deliverance can also be yours. That new life in Christ Jesus can also be yours. That redemption can also be yours. As you watch God's power in action, begin to press into this atmosphere of healing, begin to press into this atmosphere of deliverance and all of God's blessings and receive in Jesus' name. Seguimos viendo cómo el Espíritu de Dios está expulsando toda causa a raíz de aflicción, de la enfermedad, de la dolencia, de la maldición y de las personas que vienen aquí en búsqueda de una solución en la arena de la libertad. La Sinagoga Iglesia de todas las naciones. Espectador, mientras observas a los evangelistas y a la mujer de Dios ministrar en el poderoso nombre de Jesús, recuerda que la distancia no es una barrera. Gracias, Jesús. Estoy aquí. Estoy libre. Sí. Cuando el poder de Dios está presente, Healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessings are just like breathing. Viewers, what you're witnessing right now is a proof that all power in heaven and on earth has been invested in that name, Jesus. In that name, Jesus, you too can receive. In that name, Jesus, you too can be a partaker. Begin to use your faith to place a demand on the anointing available and receive in Jesus' name. Le secteur du monde entier, l'administration de la prière pour la guérison et pour la délivrance continue ici à l'arche de la liberté. L'Esprit de Dieu continue d'utiliser les facultés de la servante de Dieu, des évangélistes, pour apporter la guérison et la délivrance à ses enfants. The evidence of the deliverance power of God you are witnessing right here at the arena of liberty is to show you that demons know that they must flee at the command of that name Jesus. Demons know that they must bow to the superior authority in that name, Jesus. 
and viewers wherever you're watching from. Well, ask God Almighty to uproot whatever does not be planted by God Almighty in your life, and He will uproot them. So as you watch God's power in action, trust Him for your healing, trust Him for your deliverance. In the name Jesus, there's healing. In the name Jesus, there's deliverance, breakthrough, and everything available for you. You just remember that distance is never a barrier for you to receive your own healing, your own deliverance, your own breakthrough, and all of God's blessings. Continue to look at your screens. You're bel and bien toujours in synagogue. How do you operate? <laughs> I want to destroy her. You want to come closer to God. I want to destroy her. I don't want that to survive. <laughs> Career? <laughs> Nothing. How did you enter? <laughs> Through Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, all over your body. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, your head. Father, your head. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I go out. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Rise up, you are free. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. What have you done to her? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Out in the name of Jesus. What I'm doing? I'm not Jesus. Uh, uh, marriage? Uh, Pastor! What have you done to your marriage? Uh, I destroy my marriage! I destroy my marriage! I destroy my Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. 
Jesus Christ purchased our healing and deliverance at the price of great sufferings. By his wounds, we are healed. By his wounds, we are delivered. By his wounds, we are declared free in Jesus' name. Gracias. The word of God is the same. Gracias, Jesucristo. Continuamos viendo el poder de Dios obrando aquí en medio de la congregación. Recuerda que tú también eres parte de esto, espectador. Recuerda que la distancia no es una barrera para el mover de Dios. Estamos viendo la manifestación del Espíritu Santo a través de la pastora Evelyn Joshua y los evangelistas. Todo espíritu que estaba escondido en la vida de estas personas está siendo expuesto para la gloria de Dios. Recuerda que donde está la presencia de Dios, la liberación, la sanidad y la restauración son como el respirar. The word of God is the same yesterday, today and forever. Viewers, no matter your situation, know that by his wounds you are healed. By his wounds you are delivered. Hold on to God's word with faith in your heart. Affirm the words of God and believe that Jesus Christ is the greatest healer and he will never leave you without a solution. Remember, it was God's own faith that brought about the existence of the earth. Faith believes in possible, receives the incredible, and sees the invisible. The faith being put to work by the woman of God and the evangelist is bringing about the real and authentic power of God in action. As the sick are getting their healing, the demon-possessed are getting their deliverance, and those bound by the grip of darkness are being loosed. So viewers all over the world, you also can receive of God's healing power, of God's deliverance power. Connect by faith to receive. stopping me like this. I've told you now. I want to destroy her. I've entered her body. How did you enter? How did you enter? She so what? Like, she had 12 years old. Oh, <laughs> Téléspectateurs, vous êtes toujours en direct de la synagogue église de toute la nation de Lagos et Nigeria. C'est toujours le temps de prière et de délivrance, téléspectateurs. Connectez-vous par la foi, continuez à méditer dans votre cœur. Au Saint-Esprit, prends plus de moi et donne-moi plus de toi. Libérez votre cœur de toute amertume, de toute offense, de toute chose qui ne sont pas de Dieu, afin de recevoir toutes les bénédictions que Dieu a pour vous. If God Almighty gave you an eye, the most priceless possession he had, his only son, Jesus Christ. Why would he withhold from us things that are of less value compared to his son, Jesus Christ? The healing you seek today 
is nothing compared to his son, Jesus. The deliverance you seek today is nothing compared to his son, Jesus. The blessings you seek today is nothing compared to his son, Jesus Christ. Therefore, viewers all over the world, open up your hearts with faith and God Almighty will supply all your needs in Jesus' name. The book of Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Viewers all over the world, wherever you may be, whatever you may be going through, remember that Jesus Christ is the miracle worker. All you need to do is go to him. Espectadores, estamos viendo un poderoso tiempo aquí de administración, de liberación y todas las sanidades de Dios. Permanece conectado, toca tu pantalla, recibe y recuerda que la distancia no es una barrera para el mover de Dios. Jesus. Sing. 
can have your praise. Hallelujah. Every word of worship. Somebody help me sing Down, 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 down
Cause I want to see my Jesus Someday I've got my mind made up And I won't turn back Cause I want to see my Jesus Someday everybody's heard I've got my mind made up Goodbye world, I stay no longer with you. Goodbye pressure and sin, I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind. Don't wait for the rest of my life. Say, I made up my mind. Don't wait for the rest of my life. Goodbye world, I stay no longer with you. Goodbye pressure and sin, I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind. together for the mighty God that does mighty things. Tell your neighbor, I'm serving a living God. He's a mighty God that defeats Satan and pull down every stronghold of demons. He's able to do all things and 
and with him all things are possible. And in his presence, Satan is powerless. If you believe your heart, if you believe that, lift your hand and say, Emmanuel. Let us be seated in the presence of God. In the course of the ministration by the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn T.B. Joshua and the evangelists in the midst of the people, something extraordinary took place. We know many of us, we are not paying attention because we are preparing our heart for prayers. But we want to bring it to you so that you can know that there's mighty, mighty power in the name of Jesus Christ. And that you are in the arena of liberty. And in the arena of liberty, Satan will always, continuously and consistently be defeated. As the evangelist was ministering in the midst of the people, he encountered a particular man. And when he touched the man in the name of Jesus Christ, something happened. I won't tell you what happened, but I want you to be seated, pay attention, watch the screen of the television, and see yourself what happened. Then we will listen to the man, what he has to say about what happened to him. You have a lot to learn so that you will begin to appreciate God and believe in him more. What God has done today is to encourage you to know that he is God and no one is like him. So let us watch the screen of our television sets. Les spectateurs, regardez vos écrans. Miremos la pantalla, algo extraordinario ha pasado hoy durante la administración. Vamos a observar nuestra pantalla. That is evangelist touching the people in the name of Jesus Christ, the laying of hands. But the man was among those that were touched. And as soon as they touched him, you can see him, see what happened to him. Immediately something came out of him. He vomited something. If you look closely, you can see something like cowrie and other strange objects that came out of him. He vomited this out immediately after the evangelist touched him. And for those who paid attention when it was ongoing, he said a lot of things, but we still want to hear from him. What is this and how it came about it? Regardez comment ce monsieur a vomi un curry extraordinairement. Les spectateurs, algo extraordinario pasó durante la administración. Este hombre vomitó esta concha. Vamos a ver cómo se ha producido esta extraordinaria liberación para la gloria de Dios en vivo y en directo desde la Escoan. My name is Michael. I'm Luciano Michael Adewye. I'm the coordinator of the Zion Temple. I'm from Ondo, Hawaii. Always. I don't know, it was power given to me. My life started for the past 28 years. My uncle. I use protection to destroy and to kill and to get to the top because we need to destroy for us to survive. So what is your mission in this place? I was given a target to destroy as many, as many as 500, 1,000. So how do you want to go about that? It's in me already. That's what I use everywhere I go. Whenever there's a crowd, whenever it's crowded, I use my tummy or my chest to hit anybody. You're gone. I pretend as if there's no road or a mistake by hitting you, but you're gone. Oh. So what happens to those people whenever you hit them? That is the end of the story. They just roam about the world. You tighten me. Yeah. We can see on the screen something you vomited. What is this? I... Open your eyes. It's a long time ago. I took this 28 years ago. It was very small when he gave it to me. It was given to you by who? My uncle. For what? 
to fight enemy, to bring in people to the temple, to destroy. It's a magical power. Anywhere I am with this power, I'm always confident because nothing could overcome me. And I can always bring in as many people, as many praise as I want to him. Ah, I can't. So what happened to you during the course of deliverance? I wanted to go. I thought the power had left synagogue. I didn't know the power is still there. So what happened to you while you were inside the church? I just felt seated. I stood up. The thing drew me, drew me back again. I stood up, it drew me back again. I had wanted to go out, but there's no way. It started to rumble in my tummy until, well, I knew the end is here. It was a mystic coming here today. So what was your mission of coming to this place today? I was assigned to destroy, to get as many as a thousand or two thousand. Because if we don't, we lack people in our, in our temple. So by destroying them, we survive. And we have to. That was my mission. So I thought it would be crowded. It would be crowded so that I would get as many. But it wasn't. It was organized. Well, it was a mistake coming here today. You say you survived by destroying people. Yeah. So who sent you here? I was sent from the kingdom, from the temple. Which kingdom? The Zion. From which kingdom? From the Zion kingdom. Open your eye, please. Open your eye. We started this meeting, this service today. By using the word of God, the book of Psalm 121, verse 1 to 3. So that I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? Say, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He said, he will not let your feet sleep. He that watches you does not slumber. Sometimes I wonder where, why you are never tired in your kingdom. You are never tired. Devil is always busy. Looking for one to devour. The fight you see against synagogue today is because I knew that Prophet T.B. Joshua dragged Satan. He dragged him, devil on the wall, on the ground. That is the fight you are seeing today. And up till now, you are not tired in your kingdom. This church, the foundation is led by God Almighty. I have said this before, continue to say it to you. My covenant with God is anyone who comes into this place, who walk into this bliss, who walk into this arena, will be free. This is not a grant for temptation. It is a grant for salvation. So coming around to test the children of God, you are a failure. But I want to ask you, do you know you have this power in you all this while? I know. You know? I know. And you never desire to be free? 
had wanted nobody nobody to consult on nobody to do what nobody to go to and they will never hear it in the kingdom but you have been going around according to you you've never been to churches we've been going destroying people you said what we've been going to churches destroying people Died. So your intention is to come and destroy here today? That was the that was the assignment given to me. Now what can you say about God Almighty and Jesus Christ's son? In fact, I thought the power in synagogue has gone. I didn't know the power is here. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His power in the synagogue yesterday is the same today and so shall it be forever. Yeah. Our God is merciful. There were many people like you in the Bible who never expected his grace but it came upon them in a miraculous way. You have received the grace of God today. And I'm telling you, do not go back. Don't go back to the world. Because you can see that there is nothing there. Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ came that we may have life and have it in abundance. Abundance life awaits you here. And also in eternity. You have been delivered today. I pray that your deliverance will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. We don't want to know where your powers are coming from. Any power that does not come from God is counterfeit. And it's just for a short while. It's the grace of God that lasts forever. The glory of God that lasts forever. So, we pray with you today. Say no to your past life of destruction. No to your past life of stealing and killing. And it shall be well with you. In Jesus' name. I'm very, very low. I feel low. Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Your head. Fire. Your hands. Fire. Your legs. Fire in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Oh, no hide. Fire in the name of Jesus. Your chest. Fire. Your chest. Fire. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. Fire in Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. 
out. 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 I go. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, be free in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Y acabamos de ver la liberación de este hombre eh, en una asignación satánica que le había sido atribuida para destruir a mil personas. Él había venido con la intención de destruir. Durante la administración vomitó una concha que era ese símbolo satánico y ahora es libre completamente para la gloria de Dios. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I believe I'm free now. I believe I'm free. Il est devant la délivrance de cet homme qui est complètement libre. Il était. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I feel okay. I feel very hot. Yeah. We are feeling very hot for the prayer. But now, how do you feel? Alléluia, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Vous venez de voir la délivrance de cet homme qui avait une mission satanique de venir détruire 2000 personnes ici à la synagogue de toutes les nations et il a vomi un cori. Un coquillage, il est complètement libre au nom de Jésus-Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Who are you? No, 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 no. Who are you? No. Who are you in this body? Mm. Open your mouth and speak. Mm. Who are you? What have you done to him? Mm. Speak out in the name of Jesus. What have you done to him? <laughs> I've destroyed him. <laughs> How did you destroy him? Mm. How did you destroy him? I've destroyed him. How did I you destroy him? Met him a nobody. I bring him down totally. So who are you that destroyed him? We are many. Who is number one? Our friendly friend. Number two? I do from the family uh, where he is born. Who else? You don't know the family? His own mistake. So all of you together, how do you operate in him? Ah, we naked him in the dream. He always go naked in the dream. And when he gets up, ah, everything turn around and he start crying, oh God, why me? Why me? What have we done to his marital life? Either ah, his family? his wife is now mocking him. Oh, make ridicule of him. His the, family? Ah, the family have just deserted him. His career? His career is at a zero point. An engineer, but it's nowhere to be found now. He's nobody. Work with Enzo Mobi, work with Samsung heavy duty equipment and so on and so forth. So many companies, but today everything has got in. I have finished it. Do you want to try me? You know who I am. Who are you? <sighs> Don't try me. Oh. Do you know where you are? Don't try me. I have deal with him. Oh. I have deal with him. I have met him. Oh. If you know him before, you will... So know what else have you done to him? Est-ce qu'il a détruit sa carrière? I want him to die. But he has a covenant with this man. And nobody can remove his life. 
I have only succeeded in suffering him. I have only succeeded in dealing with him. Nearly I would have taken away his life last time, four years ago. But the covenant protected him. So he how did you enter him? And welcome. How I you entered enter? him through the dream. And here he was staying. He is my domain where I operate from. Ah, nobody dares me. No, nobody. So what are the things you push him to do? Ah, I push him to drink. Ah, he is now a very good alcoholic member. <laughs> he claps. He la familia, causando destrucción. He Le said he uses to console himself. Who is the cause? You are asking me as if you don't know. Who is the cause? Why are you asking me? What are you? Breaking the law no, of Jesus. no, 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 no. Who is the cause? No, I, I, sorry, I'm, I am the one. I, so I, how did you enter him? Addict al alcohol. Whoa. Le ha hecho adicto al alcohol. How did you enter him? So ha destruido su vida. Time for you to go. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire no, no, no. from the top of your head. Fire no. to the sole of your feet. Fire all over your body. Fire your head. Fire your hands. Fire your head. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire your legs. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire that head. Fire your head. Fire your legs. In the name of Jesus, fire in the name of Jesus, fire all over your body, fire in the name of Jesus. Now go out, out in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Rise up, Jesus Christ has set you free. Il déclare libre au nom de Jésus Christ, libre par la gloire de Dieu. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The man has been liberated to the glory of God. Deliverance continues. Stay connected. Continuamos con más liberación aquí en vivo y en directo desde la arena de la libertad. of Jesus. Fire all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire all over your body. Who are you? Who are you in this body? <clears throat> Open your mouth and speak in the name of Jesus. Who are you? <clears throat> speak out. Who are you? I am the deity. What have you done to him? This one. This one. This one. Oh, what have you done to this man? This one, we have frustrated everything. 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 His career? Zero. Everything. So how do you operate in him? This one is our wife. Is our wife. What do you use him to do? We make love with him in the dream. And after then, everything we just vanish. And this one, ah, God wants to use him, but no way. What are the things you push him to do? Ah, this one is into different things. Mention them. My, ah, mention them. It's into addiction. Is addiction, addiction to what? Addiction to drug. Mm -hmm. Addiction to drug. And this one. Already, this one, already, was once delivered by the prophet through the dream. Through the dream because God called him. What have you done to his family? The family is zero. The mother's children, zero. But this one, this one is stubborn. This one is stubborn. He any I, I try to keep him, he will insist to go out. How did you enter him? I enter him through the covenant of his father. His grandfather. What was the covenant? The covenant have to do with marine. In form of protecting the children and unknowing to him, he showed them to us. 
Addiction à la drogue. Ese espíritu que ha destruido su carrera y su vida que le ha dado adicción a las drogas está siendo expuesto thank you lord in jesus name amen thank you lord now go in jesus name thank you lord In Jesus name. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Out. Vemos la manifestación Out. de ese espíritu que ha destruido su vida. Out. Su carrera. Ese espíritu que entró por la casa del In Padre. Jesus name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. You are free, rise up. Y él es libre para la gloria de Dios. Y declaré libre de todo espíritu que destruía su carrera, su mariage. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. To the glory of God, the man has been declared free. Deliverance continues. Stay connected. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Uh, What have you done to her? Uh, uh, Speak out the name uh, of Jesus. What have you done to her? Uh, uh, a career? A marriage? Uh, 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 Cry in the name of Jesus. Uh, What have you done to her? Uh, You tied what? Who tied that? Ah, pregnancy. Ah, pregnancy. So who are you in this body? Who are you in this body? Let's speak out. Tie the name of Jesus. Speak out. Who are you in this body? Who are you? Who are you in this body? How do you operate in her? I'm my, I'm my husband. My husband. She's mine. She belongs to me. She's mine. So how did you enter her body? Oh no, never. How did you enter uh, our body? Uh, it's me. Uh, they gave out to me. They gave out to me. She's mine. Who gave out to you? I will not leave her. I will not leave her. Who gave out to you? Uh, our people gave out to me. Our people gave out to me. Uh, our people gave out to me. It's time for you to go. Uh, Fire in the name of Jesus. Hold my body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Now remove everything. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in that stomach in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Out. Out. That stomach. Fire in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Now go. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove it. Your fingers. Fire. Your head. Fire in the name of Jesus. All over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove everything. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Owls. Owls. In Jesus' name. Observa la manifestación de este espíritu inmundo. Owls. Dice que le cerró el vientre. Manifestación del espíritu impuro. Owls in the name of Jesus. Que alíe sus entrañas. Remove it. Fire in the stomach in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Out. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. All of our body, remove everything. Your crown. Fire in the name of Jesus. Your legs, your head, your back. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove everything. Fire in the name of Jesus. You are going. Fire in the name of Jesus. Now leave. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Go. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Move out. 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 Remove it. Out. Remove everything. Out in the name of Jesus. Siempre la manifestación de este espíritu. Now go. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Stand up, you are free. Declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Declarada libre en el nombre de Jesucristo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Who are you? Speak out. Who are you? What have you done to her? Mighty Lord Jesus. Who are you in this body? And what have you done to her? Destroyed her. What have you destroyed? How did they destroy the family? I killed them. I killed them. So who are you in this body? You can't I'm the queen of the ghosts. You're what? The queen of the ghosts. As the queen of the coast, how do you operate? How do you operate in her? Reine de la Reine de la Côte a détruit sa famille. How do you operate in here? Dice que es la reina de la costa. Se ha destruido su familia. What have you done to our family, our career? Ah, destroy, destroy, destroy our marriage, destroy. How many of you in this body? How many of you? How many of you are in this body? 
prennent de la cote à des enfants en mariage. Remove everything. Fire them of Jesus. All over your body. Fire them of Jesus. It's time for you to go. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Fire them of Jesus. Now go. Mighty them of Jesus. What crown? Fire them of Jesus. Fire them of Jesus. Fire them of Jesus. Now remove it. Remove it. Fire them of Jesus. Your fingers. Fire them of Jesus. Your legs. Fire. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Out. Remove it. That's too much. Fire in the name of Jesus. Sirven la manifestación. Out. De su espíritu que ha destruido su familia. Thank you, Lord. Out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Stand up, you are free. Déclaré libre au nom de Jésus-Christ. Déclarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Thank you, Lord. Find the name of Jesus Christ. The one don't speak in Jesus' name. Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? What have you done to him? Find the name of Jesus. Find the name of Jesus Christ. You have been exposed in Jesus' name. Ah. Find the name of Jesus. Ah. Who are you? Why do you want to set him free? What have you done to him? I have destroyed him. Destroyed him. I have destroyed destroy him? him. I have destroyed his career. So his career. I'm after his career. Who are you that caused this? It will be nobody. Who are you that caused this? I am the spirit of the grandmother. How do you operate in his life? I operate his dream. In his dream. I come to his dream and I destroy. Yeah, I scatter happened? every good thing that comes to him. Where you come to the dream? What happened? He to will never dream? become anybody in life. Okay. What have you done to his family? Ah, uh, I don't know how he managed to, to get married. I don't know how he got married. It was. No one gets married in the family. I, I, I don't know. I prevented his, his younger brother is here to be married. I'm the one causing it. No one gets married in the family. In fact, no one, no one. I don't know how this one got married. Yes. Okay. I don't know how he got a child. I don't know how he got married. I don't know how he got married. I want to destroy him. Who is he? Think you want to succeed? Who is he? I'm the spirit of the grandmother. How do you enter this body? I enter this body through dream. Thank it you. was brought to me. It was brought to you. Yes, it was dedicated to the marine. Thank you, Lord. Your end has come in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank Spirit. you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of the Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Out. Spirit of the Holy Spirit. Out in the name of Jesus. Your contact. Out. Esprit familier. Out. Ça va détruire sa carrière. In Jesus' name. Out. Thank you, Lord. You are free in Jesus' name. Amen. Merci, Jésus. Il a déclaré libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Déclarado libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Rise up, you are free. Your family is free. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Since Paul by...
your head. Find the name of Jesus. Speak out. Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? Como la manifestación de espíritus contrarios. Who are you? What is all this now? You again? Why are you people disturbing us? What have you done to her? <laughs> have you done to her? I don't have any business with her. I just want her to come back to her kingdom. Because she belongs to us. Which you people that? take her away from us since, since how many years now? You know what I passed through to get her back? And you want to take her away from us again? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you in the name of Jesus? I am her personal guard. She is our princess. Our crucial queen. Personal guard. Yes. From where? From the marine kingdom. From the marine kingdom. Yes. Can you guide her? Yes. What happened to you? I've been chasing now from our kingdom to bring her back for so many years now. Do you know what I went through? Before I get her, do you know what I went through? How did she leave your kingdom in the first place? She's our princess. Okay. She is the princess of Jeff Kingdom. Okay. She's the great princess. And she's our future queen. How did she leave your kingdom? Speak in the name of Jesus. Esprit des Has she lived your kingdom before? Please leave her away from us now. Leave her. How did you destroy your family? Without this dear, our kingdom will be destroyed. What have you done to our family? Esprit Marie. What have you done to our family? She's trying to save our family. Oh. She's trying to save our family. To the family. She's trying to we destroy all the family. We destroy the family. How do you destroy them? Oh. How do you destroy them? The family is supposed to be a great family, oh, but we take everything away from them. Okay. Do you know how we get her back? Do you know how we get her back? How? Oh. Since then, oh, this girl has been rebooking us, casting us. In fact, so we don't know what to do. I went back to her village. There's one man from her village. She's a native doctor. We use her against her. What happened? We bring her back. To the native doctor? No! To what? The man called her. Okay. She said, your mother is not feeling fine. No, she send money so that we can use it to do sacrifice for her. Okay. She started rebooking the man. Oh, say, rebook you. I'm a doctor of this. I'm a doctor of that. So we just wait patiently. She came back to village. She go meet the man who she was apologized. They're sorry about that thing you told me on phone. Please, I'm no longer. I'm a child of like this, that. When she was going, because you see this lady, she can give anything to somebody, even to the last couple. She give this man 1,000. We need any, something that from her to connect her, as in to heal her. Because we have tried so many ways. We don't wait. We try. We use many people. We use no way. Because this man is always fighting for her. Which man? What's your problem? Which man? This man. This man always stands against any time we want to. This guy, this man, we just come from nowhere. What is your problem now? What is your problem? Okay. Leave this lady away. Say so she gave the money to the yes. doctor. What happened to her? I, she gave the money to the man. Oh, say, I beg, I'm sorry for what I said to you. What she said to you on phone. The man said, okay, she collected the money. The man bring the money to us. Okay. We use it as a point of contact to connect to her again. That is why we started visiting her in the dream, feeding her, give her food. And any time we visit her in the dream, give her food. This man was just appear. Oh. Which man? This man. Of TV Joshua. This man, yes, this man. This man, and to just appear, come from nowhere. She was asking, get her, get her, my daughter. Get her, carry. You see this lady? All the spiritual items from this church, she have it in, his, in her house. But she don't have anything from her own kingdom, or her own, her own princess, a future queen. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, she will wake up. Immediately, she will go fetch. She get water from uh, this place. She get from I, mountain. They, they, they she they get water. from, yes. She get this one, this water, living water, a my water from mountain, anointing water. She will mix everything together. She will drink it. What is this? The next thing, she will start to purge everything we give her. She will purge everything out. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? We try my army to bring this lady. Oh, she refused. She cast us. She bound us. She rebook us. She called us out of name. Oh, you are here today. So we decide to kill her. Okay. We decide to kill her in Lagos. Yeah. This man blocking our way. So okay. We take her to her village. 
True dream, oh, wanted to kill her. We are happy that our princess is back. That this man, uh, we have covered his face. She don't have power to, visit, to come to a village to fight us. So delay, this man appeared from nowhere. All the way from there, she came to a village, oh. She came to the, came to this lady village. Man this, this man. Betty Joshua. Yeah. Okay. He freed this lady from where we kept her or we're about to kill her. She brought this lady back to Lagos. That one is not still enough. Oh. She carried the lady and hand over to his wife. His as, wife? Yes. That he should take over. He should take over. Can you imagine? Why did he want to take her? Do you know what have cost our kingdom for so all these years? Thank you. Do you know her? When that's come in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Father, in the name of Jesus. Fire. Call yourself. Find the name of Jesus all over your body. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Fire. Find the name of Jesus. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Out the name of Jesus. Out. Out. Thank you, Lord. Out. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. You are free in Jesus' name. Declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Just as set you free. Thank you, Lord. Rise up. Merci, Jesus. I declare libre para la gloria de Dios. Rise up in Jesus' name. And I'm just going to set you free. Your family is free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all over your body. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Your legs. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Your crown. Find the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Your hands. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? <laughs> Say what? Who are you? Huh? <laughs> <Yeah? laughs> Who are you? You said what? I am a nightmare. You are what? A now a small. What have you done to her? A oh, small, I come to her in a dream. Okay. Uh -huh. What happened when you come to her in a dream? What happened to her? Ooh. I made her life better. I put anger in her. So you put anger in her. Anger. Okay. Pains. Okay. You caused her pains. Pains. What about her family? What have you done to her family? Mm, nothing. Pains. Okay, what kind of pain you caused her? She cannot be happy. Uh huh. She not happy. I don't mean it. Anger. Why don't you want her to be happy? Mm, she has a good heart. Okay, what's your problem with that? I don't want her to be happy. You're welcome, sir. Did she put her on her She's to you. She's my fiance. Okay. What can you say about her? Everything the evil spirit is saying is true. Okay. She's good, can't, but she's full of anger. Okay. And so we don't have peace in our home. We don't have peace in our relationship. Maybe after two days, the next thing is she will just burst with anger okay. for little or nothing. So how did you enter? How did you enter? To a dream. Thank you, Lord. All over your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Your legs. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Your rings. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Your chain. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Your crown. Find the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body in the name of Jesus Christ. All your contacts. Remove them in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body in the name of Jesus. Your heart. Find the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. All your contacts. Your crown in the name of Jesus. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Vemos la liberación de esta mujer. Thank you, Lord. Remove them, all your contacts, all your contacts in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your back. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Your back. Find the name of Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's time to go in the name of Jesus. You are powerless. Thank you, Lord. La délivrance au nom de Jésus prend place. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Esta mujer recibiendo la liberación del espíritu de enojo. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, stand up, you are free. Declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Merci Jésus, elle est déclarée libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. You're welcome, sister. Thank you, Jesus. Please, who is this man to you? Who is it to you? It's my fiancée. She's free in Jesus' name. She's free. So whatever you heard her saying, it's not her, but the spirit in her. Right now, she's free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? I'm a God. What are you doing to him? I want to kill him. How do you plan on doing that? Any food he eats, he cannot go down. Said what? I want to kill him. Okay, so how do you plan on doing that? In the name of Jesus. Yes, I want to kill him for a long time. Uh -huh. So how do you plan on doing that? Yes, through by his stomach, anything he eats. I gave him poison by the dream. You gave him what? Poison. Okay. I poison him in dream. Okay. I want to kill him. So what has been happening to him? His stomach. His stomach, he don't have peace of his he huh? have peace, don't have peace with his stomach. Okay. Yes. What about his career, his life? What have you done to his career? I destroy him. He don't have nothing to show. He has been in Europe for 16 years. Said what? He has been in Europe for 16 years, nothing to show. Okay, so I why you him? Why are you against him? What's your mission in this life? Why are you against him? Her mother delegates him to us. So what have you done to his family? I destroy his family. How? He don't have no progress. Okay. I destroy his finances. Okay. Every time I destroy him, nothing to show. Yes. Thank you, Lord. L'esprit de l'homme qui l'a détruit. L'esprit de l'homme. Le Lord. 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 Vamos a estar recibir su liberación en el poderoso nombre de Jesús. In the mighty name of Jesus. La délivrance au nom de Jésus prend place. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. With all your afflictions, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed, be free in Jesus' name. Stand up, you're free, sir. Declarado libre para la gloria de Dios. Merci, Jésus. Il a déclaré libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.
God is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Hallelujah. Somebody talk to your neighbor and say, the Lord is my life. Say, the Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Come on, are you ready?
mucho en serio.
be ready to you. I'll be ready to you. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. I'll be ready to you. I'll be ready to us. I'll be ready to all. I'll be ready. If I know TV, I'll be ready to come on and be sing. I 
vielleicht schade. Yes, we are just starting. Amen. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Bendecimos el nombre del Señor. Bendice el nombre de Dios. May they join your life, never suffer corruption in Jesus' name. May the peace of God in your life never suffer corruption in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. It's time for mass prayer. Es tiempo de la oración masiva. Here is the synagogue. Let someone say, here is the synagogue. Que alguien diga, esto es la sinagoga. The synagogue church of all nations. La sinagoga es la sinagoga. It is time for you to come on with God. Es tiempo que tengas comunión. You speak out. Con Dios y hables. You talk to him. Para allá yo no puedo. As your father in heaven. Con Pedro y Sio. And he will hear you. Él te oirá. Is that correct? And I will answer you. Él dice, llámame, and show you great things that you do not know. Monte grandes cosas que tú no sabes. Let us open our Bible to the book of Matthew. Open your Bible with me to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter eight, verse one to three. I read. When Jesus came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Leprosy. The man with leprosy. What is that affliction with you today? What is that disease called? ¿Cuál es tu aflicción hoy? Where is it located in your body? ¿Dónde se trata esta maldición? Where is it in your system? ¿Dónde está en tu sistema en tu cuerpo? What is that that gives you shame? Es que se honra. What is that that stops you from reaching your divine destiny? ¿Qué es eso que te impide recibir tu destino divino? Those things that reward you or remind you of your worthy past. ¿Qué es eso que te pasa? What is that? ¿Qué es eso? What name is it called? ¿Cómo se llama? Let someone say, Jesus is the healer. Jesús Cristo es el que guerri. Jesús es el sanador. I want to hear somebody say, Jesus is the healer. Jesús es el sanador. Jesús es el que guerri. He is the provider. Él es el proveedor. God is the provider. Jesus is the provider. Jesus Christ is the blessing provider. Jesus Christ is the provider. He is the deliverer. The deliverer. The deliverer. The liberator. The deliverer. The restorer. I know His name. Let someone say, I know His name. I know His name. Say, Jesus is the healer. Jesus Christ is the healer. What is that problem with you? ¿Qué problema estás teniendo? What is that sickness with you? ¿Cuál es esa enfermedad? What is that affliction with you? ¿Es esa afección vos? A man with leprosy. Leprosy of all diseases came to him. He stretched out his hand and he was healed. He was restored. So what is that problem with you? Jesus is the healer. Jesucristo es el sanador. He is the blessing provider. Voyez de bénédiction. He is the restorer. Es el restaurador. And he's willing to make you clean. Y él quiere lavarte. He's willing to heal you. Y veo que guerrilla. Christ is willing to bless you. Está dispuesto a bendecirte. He's willing to forgive you. A perdonarte. So the question.
question is, are you ready? Êtes-vous prêt? Are you ready? Estás listo? It is God's ability and your willingness. God's ability and your willingness to have a new life. He stretched out his hand and he healed the man. His life became testimony. That powerful hand of healing is touching you right now. Esa sanidad de Dios te está tocando ahora a ti. That powerful healing hand is touching you right now. Me que guerir, me touch right now. That powerful deliverance hand is touching you right now. La liberación y sanidad te está tocando ahora. Are you ready to receive? ¿Estás listo para recibir? Are you ready to receive? Estás listo para recibir. So I say, wherever you may be, que vous soyez. Wherever you may be connecting with us right now, distance is not a barrier to the move of God. No es una barrera. Distance is not a barrier to the move of God. Christ spoke word into the life of people, and they were restored. They received, and so I command the healing power of God into your life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the healing power of God into your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliverance from every affliction in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliverance from every disease in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliverance from every shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah Rapha. The Lord that he lets you. Jehovah Rapha. By the power that says, Come, all you that are sick. I command every form of sickness out of your body today in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every form of a disease into your life to go out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever they may be located. Is it in your blood? Is it in your tender? Is it in your bone? Are they in the liver? Are they in the kidney? I command them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is willing. He is willing to touch you to give you a new life. Christ is willing to set you free from every bondage. I command freedom into your life today in the name of Jesus Christ. I command freedom into your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I command healing into your soul, spirit and body in the name of Jesus Christ. I say be healed. 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 Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Gracias, Padre. Right now, place your hand Ahora, pon tu mano on your head. En tu cabeza. Place your hand on your head. Pon tu mano en tu cabeza. Let someone say, my hair rejects affliction. Mi cabeza recibe salvación. My hair rejects failure. Ma tête rejette le check. My hair rejects disappointment. Mi cabeza rechaza el desastre. I say, receive your freedom once again in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive freedom from poverty in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive freedom from setback in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive freedom from failure in the name of Jesus Christ. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. To the position in which God made you. I say be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Every garment of shame in your life be torn in the name of Jesus Christ. Every garment of disgrace in your life be torn in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, continue to pray, continue to pray. Say, thou son of David, by your divine mercy and your divine favor, every spirit calling for my head, tell you where you are. Holy God. Jesus. Every spirit from the pit of 
hell. Tu espíritu de la boca del infierno. Call it for your head. Llámalo. Command the fire of the Holy Ghost. Y envíe el fuego del Espíritu Santo. To consume them now. Para que consuma todo espíritu. We say the first are consumed. Pray, 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 pray. Ora, hijo de David, por tu misericordia divina, por tu favor, todo espíritu. Every spirit from the pits of hell. Todo espíritu de la boca del infierno se va. Call it for your head. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Por el fuego del Espíritu. Tell him where they are. Donde quiera que esté. Holy Ghost fire. Espíritu Santo. Le feu de l'Esprit. Come on, man, in the name of Jesus. Order the fire of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. Call the fire of the Spirit of God. Ora. Pray, 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 pray. Ora, ora contra todo espíritu de la boca del infierno que se vaya. Call them by their names. Llámale por su nombre. The Spirit calling for your head. Es espíritu. The Spirit calling for your soul. Se nos pide por dam. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Le feu de l'Esprit. Hello, we are there. Qu'il soit. Call on the name of Jesus. Appelle au nom de Jésus Christ. Todo espíritu enviado para destruirte, ordenar fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Llama el fuego. Command them out, they must obey. Tiene que obedecer, ordena le fuera. Ora. Speak to them in the name of Jesus. Ora en el nombre de Jesús. Ora. Speak to them in the name of Jesus. Parle, tú vas a obedecer en el nombre de Jesús. Command them to come out. Ordena le que salga. Llama le por su nombre. Ora, ordena le que salga. Speak to them in the name of Jesus. Habla en el nombre de Jesús. Vous laissez l'esprit qui vient de faire des entrailles. Say you spirit. Dis-toi esprit. I call you by your name. Ça fait par ton nom. Hallelujah, you are. Donc qu'est-ce qu'il a que c'est? You spirit of darkness. Tu esprit de l'obscurité. Call it from my head. Que vient? Holy Ghost. Destruire-moi. Holy Ghost. Tu chantes. Holy Ghost. Tu chantes. Out. 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 Quoi là, devant Jésus? On est le sacré au nom de Jésus-Christ. Tout esprit sont venus pour votre tête. On est le sacré au nom de Jésus. Command them, they must obey. Order 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 them, they must obey. Vamos, sigue orando. Ordena que suelte su garra. Command them out, command them out, command them out. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Ordena que salgan en el nombre de Jesús. Command that spirit to come out in the name of Jesus. Ordena que salgan en el nombre de Jesús. No hay un place for that unclean spirit. No hay lugar oculto para ese espíritu. No hay un place for that demon. Command them out, command them out. Ordena que salgan en el nombre de Jesús. No hay un lugar oculto para ese espíritu. No hay un lugar oculto para ese espíritu. Say you are clean spirit. Dito spirit del mundo. You are clean spirit. Tu es bien pur. No hiding place for you. No hay escondite para ti. You are clean spirit. Tu es bien pur. No hiding place for you. Pas de cachette pour toi. You are clean spirit. Tu es spirit del mundo. No hiding place for you. No hay escondite para ti. Anywhere you are. Donde sea que estés. Anywhere you are. Où que tu sois. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Out. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ordena que salga en el nombre de Jesús. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Ordena el sacerdote de Jesús. Command that spirit to come out. Ordena ese espíritu que salga. Ordena ese espíritu. Where can they go from the presence of God? Por si pasa de otra presencia. Command them out. Command them out. Ordena el sacerdote. Ordena que salga. ¿Dónde puede estar en la presencia de Dios? Ordena que salga ese espíritu. Command that unclean spirit to come out. Ordena ese espíritu inmundo que salga. That spirit that disturbs your life. ¿Qué es el pecho de tu vida? That spirit that disturbs your family. Come on, the mouth in the name of Jesus. Say you spirit. Say you spirit. You spirit. For my past. 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 For That spirit from your past life, esprit, disturbing your present and your future. De votre passé présent. Command them to come out in the name of Jesus. Que ce soit ton présent, votre futur, donnez de sortir dans le nom de Jésus. Ton esprit de ton passé ou que tu es perturbé. Whatever name they call that spirit. Quoi qu'il nomme le que tenga ce spirit, donnez de que sortir dans le nom de Jésus. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Donnez de sortir dans le nom de Jésus. Be it ancestral spirit. Command them out. Ordonnez que salga. 
Est-ce que c'est qui sort? Be his family idol. Come on, the name of Jesus. Il donne une famille, ordonne de ça selon Jésus. That ancestral spirit. That stops your life. Que perturbe tu vida. Come on, the mouth. Come on, the mouth. Ordonne que salga. Ordonne les esprits ancestraux qui perturbe tu vie de ça selon Jésus. Come on, the mouth. The name of Jesus. Ordonne que salga les hommes de Jésus. Ordonne de ça selon Jésus. Continue to command them out. Sigue echando fuera. Command them out. Ordonne leur de sortir. Say every spirit si du monde of affliction, de affliction, every spirit tout esprit affecting my health, qui dérange ma santé, anywhere you are, que tu sois, I command you, je t'ordonne, anywhere you are, sea que estés, I order you, ordeno, you messenger of Satan, Satan I command you, ordeno, anywhere you are, sea que estés, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Santo, Holy Ghost, esprit, Holy Ghost, esprit, Holy Ghost, esprit, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Tout esprit qui afflige votre santé, qui attaque votre santé, où qu'il soit, on le sortit au nom de Jésus. Ahora mismo ordena a todo espíritu que te ataca día y noche contra tu salud, que salga en el nombre de Jesús. Command them out. On le sortit. Order them out. Ordena que salga. Tout esprit qui vous cause des afflictions, qui dérange votre santé, où qu'il soit, on le sortit au nom de Jésus. Say your spirit. Dis ton esprit. La cause de mon affliction. Your spirit. Ton esprit. Attacking my hair. Qui attaque ma santé. You demon. Tu démonio. You darkness. Tu oscuridad. You messenger of Satan. Tu messager de Satan. Attacking me. Attaquant-me. Day and night. Dia y noche. Anywhere you are. I order you. Te ordeno. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Anywhere you are. Que tu sois. Come on. So. Come on. So. Come on. Fuera. Come on. Fuera. Come on. So. Ordena que salga fuera tu espíritu que te causa la aflicción, que ataca tu vida en el nombre de Jesús. Ordena que salga. Continue to pray. Continue to order them out. Ordena le fuera. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Ordena le fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Every sickness in your body, command them out, command them out, command them out, command them out. Ordena de sortir tu mal. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Ordena de sortir en el nombre de Jesús. Ordena que toda enfermedad salga de tu cuerpo en el nombre de Jesús. Dis toute chaîne de déception, every chain of setback, toute chaîne de revers, every chain of failure, cadena de fracas, holding me down, qui me retient, holding my family down, qui retient ma famille, be broken, soit brisé, be broken, soit brisé, be broken, c'est rotto, be broken, c'est rotto, break them in the name of Jesus, rompe la en el nombre de Jesús, that chain of setback, esa cadena de retroceso, that chain of disappointment, cadena de decepción, that chain of failure, cadena de fracas, break them in the name of Jesus, brise le nom de Jésus, that chain of Chien de pauvreté. Break them, break them, break them. Brisez les, brisez les. Break them in the name of Jesus. Brisez les noms de Jésus. Break them in the name of Jesus. Rompez les en le nom de Jésus. Break them in the name of Jesus. Rompez les en le nom de Jésus. That chain of limitation. Cadena de limitation. Holding you down. Qui vous brisez. Break them in the name of Jesus. Brisez les noms de Jésus. Chien de maladie de revers. By the authority in the name of Jesus. Par l'autorité au nom de Jésus. Say you chain of disappointment. Dis toi chien de déception. You chain of disappointment. Toi chien de déception. You chain of setback. Cadena de retrocesso. You chain of setback. Cadena de retrocesso. You chain of poverty. Cadena de pobreza. I command you. Te ordeno. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Be broken. Se rota. Be broken. Se rota. Be broken. Sois brisé. Be broken. Sois brisé. Be broken. Be broken. Se rota. Break them in the name of Jesus. Rompe en el nombre de Jesús. Continue to break them, break them, break them, break them, break them, break them, break them. Continue rompiendo, rompiendo. Break them in the name of Jesus. Rompe en el nombre de Jesús. Toda cadena de decepción, retroceso, pobreza, ordena le fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Continue to pray. 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 Sigue. Viewers all over the world. Espectadores de todo el mundo. Wherever you may be connecting with us right now. Que vous êtes connectés avec nous maintenant. 
And God's mercy, you are not left out. En la misericordia de Dios, no estás excluido. the mercy of God, you are not left out. No estás excluido. The word of God in the book of Jeremiah says, I know my thoughts towards you, thoughts of good and not evil, to give you a future and a hope. And so right now we command Ordenamos. every spirit that is challenging your sonship in Christ Jesus. Todo espíritu que desafía. Every spirit that is challenging your sonship in Christ Jesus. Que desafía tu relación con Jesús se rompe. Every spirit that is challenging the authority of God in your life. Todo espíritu que desafía. We command that to break loose in the name of Jesus. La autoridad de tu vida se rompe. Every spirit that has kept you in bondage. Que vos hoy te nales clavas. We command that to get loose in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free. Se libre. Be free. Se libre. Be free. Se libre. Be free. Se libre. From that bondage. De esa atadura. Be free. Se libre. From that cage. De esa jaula. That ancestral cage. De esa cage. That evil cage. Se... We say be loose. Se libre. Be loose. Se soltado. Be loose. Se liberado. From that shackles. De esa chaine. Shackles of evil. Chaine. Shackle of disappointment. Circle of defeat. That of failure. De fracaso. That of hatred. Circle of failure. Be loose. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. May your lost glory be restored in the name of Jesus. Que votre gloire soit restaurée au nom de Jésus. May your lost glory be restored in the name of Jesus. Que la gloire de Dieu soit restaurée dans le nom de Jésus. May your lost glory be restored in the name of Jesus. Que Dieu restaure en toi en le nom de Jésus. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jésus. Thank you, Father. Gracias, Padre. We thank you for your word that never changes. Por tu amor que nunca cambia. Thank you for your promises that never change. Merci pour tes promesses qui ne changent jamais. I command your healing power into the life of your children. Nous avons la guérison dans la vie de tes enfants. I command your blessing power into the life of your children. Tu poder de bendición en la vida de tus hijos. Breakthrough in your life. Progreso en su vida. Breakthrough in your way. En su camino. Breakthrough in your business. Verse dans vos affaires. Breakthrough in your career. Verse dans votre carrière. Breakthrough in your job. Progreso en tu trabajo. Say breakthrough in the life of your children. Progreso en la vida de tus hijos. We call it breakthrough in your marriage. Progreso en tu matrimonio. Let the light of God continue to shine on you. La lumière de Dieu brille sur vous. Wherever there is darkness in your life, we command the light of God to shine in the name of Jesus Christ. Que la lumière brille en tu vida. Father, open closed doors for you. Ouvre les portes fermées pour eux, Père. Open closed doors for you. Abre les portes fermées. Open closed doors of fear for you. Portes fermées pour eux. Let the windows of heaven be open for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ. Que les portes du ciel soient ouvertes pour vous, Jésus. Gracias, Jesús. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. In Him you are healed. In Him you are delivered. Give thanks to Him. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Right now, begin to remove any barrier between your heart and the Spirit of God. Commence à remettre une barrière entre votre cœur et l'esprit de Dieu. Commence à remettre cualquier barrière entre le cœur et l'esprit de Dieu. Right now, I command the power of God to come down, to come down upon you. Of God, come down in the name of Jesus. Every infirmity, wherever it's located, wherever it's located, right now I command that infirmity in your blood, in your blood, infirmity in your blood, in your tendon, in your bone, begin to command them right now, command them out. Command that infirmity. Command that infirmity to come down. That infirmity to come down. Command that infirmity to come down. Command that infirmity to come down. In the name of Jesus Christ, infirmity is associated with demon. Yes, with demon. Right now, that spirit that causes infirmity, that demon. That demon, familiar spirit, begin to rebook it, rebook them, rebook them out, rebook it, rebook it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you demon, you demon, 
begin to reboot that demon out of your life, out of your system. Reboot that demon. Reboot that demon. Say to demon, I say to you, you demon, you infirmity. Spirit of infirmity is associated with sickness, disease, associated with failure, disappointment, all the challenges you are going through. Right now, command them out with all that trouble. You demon. trouble with all your failure I command you out of my life with all your trouble with all your deceive with all your setback with all your limitation with all your failure I command you out say out Much can be achieved without noise. Jesus knows you best. Anywhere sickness disease is located in your life, in your blood, in your tender, in your kidney, in your liver, in your flu, in your bone, on your skin, I command them out in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God come upon you. Let the power of God come on you. Let the power of God come on you. Let the power. I speak to your finances. I speak to your business. I speak to your career. Let the story change. Right now, let the story change. You are free. Let the story change. Let your story change. your life chain, you become ex-loser. I speak to your career in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God come on you. Let the power of God come on your career. Let the power of God come on your peace. Let the power of God come on your finances. Let the power of God come on your peace. Let the power of God come on your money. Let the power of God come on your.
your money. Let the power of God come on your family. I speak to your career in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God come on your career. I speak to your finances in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God come on your career. I speak to your business, your finances. I speak to your career. Let the power of God come on them. Viva, when the power of God come on your career, your career begin to flourish. Under the influence of my voice, I say power. Let the power of God come on your business. Power. Let the power of God come on your career. Power. Let the power of God come on your life. Power. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, right now history begin to change. History about your business begin to change. History about your life begin to change. History about your finances begin to change. History about your marriage begin to change. About your family begin to change. 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 Thank you, Lord. Give time to God. Give time to Him. Believe your history is changing. Someone is busy changing your history. Rejoice. Amen. 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 When you hear power, you say glory. Power. Power. May the God of Prophet TV Joshua be blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. Let someone say, I am healed. Dites, je suis guéri. Soy sano. Because God's word says, I am healed. Porque Dios dice que soy sano. I want to hear somebody say, I am blessed. Dites, je suis béni. Because the word of God says, I am blessed. Soy bendecido porque la palabra de Dios. Let me hear someone say, I am delivered. Dites, je suis délivré. Because God's word says, I am delivered. Parce que la parole de Dieu dit que je suis délivré. If God has said it, he will do it. Because he has said it, he will do it. Él lo hará porque God bless you all. Que Dios les Thank you very much. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jesus. For visiting your children today. Gracias, For Jesus. giving them joy. For giving them testimony. Por darles testimonio. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. Amen. 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 What can we say? ¿Qué podemos decir? You know that's my song. What shall we say? On to the Lord. We Million times. Are not enough. Un millón de gracias no son bastantes. But the wonderful thing that God is doing in our midst. Les merveilleuses choses que Dieu fait parmi nous. From the beginning of this ministry to this very hour, His love is new every day. God's love is new every day. El amor de Dios es nuevo Just cada walking, día. coming as you are. And he will accept you. Tell him you have no power of your own. All your sufficiencies come from him. And God will carry you in his hands. God bless you all. Que Dios les bendiga. May the blessing you receive today remain permanent in your life in que the name of Jesus. May the favor of God you receive today remain permanent in their life La in the name of Jesus. Permanent in the name of Jesus. May the healing you receive remain permanent in your life in the name of Jesus. Let someone say, it is well with me. 
Di, todo está it bien is well with me. Dice, tú vas bien conmigo. It is well with me. Todo está bien conmigo. Because my God is alive. Porque mi Dios está vivo. Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is alive. He never said goodbye. Y él nunca ha dicho He never said goodbye. No ha jamás dicho au revoir. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. Amen. Amen. Yes, we've come to the end of this service. Come to the end of this service. Everything that has a beginning must have an end. So we keep on thanking God. Just wake up, say thank you, Jesus. Di gracias, mm. Jesús. Every day, every moment of your life, cada say cada thank cada you, momento. Jesus. Di gracias, Jesús. Dit merci, Jesús. Father Lord, I commit your children into your ever hand. See to all that concise them in the name of Jesus Christ. We are thanking you this moment because we know you've committed yourself to their protection. You have committed yourself to their goodness. Let your favor, your mercy, your compassion continue to locate them in the name of Jesus Christ. Open close doors for them in the name of Jesus Make them One with a difference in the name of Jesus Christ. That is what your promise said. Esa es tu promesa. Make them one with a difference. Un avec une difference. In their career. Dans leur carrière. In their job. Dans votre travail. Whatever thing they lay their hands upon, Father, let it be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. In Jesus Christ, then we pray. Au nom de Jésus Christ, nous prier. Amen. 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 Thank you once again. Thank you once again. A revival will be coming up this month. Una viva For children of the synagogue. Para los hijos de la sinagoga viene un avivamiento este mes. I tell you, there are people who have been coming to this church for the past 10 years. They remain newcomers. They remain newcomers. Today they are here, next week they are in another place. So you remain a newcomer. I'm saying this, I didn't want to say it before. The synagogians know that the revival is coming. Mi réveil s'approche. But I'm saying it to you, so that when it happens, you will not say, ah, what happened? We are not aware. It's for the synagogians. We want to be revived. And after revival comes what? Restoration. Un God bless you. Que traerá Thank you very much. Thank you. Gracias. Let us share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, Jesus Christ love of God, El amor de Dios. and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and Maintenant, forevermore. Et Amen. Amen. Surely, All the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. Amen. Emmanuel. Dios con nosotros. God is with us. Thank Dios you, Jesus. Nous. Merci, Jesus. Gracias, Jesus. Download the Emmanuel TV mobile app. Find your favorite sermon. Watch Emmanuel TV Live. Stay in tune with God's Word. All on the Emmanuel TV mobile app. Available now on the Apple App Store, Samsung Galaxy Store, and Amazon App Store for Android. Alternatively, watch live on Emmanuel.tv and also on Apple TV, Roku TV, Fire TV Stick, and Android TV. If you would like to visit the Synagogue Church of All Nations, log on to our website at www.scoan.org. Go to the Visit Us page. And for those within Nigeria, you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential... In Nigeria. Uh, Before, I used to have stomach pains, waist pains. During the time of mass prayer, I started vomiting.
I vomited broad substances. Now I am free. I'm not fleeing the pace. I am free. I am I am free. No, not at all. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. Yes, we're still listening to you. My name is Nancy Akilabi. I've been suffering for this uh, hotness of the tummy for the past one year. So during the course of the mass prayer, immediately I started feeling one sensation in me. So I defined, no, I just threw up this substance of uh, blood in me. But now, now I can free. Before I cannot press my tummy like this, but I'm very, very free now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Praise the Lord. Emmanuel. My name is, is Mrs. Ohazurike Ijoma. I'm from Imo State. Before now, I used to eat in the dream. And when I wake up in the morning, I'll feel as if I'm already eating food. My stomach will be filled up. So, and during that period, it normally occurs when I'm pregnant. So immediately, I will feel something that biting, biting me yeah, near my womb. It will bite me. So before you know it, miscarriage, the baby will flush out just like that. It used to happen every two, two months. So today, during the mass prayers, so I feel I have the urge of vomiting, but I feel like resisting it not to vomit, but I don't know when I started to vomiting this blood substances here. So how do you feel after vomiting these poisonous substances? I'm free. I am I free freeze. My, foot, my stomach is free now. It's free now. Thank you, Jesus. My stomach is free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus.
Emmanuel. Good morning, people of grace. Good morning and win today, win tomorrow, and win forever. I welcome you all partners, viewers, and children of the synagogue, Church of All Nations, all over the world. To this celebration of the 18th anniversary of Emmanuel TV, our mouthpiece. As you all remember, Emmanuel TV was founded on March 8, 2006 by our Father in the Lord and General Overseer, Prophet TB Joshua. Surely we cannot thank God enough for this vision through the Holy Spirit. We thank the God of Prophet TB Joshua for the inspiration, the wisdom, the courage, and mission to read the word with the gospel. Let me also appreciate you all for your attachment to Emmanuel TV. An attachment bred by innate conviction and spiritual motivation for the mighty things God is doing through this Christian channel. May the special grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ continue to dominate and direct your lives according to his purpose in Jesus' name. As our mouthpiece, our main voice, Emmanuel TV has served to connect with partners and members of the ministry all over the world, thus making us a family of shared belief, interest, focus, and motivation. It has continued to be forthright in beaming to the world our main activities, commitments, events, and developments with the sole aim of winning more soul for Christ while unifying us as a people on a mission. To the Manuel TV team, I say, well done for your engagement in crusades, charitable works, as well as in community and educational development projects with impact both locally and internationally. This is achieved through the unity of purpose founded on the biblical principle that works of charity and righteousness by faith in Christ Jesus goes together. For sure, one is not complete without the other. Our team, made up of partners and children of God all over the world, have continued touching the lives of orphans, widows, widowers, the elderly, the less privileged, and the physically challenged. It has taken the maturity that comes from faith for us all to realize that our responsibility to Emmanuel TV, to God and his project, is a commitment and fellowship with him rather than sacrifice. It is this realization and conviction that has enabled us, you, the stakeholders in this mission, to continue forging ahead, seeing your contribution to the needy as an assignment from God and not to man. If I may take you back to our 10th anniversary, God's own project. <laughs> Ten years ago, an inspiration was conceived to make a difference in the world, and you embraced it. This is the story of your baby. started crawling 
and exploring the world around him. A time when danger is at hand's reach. The baby is not for the mother and father alone. Anybody, both enemy and friend, can carry the baby through all this. In the face of danger, injury, attack, life's threats, destruction, your swift prayer and care sustained him. When he said his first words, Say Mama! Mama. Say Papa! Ba, ba, ba. Your support encouraged him to say more. We know the sky will be the limit for the child. This is Emmanuel TV, your child. From an embryo. Emmanuel TV started from a tiny embryo as God's own baby. Today, at 18 years of age, look at what it has become, to God's glory. The mission of Emmanuel TV remains the same, changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. On behalf of the Emmanuel TV family, I say a very big happy 18th anniversary to us. And in the word of our Father in the Lord, Prophet E.B. Joshua, better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. Emmanuel, God is with us. Happy 18th birthday to Emmanuel TV. To our partners and viewers, I am here by the authority given to me as a child of God to pray for you. I speak light into your darkness. I speak peace into your life. I command every rigid storm in your life to be still. Oh, merciful God and compassionate Father, you are not a man that you should lie. You are not human that you should change your mind. Just as Balan received a command to bless your people and no one could reverse it. I bless all who are under the influence of my voice with your blessing of love, your blessing of peace, goodness, healing, the blessing of protection, provision, victory, and joy. Father, may your name bring them the light as they continue to trust in your love to lead and to do things the way you would have done them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being there. Emmanuel, remain blessed. God bless you. Happy 18th birthday to Emmanuel TV. Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel TV, desde Palma de Mallorca, queremos felicitarte por tu 18 cumpleaños. Gracias por cambiar vida, cambiar naciones y cambiar el mundo. ¡Feliz! TV, you are talking of the synagogue church of all nations, of which Christ is the head. According to the book of Matthew 18, verse 19 to 20, two believers are better than one. I mean, I cannot do it without others. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the inspiration of humanity. He is the one behind the whole setup. According to the book of First Peter, chapter 1, verse 12. This has not come out of the will of man. God's purpose is our purpose, and his mission, our mission. That is what we are born for, living for, and going to die for. According to the book of Romans 10, verse 17. Faith comes by hearing the words of God. The people hear and change. Nations hear and change. The world at large hears and changes. 18 years of changing lives. 18 years of changing nations. 18 years of changing the world. Happy 18th anniversary. Emmanuel TV. Good morning. My name is Astrid Radke. I'm from Texas, USA. 
I arrived to Scone uh, on a weekday in a late evening and I was welcomed by wonderful people. As soon as I stepped foot on this premises, I felt calm. I felt calm and I, I know that this would be a transformation of my heart. I'm staying here for a total of eight days and every day is a blessing. I learn how to make the word the standard of my life through daily prayer and meditation. The messages that are shared here by Pastor Evelyn during the church service are very transformational. You learn a lot. And this, this environment is very conducive. Many visits to the prayer mountain prepared our hearts for the Sunday service. The Sunday service was one of the most amazing services that I ever attended. I was so attentive to everything that was going on and was so thankful how the Holy Spirit, how Jesus transformed people's hearts and set them free. And I know their lives are going to be changed forever. I just encourage everybody, if there are any hardships in your life, turn to God, turn to prayer, turn to the Word, and make the Word your standard. You will shortly see that this is the answer of, uh, to everything. God bless you. My name is Astrid Radke from Texas, USA. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. <laughs> TV Joshua says, true Christianity lies in the heart, in the purity of the heart. Meditation brings revelation. So keep meditating on God's word and spirit as you keep on watching Emmanuel TV. Remember, distance is not a barrier to the move of God. Anywhere you are, join us in faith and press in to touch Jesus Christ. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. Psalm 34 verse 8 says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. He and the arena of liberty. The key is not to suppress the flesh, but to surrender to the Holy Spirit. Catch the fire of the Holy Spirit as you keep watching in Daniel TV. Welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV. Changing lives, changing nations, changing the world. Stay tuned for my TBJ moments. Fresh revelation, fresh insight. My TBJ moments showing this Thursday, 7 p.m. GMT Plus One on Emmanuel TV. Restez connectés pour les moments avec TV Joshua. Nouvelle révélation, nouvelle perspective. Les moments avec TV Joshua. Ce jeudi à 7h p.m. GMT Plus Un. Sur Emmanuel TV. Mantente conectado para mis momentos TV Joshua. Fresca revelación, fresca visión. Mi 
mis momentos TV Joshua. Este jueves a las 7 pm, GMT más 1, en Emmanuel TV. Good morning. And to win today from the Emmanuel TV family. Soyez vainqueur aujourd'hui, soyez vainqueur demain et soyez vainqueur pour toujours. Je m'appelle Megan de l'île Maurice. Maurice, merci bon Dieu pour Emmanuel TV qui transforme la vie. Je m'appelle Sarah Jane de l'île Maurice. Maurice, merci Emmanuel TV qui me fait voir comme Jésus-Christ et qui me fait voir rapprochement plus encore avec lui. Joyeux anniversaire Emmanuel TV et surtout, continue Emmanuel TV. Mira que con Dios todas las cosas son posibles. Vamos y dale toda la gloria. Mira que la fe actúa ahora, la fe cree ahora y la fe recibe ahora. La fe actúa ahora. ¡Hey! La fe ve lo invisible, cree lo imposible, recibe lo increíble. La fe actúa en la palabra de Dios. The reality of faith can only be proved by practice. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. All things are possible. Have faith in God. Felicitamos a Emanuel TV por su 18 cumpleaños. ¡Felicidades! cosas son posibles. Vamos y dale toda la gloria. Mira que la fe actúa ahora, la fe cree ahora y la fe recibe ahora. aniversario para Emanuel TV cambiando la vida de miles de personas Emanuel TV cambiando vida, cambiando naciones y cambiando el mundo
Emanuel TV. Cambiando vidas, cambiando naciones, cambiando el mundo, Emanuel TV. Cambiando vidas, cambiando naciones, cambiando el mundo. Muchas felicidades. Vence hoy, vence mañana y vence siempre. Desde Bolivia te deseamos un feliz aniversario porque ya van 18 años cambiando vidas en todas las naciones. Pero recordad que lo mejor está por venir. Así que desde Bolivia, Emanuel, ¡feliz aniversario! El país de Cuba te desea feliz aniversario, Manuel TV. Lo bueno no es suficiente, lo mejor está... Manuel TV, hoy nos unimos para celebrar tus 18 años. El canal cristiano más visto del mundo. Has bendecido nuestras vidas innumerables veces. Estamos muy contentos de ser parte de esto y por eso queremos decirte, Emanuel TV, ¡Feliz cumpleaños! Stay tuned for my TBJ moments. Fresh revelation, fresh insight. My TBJ Moments, showing this Thursday, 7 p.m. GMT Plus One on Emmanuel TV. Restez connectés pour les moments avec TV Joshua. Nouvelle révélation, nouvelle perspective. Les moments avec TV Joshua. Ce jeudi, à 7h p.m., GMT plus 1, sur Emmanuel TV. Mantente conectado para mis momentos TV Joshua. Fresca revelación, fresca visión. Mis momentos TV Joshua. Este jueves a las 7 p.m., GMT más 1. En Emmanuel TV. Attending church is a thing of God. When we go to church, we are answering God's invitation. Dear brethren, God is in all ages gathering into himself a generation of spiritual worshippers. It is only through his word and spirit that we can truly worship him. As you keep watching Emmanuel TV, remember that the Holy Spirit goes where he is loved and desired, not where he is simply needed. Let you and your household find a true friend in Jesus Christ as you keep watching Emmanuel TV. Join us as we honor the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Cherish him in your heart. Make him your companion anytime and anywhere. Encounter the Lord Jesus Christ as you keep watching Emmanuel TV.
outside the Kenyatta International Convention Center. And right now we can see partners from many different countries all around the world. And they are here for a special partners meeting with Pastor Evelyn Joshua. Well, they are here very excited because they know that there is a wonderful blessing in store for them. You can see the excitement and the great anticipation on their faces. I'm from South Africa, Limpopo province. What impact has it been on your life being an Emmanuel TV partner? Since I'm uh, Emmanuel uh, TV partner, my heart is always in peace. I don't take offense. I'm always happy to know that I'm helping other people. Tell us, what are your expectations for this meeting? Um, my expectation is um, everything about me, my family, will be well. And things will go well with us. My name is Salome Karanja. I'm from Kenya. I'm an Emmanuel TV partner. And what are your expectations for this Emmanuel TV partners meeting today? A lot of love, a lot of peace, a lot of blessings, a lot of um, excitement. My name is Sheila Bitsutu and I'm from Kenya. And uh, you are an Emmanuel TV partner? Yes, I'm an Emmanuel TV partner. Can you tell us, what does it mean for you to be an Emmanuel TV partner? What kind of impact has it had on your life? Being an Emmanuel TV partner is just a step closer to agreeing with Prophet T.B. Joshua's anointing and his ministry. I don't just pray and touch the screen. I haven't just visited the scorn. I want to partner with all the work that the ministry is doing, the humanitarian work, and everything that the ministry is doing to change lives, change nations, and change the world. What are your expectations for this meeting? I'm expecting to experience the power and presence of God. I'm longing for it. I'm thirsting for it. And I know by the time I go home, I will be filled. Ni kwa sababu ya mama, abaye ni pasa, Evelyn Joshua, mungu ambariki sana kwa sababu ya kuja, kutukarebeki, kuturekebisha maisha yetu, kutukomboa, sisi ni watu wamefuraia Kenya. Tumefurai. Kenya. Sisi tumainuriwa. Kenya. Hatutabaki vina tulivyo. Kenya. Sisi. Hakika. Tunaenda mbari. Oh, Kenya. Watani ni muambi. Tumepata kitu. Tumelete wa Yesu. Tumelete wa Emmanuel. TV Joshua. Amebadilisha maisha yetu. Watoto wetu. Sisi. Tunasema Emmanuel. I am His Royal Majesty, Inkosi Yamakosi Gomani V, and this is my wife, Inkosi Gazinkulu Rishaladza Kanisa Gomani. What are your expectations uh, for this meeting, sir? No, um, we're just hoping to hear what uh, God has for us through Mama Evelyn Joshua, and uh, just to have you know that uplifting spirit, encourage us, and uh, see how we move forward as a family, as a scorn family to reach out to the world, uh, to reach out to the nations, to reach out to everyone with the word of God, with the love of God. My name is Cecilia Sendulukambewe. I'm from Zambia. And what are your expectations for the Emmanuel TV partner meeting today? My expectations are always higher than what I can expect. And it does not surprise me because the God of Prophet TB Joshua is the God who does always exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ever ask or imagine according to his power that is at work in us. My name is Sisi Namatanzi. I'm from Uganda. What does it mean to you to be an Emmanuel TV partner? Uh, I've been privileged, first of all, to attend uh, this crusade and secondly, to attend the Emmanuel TV Partners Conference and so many other opportunities, so many other opportunities that, that, that you get, they pray for you and each and every time you have a challenge, you can call the church and they intervene and the prayer warriors will come in. So I'm so privileged to be an Emmanuel TV partner and helping the needy through what, what, what we give in. So I'm so privileged to be part of it. So you are a, a part of this mission of changing lives, changing nations and changing the world. And what are your expectations for today, the meeting with Pastor Evelyn Joshua? Uh, based on uh, what I saw and what happened in the crusade, 
so many people were delivered, so many people were healed, and we have even been delivered before and healed before. So distance is not a barrier. If you're not here, just be with us in spirit, and the anointing is present. The woman of God is working in a tremendous way, and the Holy Spirit is with us. So keep watching Emmanuel TV, and stay blessed. My name is Vanessa Rolinga. I come from Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. I'm the Emmanuel TV partner. What impact has being a partner of Emmanuel TV had on your life? Uh, since when I become the Emmanuel TV partner, I've been receiving blessings after blessings after blessings. Uh, and to tell you the truth, if, if, you, uh, if you become the Emmanuel TV partner, it means you are contributing for God's sake. And if you contribute for God's sake, God will never leave you alone. That seed you are planting will be a protection in your life. Myself, I've seen it clearly, clearly. And I know uh, the source of my blessings is because I am the Emmanuel TV partner. What are your expectations? My expectations today is to continue receiving more blessings from our mother, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, the pastor who has the anointing, anointing from God. She has such anointing that nothing can pass you by. If you have any, any problem whatsoever, and you encounter that anointing from our mother, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, you will never miss anything in this world. She is such a blessing to me as a person. So I'm expecting today to continue receiving much blessings. And I believe anyone in the world who will, um, will, um, will touch the Emmanuel TV and connect himself or herself, wherever she is or he is, he will be receiving blessings and more anointing in Jesus' name. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. My name is Emeka Ezinteje, and this is my wife, Zenaida Ezinteje. I come in from Mozambique to witness the power of God in Kenya. What are your expectations for today? We're expecting that the Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ, will do that which he started, he completed the move of the Holy Spirit. We're available, my wife and I. We really give thanks to Lord Jesus Christ for his mercy, his grace, his compassion. It has been a wonderful and awesome experience. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. My name is Salome Obongo. I'm Kenyan, but I live in Tanzania and work in Tanzania. I am an Emmanuel TV partner. And as an Emmanuel TV partner, what impact has it had on your life? A lot. A lot. Ever since I knew Emmanuel TV, I knew TV Joshua. Actually, I knew him when I was sick and I was searching for solution. God actually directed me. I did not know about Emmanuel TV, but God directed me. And through praying with Emmanuel TV, I got my healing. I had this problem of fibroid. I did not know what to do. I was so sick, I could not sit for five minutes. But then I was looking for solution. So as I went to the TV, I started scrolling and I saw Emmanuel TV and there was testimony going on from a boy from Nigeria who had been afflicted. The families actually have been afflicted and they went for solution to, to scorn. So when I watched it first, I thought it was just one of these jokes. But then the Spirit of God kept on telling me. So I asked people, do you know anything about TB Joshua? Actually, they made me more confused. And that made me to watch Emmanuel TV. What I know, whatever God gives you is perfect and good and God's time is the best time. What are your expectations? My expectation today, I have come to feast on the table of the Lord with all God's goodness. One of them that is stabbing me right now is arthritis. It is in our generation. And I believe today will be my day and all my past will be gone. My children will be open for on all of God's blessing are mine. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua. I've just arrived at the venue for the partners meeting in Kenya. She has arrived with our convoy. As you can see, the long row of the cars that she has come with. The partners are waiting patiently to receive her, to experience the touch of the power of God and the gift she has prepared to be given to them. That is the woman of God coming out from our car. And you can see the woman of God going in right now with the evangelists into the venue for the meeting with the partners here in Nairobi, Kenya.
My name is Lucy Akiso. I come from Kenya. I'm standing here to thank God for the healing. I got accident last year on this, my, my right leg. I, I have a fracture. So when I heard that the pastor Evelyn is coming for Crusade Kasarani, I just tell God I will go there and I have faith. I believe that I will come back when I'm healed. And if you can see, I was using scratches before. Now I don't have scratches anymore. <laughs> This problem has affected me since last year. I couldn't even do anything, even washing my clothes. Only my in-laws, one, the one was helping me, everything in the house. But now I can do anything. I can wash myself. I can do anything. I thank God for that. So you mentioned earlier that due to this problem, you could not do things yourself, you could not walk. So for the benefit of those listening to you and viewers all over the world, can you demonstrate to us things that you can do now which you could not do before? Now I can walk. As you can see, now I can walk. I can move my leg good. Thank you, Jesus. You can see. You can see. Before I couldn't walk, before I was walking like this, when I'm limping like this, but now I can walk. I thank God for that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being here. Okay, what I can tell you, people, if you have faith in God and believe everything is possible with God, now my life will never be the same again. I'm healed in Jesus' name. Thank you. Shall we put our hands together and clap for Jesus? My name is Jenny Maina. I'm a Kenyan, and I'm I have come here to give a testimony of my healing of the lumbar symphondrosis and the thoracic tuberosis. It all started in 2016 when I was pushed and I fell on my back. From there, I started attending to hospitals because I could feel there was something happening in my body. It, started, it developed gradually. And uh, it came to a point where I could not walk, I, and I was bedridden. After some, uh, after a lot of tests, X-rays, MRI of the spine, I just couldn't walk. This part downward was very weak. The legs were so weak that if I happened to fall or even kneeled. I could not lift myself up I, unless somebody helped me up. Now, okay, I was praying with the Emmanuel TV whenever I had a chance until I heard about the squan coming to Nairobi, Kenya. And I said that I have to come and I took it as a, my chance of getting my heal. I went to Kasarani day before yesterday and that's when I received my healing. I came to Kasarani believing that I'll get healed. As much as I could not walk on my own, I told my sister that when going back home, I walk by myself. And that is what happened. When the evangelist prayed for me, I felt this part downward, the part which was weak. I felt some strength in me, and I removed the, the rubber corset, and I started walking and even running. You said you, you were having difficulties in walking, but after the prayer, you started walking on your own. So can you just take this mic and show us the good thing God has done for you? Yeah, I could not walk then. I could walk with a lot of struggle even when I tried to walk by myself. But now, after the healing at Kasarani, I can walk. I can even climb down my st the stairs without any help. Hallelujah, I thank God. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That clap is enough for Jesus. Can we clap for Jesus one more time? My advice to everybody, faith, believing in God and believing that there is nothing, I said nothing impossible with him. He's everything. <laughs> Hallelujah. My name is Joshua Obero. The lady standing beside me is my lovely wife, and these are my children. We want to give thanks to God for what he has done to our lives through Emmanuel TV, connecting with Emmanuel TV, and the grace of God that operates in the man of God, Blessed Memory TV, Joshua. From 2008, my wife and I have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Uh, so that's for 12 years. So we, we had a lot of challenges during that time. Uh, we tried all that we could. We went to all the specialists that we know in that country. We used to live in Tanzania uh, at that time. We are Kenyans, but we are expatriates. We went to live in Tanzania. We did all that we could. We went to all the specialists. We went to all the gynecologists and nothing was working. We kept on trying, we kept on believing, but uh, nothing was working. And through that time, we experienced a lot of uh, difficulties, a lot of challenges. My wife and I could not go back to the village comfortably, you know. We could not sit with others and really, as a man, uh, say that I'm a man, so to speak, because my younger ones have children that they are happy, enjoying, yet we had nothing as such to show forth within that time that we were living uh, together because they had so many ch children. But then we kept on trusting God. Now, at one point, my wife, how did I get to understand the ministry of Emmanuel CV? My wife was watching a uh, scorn. She kept watching uh, Emmanuel TV. Uh, by that time, of course, I was skeptical. I didn't understand what she was doing, but my love for her would make her do anything. We would fly everywhere to look for help. What actually hit me to start watching Emmanuel TV, the, the man of God prophesied about, you remember it was 2009, about Michael Jackson. So I was passing and my wife told me, watch this. So I saw exactly all the prophecies about Michael Jackson and everything that happened. Then I said, whoa. This is something. Now, at least my faith started building up. I say, now this one is at least a real one because when you're exposed to a lot of things that you're not, you're a bit careful. So that uh, informed our journey to the Skoan. So we started planning and talking about it. And uh, we traveled to the synagogue, Church of All Nations in 2016 for the crossover to 2017. Uh, we had an awesome time. If you've never gone to Skowan, you better do. We had an awesome time at the prayer mountain, praying with the man of God. So coming to the third, we, we, were, travel, we were to travel to Tanzania on the fourth. So on the third, the man of God came to us and said, just because you stepped at the arena of liberty, you have already received your answered prayers. Then he said something very profound. He said, for the sake of your faith, I'm going to touch you. I'm going to touch you for the sake of your faith to be lifted so that some of you don't feel the man of God didn't touch you. But it's not about me. You, God has already given you answer to your prayers. I had not said anything to the man of God. What he did made me know that the spirit of God is using him. He just touched my wife in the tummy. Then he touched me. And I'm like, why did he just touch the exact place? <laughs> so fast forward, we, we traveled back to the country that we were residing, that's Tanzania. My wife and I went on with our business. We, 
we, we, we actually almost like forgot. We just said, thank you, God. So we entered into a, a prayer, thanksgiving prayers, just thanking God and waiting to see the manifestation of our blessings. Two weeks thereabout, I'm in the office and my wife gives me a call. Trust you me, I'd, I'd, I'd actually forgotten. So she calls me. And for the love I have for my wife, obviously everything had to stand still. What is it, babe? She is screaming in the bathroom. Something has come out of me. And I'm like, what is it? Some two things, I don't even know, like creatures or something, can't even describe them. But they were kind of breathing. So she calls me and she said one of them had flushed already in the toilet. I said, arrest the other one. Let it, arrest it. How, how will we show our prophet T.B. Joshua that this thing is working? Arrest it, take a picture. Don't do anything bad because we don't know what it was in, but just take a picture. So she took a picture, we came to the house, we saw it, and then that's when it hit us that this thing now is working. So we continued into the atmosphere of just thanking God, blessing the Lord. Uh, then after some time, of course, we, we forgot, we said it will work, it will work, we kept on praying. Now, two months after, I'm still in the same, same office and my wife calls me. She's in the hospital. She has been rushed to the hospital and I'm like, what is it, baby? Just come. She's screaming. What is going on? So this is what uh, happened to her. She, she went to the hospital. By that time, we were giving thanks. We were doing prayer and fasting. My wife was also doing gym to cut weight. So while she was doing gym and fasting, then she collapsed. When she got to the hospital, the doctor said that, uh, why are, you, why are you fasting? Look the way you're weak. Why? What were you doing? She said, I was just doing my gym and I'm doing prayer and fasting. For what are you uh, gymming for? And he said, doctor, you, you saw we have been here before, so we are just trying to cut weight so that uh, we can be able to conceive properly. The doctor said, conceive for what? He said, conceive to have a baby. And what is this that you're having inside here? My wife screamed all her life. She said, doctor, you're, you're kidding me. She said, look. She put the x-ray, the scan and everything. She was two months pregnant all this while. <laughs> People of God, while all this is happening in between here, remember, it's a gap of 12 years. We didn't even have an idea what normally happens. My wife used to be to feel very cold. Uh, you know, Tazani is hot. So at times she feels hot. Instead of doing the AC, I, I have to do full AC, I have to do everything just to make her tone down. I couldn't understand. Neither could she. We couldn't not even click that those are signs of pregnancy completely because we were not even there. So until the doctor really confirmed uh, to her, and uh, that's when the beginning of our jubilation started. People of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus. So this, 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 is the, uh, this is the picture of my wife in scorn when we went to seek for the first of the Lord. After now, the, 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 the pregnancy was confirmed. I made arrangements to go back and give thanks to God at the scorn. My wife... <laughs> this same doctor that was telling my wife you, you are carrying a baby, had already told us you will never conceive. Because uh, there were a couple of things that was happening in my wife's life. Things were moving inside her tummy from the other side to the other side. She was so much in pain. And uh, at some point even the doctor said she had uh, fibroids. Now this time around when the pregnancy was confirmed, I made arrangements and told my wife, I'm going to go give testimony. Whatever this doctor said, because the doctor said, I know you're pregnant, but these three birds that I'm seeing, they will eat up this baby. They won't even go anywhere. I said, God forbid, you wait, not the God of TB Joshua. So I told my wife, as you're carrying that, I'm going to the altar. I'm going to thank God and these three birds, the baby will eat them. <laughs> so that's why this picture that you've seen, when I went to the synagogue and gave thanks, the, um, as the man of God always says, when you give thanks to God, it's one of the keys that makes God to multiply and do you more. Amen. So when I partook of the fruit of the altar, 
give it thanks. Lo and behold, now I'm coming back to give my wife a testimony of partaking of the fruit and the blessing from the man of God. Amen. When I came back, we, of course, I came and I'm helping my wife. The baby's about a year and a half or something. We're just going on with our business as man and wife. And then she took in again. <laughs> God continued to surprise us. Because when we now continued as a man and wife thanking God, this little one came two and a half years back. Just about three days after our daddy had gone to be with the Lord. So for us, this was just a bonus. Daddy was saying, I'm going to heaven and I'm leaving you this one. So, <laughs> so this is Shama and we named her Shama, the presence of God. Shekinah, the glory of God. And this is Shalom, the peace of God that reigned in our life. With this wonderful thing God Almighty has done for you, sir, how do you feel seeing that you're a father now? I'm so overjoyed. These are some of the things that, uh, as a man, you know, you really feel you really need to be a man. And uh, I'm so overjoyed because all the mockery, all the issues, all the talks, they just died like that. The Lord prepared a table for us because there are a lot of people who are talking, talked about us finally. But the Lord really surprised us. So I, I really feel nice as I, my children interact with me. They jump with me all the time. <laughs> I feel so happy and I really bless the Lord for giving us this. My word of encouragement to fathers and couples, trust in God. Do not give up. Do not give up on your partner. Do not give up on trusting God because with God, all things are possible. What God did for us, he can do it for you. Only align to his grace. Amen. My name is Sophia Obero. The man standing next to me is my husband, Joshua Obero. And uh, I really thank God for this day. I've been looking forward to give God the glory for the goodness he has done in my life. 2008, a few of the things that my husband did not say. It was the year when we are waiting on the Lord for the gift of the womb. As a lady, you know, for those who are trusting God for a baby, you know the waiting. You know when you have a man who's supporting you. And you know when you don't have a man who's supporting you. 2008, when you're trusting God for a baby, there are so many challenges I went through. Initially, when we were in Kenya, people are waiting to see something happen after you, a man and wife. But again, you can see, you, they might not talk as such, but even when they talk, it will not come directly to you. You will know. But when God plans his journey in your life, he'll do it in a way that will give you comfort because he knows he will order every step to fruition. That is the time when my husband was relocated to Tanzania. And we trusted God during that period from 2008. I went to different gynas, different experts. And when they were looking at it, some could say they could see an ovarian cyst. Some could say they're fibroids. Others could say all is well. Others told me it's because of my weight. But the moment I turned on the manual TV and I saw uh, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua praying for people and others touching on the screen, that is when my journey of becoming a mother again started. When, when I was talking to my husband and was telling him, come and see what the Lord is doing in the lives of the people. At some point, my husband was a bit septic about it. But we kept trusting and waiting on the Lord. Remember 12 years of waiting. One thing that I used to do when I was back in Tanzania, I used to be in charge of all baby showers in my church. I could arrange baby showers. I, I, would, I was just happy doing it. But you know, you just doing it knowing that you and your time comes. God is going to surprise you in ways that you don't know. So when I took in, later on when we, after, I, I think I remember I told my husband, I think there's something that is not right. There's a spell in the, a spell in the spiritual realm that needs to be broken. So 2016, 2017, when you went there, you've seen in the screen, we were on the prayer line, the man of God touched us. So when we came back, I went about my normal business of gym and, you know, exercising. But during that period, 
I did not know. Barely two weeks when we came from the Skowan. That is when those two things came out from my womb. I used to feel things moving from side to side. Then when I was going about my business, I fell down without knowing. Going to the gym and working out without, not, without knowing that I'd already taken in. As my husband said, I was so happy and surprised and I called him. So during that time, first of waiting, I remember uh, I had to keep this a secret. For the nine months, not even my closest friend knows, not even my mother, who is today here listening to this testimony, and my father and my brother, I didn't share this with anyone. I was guarding it with all the jealous you can think of. I was making sure no one should, even my best friend, we could eat together, go out together, but they didn't know that I was pectant. I even changed the way I was dressing. Until the ninth month, barely two weeks to, I'm about to give birth. Remember, these are the same people who are surrounding me. These are the people I've been uh, doing baby showers for. Not even one person knew. But one day when we went to church for praise and worship, someone came and told me, ah, ah, Sister Sophie, there is something different about your body. Then I asked her, what are you seeing that I do not see about my body? So that is when she told me, mm -mm. now because she's a very close friend of mine, she came and held my stomach. Like, uh, uh, don't tell me. I say, I don't tell you what. Now she was happy and she could not keep it a secret anymore. Before I knew it, the whole church knew. But before then, there were those who could say, okay, people have got, these people have gone to seek that blessing there, but let us see. Let us wait and see. Even those who had, some could just come in the car. They, do, they never even used to say hi, but they could say hi like, how are you? You know? <laughs> And all their focus was on my stomach. So because I knew what has gone round and already have two weeks, now I could sit well, well, you know? You position yourself to show them, yes, the God of TB Joshua has answered. <laughs> Remember being the master planner of baby showers, when that word went, most baby showers I could do were probably 15 people, 20 we finish and we go. I don't know at what rate people prepared baby shower. I don't know that there was a hotel that was already booked. There were more than 100 women who came for baby shower. And until my daughter Shama turned one, I never entered any shop to buy a diaper. There were enough things that were provided for me. I thank God who came through to me when I never knew that it will happen after 12 good years of waiting. You know when you have a man who stands with you and you know within the 12 years also what a man can do while you wait. <laughs> yeah, I thank God for that. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus. So how do you feel now that you're a mother of your own children? It is such a joy. It is a joy that you cannot express. It is a joy seeing children running around. You see this other one who's so active. When you see all this happening, it is that joy that you've been waiting for to teach you all manner of everything, patience and every other thing. So I really give God the glory. I'm so happy that God gave me these gifts. What word of encouragement do you have for women out there, especially those seeking for the fruit of the womb? Those seeking for the fruit of the womb, remember, delay is not denial when you're waiting in the Lord. And God's time, it is the best time. No matter the discouragement, no matter the years, no matter anything, remember, while you're waiting on the Lord, keep thanking him because in the spiritual realm, it has already been done. My name is Pastor Kasta Odiambo. Uh, I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm here today to give thanks to the Almighty God because of his marvelous work that he has done in my life. It was uh, in the mid-December last year when I was involved in a road accident. I was hit by a land cruiser while I was on a border border or on a motorbike when I was on my way back home. This vehicle ran across my chest using the rear wheel. 
I want to say that the sin was not a good one. At, at the scene of the accident. Uh, because I felt as if the chest is catching fire. And I was like in a lot of pains. I was crying to those who were around, just take me to the hospital. And uh, at that instant, I realized that my two arms, I could no longer use them. Is when I realized that uh, both my hands had fracture. I was rushed to the hospital. Uh, the x-rays were done. And it was confirmed that my chest is sound, but my two arms were broken. So while at the hospital, it took three days, a surgery was done on both my hands. After the surgery, I was discharged. And now, if you are here and you're a man and you know the duties of a man in the house or in the family, you can now begin to understand how things were turning around. I could no longer bathe myself. I could no longer feed myself. Even dressing, I could not do it. I had now to begin to lean on my wife to do literally everything, to do the feeding, the dressing, the bathing. After doing all these things, he has to go out there, look for the daily bread, because the, the man who is providing now is grounded, is like a cabbage. He can't do anything. So along the way, I could hear people like, if you, are, you have fractures, that like for six months, you'll be okay. You can go back and do your normal jobs. But uh, unfortunately for me, this healing was not easily coming forth as quick as I would love it to be because people used to, after six months, ah, you'll be okay. But now it's almost a year and I find myself, I can't do anything. I can't do any job. I still have to depend to my wife to do everything for the family, including looking for daily bread. I want to say that until today, I haven't gone back to work. But uh, when I heard Mama Evelyn was going to have a crusade in Kenya, that is in Kasarani Stadium, I was like, this is my moment. This is the time I've been looking for. Because I discovered the synagogue through Emmanuel TV. I was like, this moment cannot bypass me. I must use this opportunity very well. When I was arraigned on the prayer line, something amazing happened. I was prayed for by Evangelist James. And instantly when he laid his hands on me, I realized that all the pains that were in my hands left. And of late, I had also discovered that I had back pains in the waist. These back pains also instantly left. I found that now I can walk. The waist pains, especially the back pain, after I was prayed for, I realized that it also instantly left. I was having difficult, like, if I wanted to stoop down, I, 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 I had to plan myself, how am I going to do it? But now, as you can see, I can do it easily. I can do it easily and without any pain. Praise the Lord. I, I, I'll take this opportunity to show you the surgeries that were done or I'll take off the court to confirm the surgery that were done on my two hands. There's this bone, it's called the ulna. It had the first surgery, you can see the mark. 
and the radius, you can see the mark. And the left humerus, you can see the mark here very well. Now, my hands are gaining a lot of strength. I'm feeling much better. I'm free. I'm pain free. And I really thank God for this healing. And I know I'm looking forward to begin to live my normal life as uh, before. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Wow, with this beautiful thing God Almighty has done in your life, what an encouraging word do you have for people out there? I have two encouragement. First of all, just believe and trust God. There's nothing that he cannot do for you when you believe. The second advice, if you are a believer and you are a child of God, I want you to know as senior prophet T.B. Joshua used to teach, the things that kill people in the world, the things that destroy people in the world, if you have Christ in you, they can't destroy you. They can only encourage you, build you up, make you stronger, and they will move and you'll go ahead with your life. Amen. My name is Lillian Waipira Mugo. I am a Kenyan. I live in Nairobi and I am a civil servant. The person standing next to me is my lovely son. He is David Alex Maina Mugo. Thank you, Jesus. The problem that I had until yesterday has taken me about 10 years. It started with an extreme weakness of the body. I could hardly do anything with myself. My shoulders were aching, my neck, my back, my legs, everywhere, especially my knees, my back, and my feet, the ankles and the heel. It started with that weakness of body that eventually, after visiting several doctors in Nairobi, the best, they diagnosed that I had blood pressure. Then the blood pressure led to a total tear of my right shoulder. The tear was so bold, it was so big. Sometimes I would feel like there is air entering through my shoulder. I could not even carry something like five kgs. I would hardly sleep well. Then later on, after seeing several doctors for a second third opinion, all of them suggested I must be operated. But because I kept on watching uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua, the ministry through Emmanuel TV, I knew one day I'll be healed. So later on, when I declined the operation, they gave me a shoulder brace. I was wearing that all this time for the last 10 years. It succeeded, it went on, and it gave birth to a problem on my waist. I had a serious problem with my disc. I had a bulge disc. They continued treating me on the issue of the disc and the spine. Later, they gave me a waist brace. That corset was so uncomfortable. Sometimes I felt like it is squeezing my life out of me. But for me to have stability in walking, I kept on it. It was very uncomfortable. It didn't bring any solution into my life. Well, since I didn't have another choice, I knew one day even you will go. I, after that, the next thing that followed was my knee. My knees would not help me. I went. They said, now we are going to give you knee braces. So I had one big knee brace on my left leg. I've walked with that knee brace for quite some time. My life was hell. Children of grace, those people who know me, they knew that I was really going through serious problems. Then another problem, now the biggest of all, was my, my heels. A growth came on both my heels. I had a very big growth that looks like, looked like a nax. They called it calcaneus spark. The calcaneus spa would not allow me sleep. If you looked at me sleeping, I used to arrange myself. Whether I sleep on my right, my left, it was a serious problem because that heel, especially the left, the left leg, 
or no longer would not touch my bed or anything. So I used to put on shoes, open shoes, so that I could at least walk with my knees lifted a bit. And that, that gave me a lot of instability. So I kept falling down. A woman with my, with my weight see me walking and falling just out of nothing. Something small, I'm down. Well, God is great. I continued working and working was so difficult. People at my place of work reached a point they looked at me as a weakling, like somebody who cannot even perform her duties. Yet so many people have passed through me, through my hands. I've trained them. They are senior people now. But because of my condition, I could not even get promotion. It was so painful. During the prayer, I was put on the prayer line. When I was put on the prayer line, and the evangelist came praying for us, when he reached me, before he even stretched his hand towards me, there was a cold shower, a lot of it, from the top of my head down to the down my feet, a cold shower. It was like pulling down everything, pulling down things out of my body. I can't remember what happened, but I remember when I woke up, there was a nudge to remove all the braces out of my body. And I was helped to remove them. And when I stood up, my body was light. There was no pain. Yes, it was very difficult for me to take a shower standing. Today, I took a shower standing. And a long one for that matter. Then, there is no way I could squat. Look at me. Yes, that is what God of Prophet TB Joshua can do. I can now lift my hands and I can dance. My knees. I could do that. My heels, my ankles, I could not stand like this. Anybody who saw me before yesterday, there is no way I could put my feet together. Today I can put my feet together and I can walk. This is me walking majestically. I could not even dress up well because I was inhibited on what I should dress. I thank the Lord. God bless you. So put our hands together for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There's no more pain. There's no more the heaviness of body. I'm okay. Glory to God. My name is David Alex Minor. Uh, I'm the son to the woman standing beside me. I'd like to thank God a lot because of what he has done in our lives. He's been faithful. Um, I've seen my mom go through a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort, a lot of challenges in literally everything. Even walking from her bedroom to the sitting room, walking to even take water, even standing while brushing her teeth. It was quite a challenge. Um, the issues she had, she would walk for five minutes and have to stand, rest a bit, take a breath, even driving to work, it was completely hell to her. Um, I had to step in where she couldn't do what she wanted to do. And uh, right now, I do thank God a lot because she's delivered. As of yesterday, I saw my mom walking completely okay, completely healed. Um, after we came from the stadium yesterday night, it was quite late. She was the one who drove us back home without any challenge. <laughs> Even today morning when she went to the shower, she was quite fast even preparing herself. Um, a while back, while she used to go back into the shower, she would take quite a while to get herself ready. And every once in a while, you would uh, hear her say she fell in the shower. Every once in a while, she'd go to the hospital to get a wrist brace and uh, another brace because she fell down and hurt a different part of her body. But now I thank God she's free, she's completely healed, and we give thanks to God. <clears throat> Apart from that, I have a testimony of my own on what God has done in my life through the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua. 
Um, my issue started a while ago, back in 2012, when I had joined university in my first year. I ran into, dep into depression, and the issue escalated into me getting addicted to drinking, to smoking, to even taking marijuana, and I was heavily, heavily addicted. Um, the issue progressed. It affected my studies. I could no longer continue to study. Um, it affected my relationship with my mom. It destroyed. We could not communicate at all. Uh, I was left completely functionless. I could not. My life came to a standstill. Uh, I became antisocial. I wasn't talking to anyone. I couldn't even stand to a, a place like this and address anyone at all. Uh, I couldn't make friends. My life com came to a complete standstill. By the grace of God, we came to discover Emmanuel TV. And fortunately enough, back in 2017, I was able to visit the Squan Ministries and I was at the prayer line. During that time, the man of God, Prophet TB Joshua, placed his hand on me. And at that moment, I felt a hammer and an electric shock go through my body. And since then, brethren, I was delivered. I, no, I haven't taken alcohol, I haven't smoked, the urge completely went away. The depression completely went away. Um, I've been a happy person, I've been making friends. Some of you have interacted during the week, uh, during the crusade, and we've interacted in a fair and happy manner, I thank God. Also, regarding my studies, I was able to go back to university. I was able to take a new course, and I've completed the course by the grace of God. While in university, also God, to prove that he changed my character, he enabled me to become a student leader. I was voted by all students to become the secretary general in, within the university, and I thank God for that opportunity. My first encouragement to youth out there, whoever is dealing with depression, whoever is dealing with mental illness, uh, mental challenges, and uh, whoever is dealing with uh, challenges that may lead them to have suicidal thoughts, to uh, get addicted to drugs, to use drugs, and to commit crime, I would advise them, run to God. God has the solution to every challenge. God delivered me from addiction. He delivered me from depression. He delivered me from shame and reproach. So I advise every youth out there, seek God. God has the answer to every single challenge that you're facing. And my second advice is to parents or guardians who have their young ones facing the same challenges. I would advise you to be patient with your young ones as you seek other solutions to the challenges your young ones are going through. Remember, God holds the key. So God will deliver your young ones in his time. So that's my advice to the parents. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When I came into this place, God put a song in my heart. And I'm going to sing the song now. It's one of the songs that Prophet E.B. Joshua likes to sing or loves to sing. Do not worry. You may not be able to sing along with me. But I will tell you the meaning of the song. So this song is sung in one of Nigerian dialects in the Yoruba language. So I'll sing. Oh, 
Thank you, Lord. Ogo means glory. And the song says, God Almighty, this glory of yours, continue to protect it. Continue to preserve it. Continue to protect it to eternity. And I stand before you this very hour and say to God Almighty, Father, continue to protect this glory. Continue to preserve this glory till eternity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please do have your seat. I want to thank you all. Thank you very much. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus Christ and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. I say to you, my brothers, my sisters, my co-workers in the vineyard of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua lovers, the Synagogue Church of All Nations lovers, Manuel TV partners all over the world. I welcome you to this meeting. I am honored. I am filled with joy to be in your presence. <laughs> presence of good people like you. Good people. Inspired people. Gracious people. People that are making things to happen in the synagogue. Thank you for honoring this invitation. God bless you all. God bless you. I am not here today to preach or to teach. What do I want to teach? What do I want to preach to you? Even though I know there are thousand and one things to talk about in the scripture. Many scripture that could change people's life. But I'm not here to teach or to preach. I'm here to give you things. To thank you all. I remember one Sunday morning, just like today. The prophet walked into the room and said, do you have a message for the covenant? Do you have any message today? He said, no, I don't have any message. Ah, why are you not having a message? Eh, because everybody has uh, preached all I want to talk about, so I don't, I don't have any message to say. Ah, what do you mean? Has the Bible changed? <laughs> has the Bible changed? And truly, the Bible hasn't changed. Talk about goodness. Talk about God's faithfulness. Talk about his love. Talk about God. And someone will be touched. Continue to talk about it every day. By this moment, I am not here to talk, to teach. I am here to appreciate you. Every one of you. Because what am I going to tell you? I talk about giving. You know what it is. The importance of giving, you know what it is. The reward of giving, you know what it is. Many of us can boldly stand today and say, God is faithful. Because they have tested him. And they have seen that God is good. They partner with God. So I am here to say thank you once again. Yes, we are in this great nation, Kenya. It is you who makes it possible. You make it possible. When the man of God was called to glory, it was a moment of decision for every one of us. 
a moment of decision. But I thank God that God added to our numbers. And I want to thank you for loving him. Thank you for loving the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Thank you for loving Prophet T.B. Joshua. And also my very self. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for believing in us. We are standing here because you stood. The man of God has vision. Vision of changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. Here we are. We must continue with our vision. It is a legacy. We must continue. And God Almighty will take us to our destination. Yes. When we are preparing for this assignment, I called my people and said, Ah, I need my people around. I need my people around. Let's send out invitation to them. And many of you, you didn't even have invitation, but you came because you had. Please, clap for yourselves. Thank you very much once again. Because when I look at your faces, ah, that brother is there, that sister is there, that is my sister over there, that's her there. That is my brother over there. Oh, I'm filled with joy. I am filled with joy. So thank you very much. There's great assignments ahead of us. Reaching out to the troubled world. One thing I can assure you of is your commitment, your effort to this mission will be accounted for. By the grace of God. Thank you very much once again. May the good Lord reward you. May the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua reward you all. We will get to our destination. Because it doesn't end here. Internal life. That's our goal. We need ourselves. Mentally. Spiritually. Physically. What is our job? If I don't learn anything from Prophet T.B. Joshua, I know how to pray. And I know God hears me when I pray. And that is what I will be doing for every one of you. I am confident God answers our prayer. And I thank God Almighty for making Prophet T.B. Joshua an instrument of honor. A man of vision. So do not be afraid. Someone is committing you into the hands of God. There may be challenges. There may be challenges. But your challenges will not be like the other people. Because God is there. God will provide the answer. He will make a way out for you. So my people, my words are going to be short this moment. I thank you once again. Please let us continue the way we have been doing. You are an eye for this ministry. Wherever you are, you are representing the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Let people see the goodness of God in your life and glorify your God. Represent Christ Jesus wherever you are. And I also want to assure you that synagogue is a home. Synagogue Church of All Nations is a home for every one of us. Our duty is to pray for you. And that is what we'll be doing. It's, it's never enough. Prayer is never enough. We talked about Daniel praying what? Every day. If it's enough, we pray once and relax. But it's never enough. As long as you are breathing, we we'll continue to pray to God. We we'll continue to talk to him. Knowing that he hears us when we call. So thank you once again. God bless you all. God bless you all.
I pray the good Lord will continue to replenish your post in the name of Jesus Christ. God Almighty will continue to provide for you in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be well with your job. It shall be well with your ministry. It shall be well with your career. It shall be well with your family. It shall be well with your children. It shall be well with everything that has to do with you. God Almighty will give you peace. Because it takes peace to serve God faithfully. Peace of God will reign in your home. Will reign in your marriage. Will reign in your family. It will reign in the life of your children. Glory to new glory. Level to a new level. In the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be well with you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It is well. It is well. It is well. In the name of Jesus. It is well. With my soul today. It is well with my soul. It is well. It is well. In the name of Jesus. It is well. With my soul today. Our prayer for the week with Prophet TB Joshua. Get ready for our prayer for the week with Prophet TB Joshua. Viewers all over the world, wherever you may be connecting with us right now, say to yourself, Jesus must be honored in my life. Jesus must be honored in my life. Jesus must be honored in my health. Jesus must be honored in my family. Jesus Christ must be honored in the life of my children. Begin to profess it right now. Begin to confess them right now. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Ghost. And as you say so, continue to remind Satan that he's an intruder. Yes, he's an intruder in your life. Jesus Christ has defeated him. So he's a defeated fool. He has no right to harm you anymore. Satan has no right to harm you anymore. And so receive your freedom right now in the name of Jesus. You receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough on your way. Breakthrough in your business. Breakthrough in your life. Breakthrough in your career. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Father. Gracias, Father. I command the spirit to the spirit of Christ in the name of Jesus. Be bound in the name of Jesus. Any spirit that is not of Christ, Jesus. Be bound in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Be blind in the name of Jesus. Release yourself, release yourself, release yourself, release yourself. You devil, begin to remove your hand in the life of my people. Remove your hand in the life of my people. Remove your hand in the life of my people. Remove your hand in their business. In their life. In their marriage, begin to remove devil hand, remove devil hand in the name of Jesus. Remove devil hand, remove devil hand. Remove devil hand. I remove your hand in my life, in my career, in my business, in my finances. In my marriage, remove, 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 satanic assignment against you. Open your lips and begin to remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it. Toute mission diabolique dans votre vie, enlevez cela au nom de Jésus. Every satanic assignment 
Have you been touched by Jesus Christ by praying along with Prophet TV Joshua on Emmanuel TV? Don't forget to send us your photo or video footage of what happened to you during the prayer for the glory of God. Post your photos or videos on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram using the hashtags. Pray with TB Joshua, distance is not a barrier, or touch the screen. Alternatively, you can upload them to our testimony website. i.emmanuel.tv
or send them via email to info at emmanuel.tv with the subject, testimony. Remember, distance is not a barrier to the Holy Spirit. As the book of Psalm 23 verse 5 says, He prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Indeed, a table was prepared and the Emmanuel TV partners feasted as they received the touch of God through the faculties of the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua. Many were healed, delivered, blessed, and saved at the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting with Pastor Evelyn Joshua in Kenya. The light of God exposed every shade of darkness in the lives of the people, causing every demonic stronghold to be broken from their lives. Just a touch from the anointed hands of the woman of God, people fell under the anointing of God, causing the root cause of the problems in their lives to be uprooted. The name of Jesus was working against the powers of darkness as God's vessel, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, moved in the midst of the people, laying hands on them and setting them free from whatever that must have held them down in bondage. It was indeed a moment of restoration as God Almighty in His infinite mercies restored whatever they may have been stolen from the lives of the people by the devil.
the Emmanuel TV partners with open hearts believed that God is able through his mighty power at work to provide exceedingly beyond all that they desire from him. The Bible says that with God, all things are possible. Watch how God was breaking every impossibilities in the lives of the people as they received all that was prepared before them at the Lord's table. People felt the move of the Holy Ghost in their lives as they trembled and some fell under the anointing, breaking every barrier between them and the blessings of God. Knowing that it was not all up to God and it was not all up to them, the people played their roles by earnestly believing in God and God Almighty played his role by meeting them at the point of their needs. Being led by the Holy Spirit, the woman of God places her hand on the chest of the people and God did his works of proving himself in their lives. With the belief in their heart that no problem is insurmountable, the people laid the burdens of their needs and desires at the feet of Jesus and restored peace in their hearts and not just that, but bountiful blessings of the riches according to the promises of God's word.
Not only did she lay her hands on them, the woman of God ministered the new anointing water and the move of God was evident. There was no hiding place for darkness in the lives of the people present at the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting with Pastor Evelyn Joshua in Kenya as the light of God dispelled the darkness lurking in the people's lives. The atmosphere was indeed charged with God's presence as everyone who came received from God's throne of grace.